19th of June. These are coming from Germany, so uh, a little bit of time to wait, but it's not long at all. We're really getting through the month very, very quickly. Now, you are buying these already. I think you know how good these are. Many of you did get them last time. You've been sending me pictures of what you've been making with them as well. In fact, if anybody's got anything to share, do send in your pictures. I'd love to see them. Studio at Item number 563457. Right, let's move down because we've got more for you. Now, I did specifically ask for this. This is a brand new today. I'm, I Hopefully, I'm going to show you how to work with these. I love, love, love this set. Now, $21.99 is going to get you a 21-piece set. So that means that what you're getting in there is a little bit over a pound a piece when you break it down. Now, you've got six different colours there. You get stencils in here as well. You get an instruction book and an ideas book. And you also get some cardstock as well to be working with. But these pens will give you beautiful designs, again, onto many different surfaces. It doesn't have to be on the cardstock. Now, if you, I don't know if you've seen them online, and did sort of play around with the blob paint a little while ago, doing a similar technique, building up your patterns with your stencils, with those little dots, and you can create different size dots directly from the pens. So we'll see more of these a little bit later on, 439506. Do like those a lot. Now, something else I love is acrylic paint because, of course, you can paint it again onto all sorts of different mediums. We've got the Viva Decor paints here for you. It is a pick and mix, a great price. Look at this price. Now, these are good size pots. You are getting in each pot, ooh, now 82 millilitres. Really, really good quality paint as well. These are matte finish, which is my preference. If I ever want a gloss, I tend to put a varnish over the top, which we've also got coming up as well. But any three of these for just £10.99 pence and of course you can mix your paints together you can change the colors of them so choose wisely on those think about what you can achieve if you're just going for a minimal amount and you want to mix those different colors but I would say if you can afford to go for multiples go for the black put the white in there because instantly you've got your pastels that you can create you've also got the colors that you can knock back with the black as well so a really good selection there of the paints 166143 is the item number now, the next item. Now, we have got two shows for Viva today. I don't think I'll get around to using this during this hour, so it might be tonight at 7 o'clock. This is the pouring medium. Now, this is a really good price again, 9 99 for 500 millilitres. Now, with the pouring medium, medium, if you mix it in with your acrylic paints, you can, so you can give it more movement. You can extend the drying time on it, but also you can create those beautiful pouring effects that you can see. You've seen the dirty pores done here before. So with your paints, this is what you can achieve with this. So a very, very useful pot, a huge size for just 9 99 Item number 890771. Right, down at the bottom here, we've got the transfer liquid. Now, I did have these on the last show. I really like this because there's two different types of transfer medium. You've got your photo transfer medium and you've got your transfer liquid. They are different simply because you need a laser printed image. Now, if you haven't got a laser printer, you can get those printed out at a post office or somewhere that will print very, very cheaply, actually. Or maybe you've just got a friend or relative that could help with social distancing, of course. Uh, right, what you do with this, with the photo, medium you you paint over your image and the surface that you're going to apply to so it could be a piece of MDF you put the two surfaces together you allow it to dry and then you just wash away after 24 hours with water just a damp cloth and it reveals the transfer of the photograph onto your MDF or whatever you've been applying to now the difference with the photo medium and the transfer liquid the transfer liquid can be used on porous surfaces and including fabric. You can use this under concrete as well. You use it in a different way. There's full instructions on there. So they are different types of transfer. So a very useful little bundle, this one. $12.99 is the price. 909509. Right, going back up, we've got some more transfer wax. Now this is a different item again. This is new for today. I'm hoping I can find a candle for later, actually. I didn't have one at home, and because I've been presenting, I wasn't able to get to the shop to buy one. But I'll explain how it works. Very, very easy to use. Again, you find your image, a laser-printed image. You put some of the transfer medium over the image. You also paint onto the wax of your candle. Put the two surfaces together. 
a little bit more of the image uh, transfer medium over the top you allow that to dry for 24 hours and again you just rub away with a damp cloth and it reveals the transfer of that image onto your candle you can seal the image again with a little layer of that transfer medium to make sure that's not going to come away really love it they would make really 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 good gifts wouldn't they um, do you know I'm gonna check about whether you can burn the candle you can burn it apparently that's what we're getting on the information so a really lovely gift so perhaps if you've got I don't know a, a an anniversary or something and you've got a photograph and you want to put the date on there you can print out yourself you can build up your own text if you've got a laser printer as well so you can transfer images text anything you want with that medium so a really lovely bundle again so you're getting two of those and there's 250 milliliters in each 14.99 is the price for that that's going to go a long long way as well 341401 now down at the bottom we've got the chalky wax for you now this is another product that I really like I love the spelling on that it is a wax uh, it's very easy to use as well it says transparent now I have had this on once before but we sold out of certain paints so I wasn't able to uh, showcase it properly hopefully we'll get to it this hour um, now what you do with this you can put that over a layer of paint let it dry and then you go over the top with another layer of paint and it forms a little bit of a resist so when you sand back the top layer where the wax is it will leave free that sort of that distress look. I have got a sample somewhere. Where have I put it? Can I grab that? Can I just grab it? Uh, it's here. Right, let me just bring this in. So you can see actually where where the colour is missing, you can see the black underneath. That is where the wax has been. Now you can achieve that distress look in many different ways. I'm going to show you more than one of them, hopefully, throughout the shows today. But that one was actually done with the wax. That is one of Paula's coffee tins, and I've brought some with me today. Oh, they're so useful. Uh, so a really lovely item again. If you want to go for your paints, and the paints that are coming up, the chalky paints, are the best ones to go with these. That will become more clear a little bit later. But 9 99 for those, 2 one, three, one, two, three. Back to the top, we've got the varnishes for you. Now, you've also got crackle in here as well. Now, this is your crackle. Uh, love crackle glaze, I really, really do. So, again, if you, there's a couple of different ways you can work with this. Again, if you want to go with your base coat, so maybe a dark colour perhaps, then you go over when that's dry with the crackle. Let that dry, it'll keep a bit of a sheen. It might stay feeling a little bit sticky. Then you go over the top with a different colour and the crackles will appear. If you want to go with that straight onto a surface and just go on over with a, a top coat, so that there isn't really a colour showing through, you can still add wax and different mediums into the crackle effect to give yourself that antique look. So really lovely. You've also got in this bundle, you've got your varnishes as well. So we have got a gloss and we've also got a matte in there, so which is really handy. So you have got the best of everything. That's nice to seal, of course, if perhaps it's an air dry clay you want to put somewhere there's a little bit of moisture or something like that and you want to seal it over. Right, okay, the next item. Now, I haven't got the concrete powder on this time, but by... By demand of myself, because I love this product, I tried to get it last time and they didn't have the stocks, but we've got the beaten concrete effect paste. I absolutely love this. Now, you can use this inside or out. You use it like a texture paste. Now, I have just gone on very simply. I've done no special effects on this. This was a project I was going to work further on. Just using a spatula, I've allowed that to keep that sort of rough-looking um, effect there. Just applying it and stippling a little bit. You can apply with a brush, with a spatula, with a sponge, where you know you can put this through stencils we will show you this hopefully this hour really lovely that has been outside as well so if you like the look of that of course you can add your paints of course you can do other things with it but that this actual vase has been stood out in all the rain this week and for about three weeks previous as well and it hasn't flaked off and it's directly onto glass so I do love that product as well 332664 is the item number now, the next item, I asked for this back because this sold out last time. Really lovely bundle, this one. I absolutely adore the chalky paints from Viva Decor. And the reason being, not only do they give excellent coverage, they're also, again, indoor or outdoor use. Now, a really lovely colour palette here. You can work with your crackle glaze with this as well if you wanted to. 
you can build your colours up, you can do dry brushing. Just a fabulous kit. You're getting all five of those for $14.99. These will work with the wax that I mentioned as well. So if you want to go for the wax as well to give that distress look, it's a good option. 991900 is the item number for this particular pack. Now you will recognise this vase because I've brought it in a number of times when I've been doing the Zuri shows. And by the way, we have got the moulds on again today for anybody that missed out. Now, anybody that follows me on Facebook will know that I've got a very good sort of home decor brand of paint that I use for my furniture. But this actual vase was used with the Viva Decor. So the effect that I've got there was done with the Viva Decor paints. Right, now then, I wanted to get as many colour options as I could for you with the, uh, with the chalky paints. Now, this bundle is a little bit different because the size of the pots and you're getting different items in it. It's a fabulous kit again. Do you know, I'm so pleased to see that price because I wasn't sure if this one was going to be more expensive. But look at that price, $15.99. You are getting five paints again. Now, you've got 90 millilitres in each pot there. Really lovely colours as well. This is our vintage look. You also get your sponges, and you might be thinking, well, I've got sponges I can use. I tell you what, I love these sponges, and you'll see why as we go through demonstration. You also get some sandpaper in here as well. So if you do want to paint directly onto wood and just sand back so you see the bare wood underneath, so you've got that distressed look in a different way, that is very useful as well. Or just keep it for um, covering your plaques, plaques with paper and uh, finishing the edges. It's just very handy to have that. Great kit, that one, 2008. 27 is the item number so if they're the colors for you that's a really good one to go for now the last items we've got for you we've got more of the kits of the chalky now you've got an option under one item number in, in these um, the kits are very similar to the last one we've just seen but instead of getting the sandpaper you get a sanding block in this one you're still getting your sponges in there you do get instructions in these by the way as well this is called modern romantic so your colors you've got that lovely pink in there you've got the gray you've got the white and you've got the anthracite sort of color in there as well it's not quite black it's more of a charcoal color very nice kit indeed 17 99 for this one that sanding block is very very useful for a number of reasons as well 781 734 is the item number and the other option we've got for you is this one here this is your pastel dream so you're getting just simply it's just different colors in there so you've got the green the peach the yellow and the blue these will mix together as well if you wanted to blend them again they'll work with the wax that we've got on the show really really nice everybody I think by now knows how much I love upcycling and changing things that you know some people would discard these paints are fabulous for that because indoor and outdoor use again 17.99 is the price item number 781734 right let's go to the website because that's where you're going to find absolutely everything of course uh, right now we ha I'm going to keep it quite technique based again today just to try and get as much as I can in but do take advantage of everything that's on offer today Viva Decor I think you're now realizing how wonderful these products are they're absolutely fantastic I've not found anything yet that I've not liked um, I have chosen the products for this show as well so I wouldn't choose them if I didn't believe in them myself I just absolutely love them right okay now I haven't got a great deal of room here so do bear with me if I lose things I'm just going to bring in from one of the sets of the chalky paint actually I've got the modern romantic kit you've seen what you get in there you get your sponges you get four of those you get your sanding block and you get your various different colors of paint as well now I don't think it matters which set you're going for if you like the colors they're all going to do the same job they're all going to cover different surfaces which is absolutely fantastic right I've already got one open that I've just sort of been playing with before the beginning of the show but I do want to show you when you open these to begin with and I haven't actually opened this pot yet do give them a good stir they are water based but you will see that it looks like there's a little bit of an oily surface on there you do need to give these a really really good mix so I've just got a lolly stick here it might look a little bit lumpy to start with as you start to mix it but you know just keep it going and it will start to work together and you'll get a nice smooth paint to work with absolutely fabulous you can see that's really coming together already okay so I did give the pink one a little bit of a stir really you can see how nice and creamy that is now so do make sure take my tip give it a good stir if you want the correct results okay so when it comes to these paints I've said you can apply to lots and lots of different surfaces so I want to show you that now a lovely Holly who's our director in the gallery 
she messaged me and said, Catherine, can you make use of these jars? And I said, yes, please. Yes, please, because they're great for this paint. So just using one of the sponges, and I'm just dipping one of the sponges. I'm not damping the sponge. You could do if you found it easy because it's a very thick paint, but I'm not in this case. And just sponging directly onto the surface. And this is why I love these sponges. Look at the texture you get and the coverage with one go. Just build that up. Now, I would suggest putting two layers on unless you want to mix the colours or build the colours together. But just simply with the sponge directly onto the glass, you're getting a lovely, lovely coverage with very little paint. In fact, I've just put too much paint on there, so I'm just going to sponge that in. Look at the coverage on that. That is just brilliant. And when this is dried, remember indoor and outdoor use. So if you want to decorate your little jars, if you want to put tea lights in them, you can do. If you want to stencil onto them, you can do. This paint is great for stenciling as well, because remember, if you're doing something again for outside, maybe your garden pots, and you want little patterns on them or fancy patterns, then you can do that as well. Now, one of my favourite things to do, whether it's a jar, whether it's a plant pot, whether it's a... A pot for an indoor plant which I've just brought this one in to show you I love to decorate so if you've got any pots that have got a horrible pattern on or are a horrible color then you can change them totally if I tell you this one had very bright purple flowers on um, I think there's some blue ones on there as well it was very decorative and it didn't go with anything so I've used the paint to cover that the technique to get that effect on there I'm hoping to show you at some point during the show as well that's why I got so excited when Holly offered me these um, these jars because they've got a lovely shape to them which is perfect for showing you that technique now I'm just going to put that to one side to be drying we'll probably come back to that maybe this hour it may be at seven o'clock tonight so do tune in for that one but I want to also show you that the paints will go onto plastic, onto metal, onto terracotta as well. This is just a simple plastic plant pot. Again, I'm just using the same colour for ease. Just sponging that on. Look at that. Great coverage again. So you can build up those techniques. You can use the wax with this as well. Now you can use other things. You can use paint brushes. You could use um, you could use a little roller if you want. But I think because you get those sponges with the kit, I just love that texture that it gives, and it gives perfect coverage. And you won't get that with any any old sponge. Sponges will vary. Depends, you know, the uh, density and the type of material sponges are made of. Not often do we get real sponge sponges. I'm just going to put the lid on this one before it starts to dry out. Right, okay, I am going to move on to something else. We're going to come back to these paints a lot, but I, I did promise that I would show the paints and bring them back for you this time. Uh, now I have got, let me just find it. I have got another one of Paula's little pots there. Now it's got a little bit of wet paint on it. You can see where it's not drying. I'd put a second coat on there. It's also got a moulding on there that was already stuck on. Uh, so the pot that I did show you how I made it, I'm just going to talk through that and again we'll continue on with the, the top coat a little bit later. So I have another one here. This has just got one coat of the chalky on. It is metal and if I turn that around you can see a little bit of the metal coming through. So I would, this is exactly the same chalky as I've just shown you. Um, do you know what? I'm not sure which kit that came from now. I think we've got this colour in... Actually, this colour in the first set we showed you, the one without the sponges, you can get that colour in there, or very similar. The one that we had on the last time, and also the Romantic kit, the one with the pink in, also has a very similar colour to this in. So that is one coat. You can see a little bit of the metal showing through. So I would go with the second coat. So when that's dry just add that second coat, just kind of build it up. It takes very, very little paint. That's another good tip, actually, for the, um, for the sponges. You'll find that you use less paint with the sponge than you do with a brush. Right, now the wax, this needs to dry. I'm not going to force dry it. You, I've tried this before, and it does work to a point, but it is much better to allow this to dry on its own. So this is the wax that will work with the chalky, chalky paint. It's very sort of, it's not runny, but it's very sort of soft. Uh, you can apply with a brush, you can apply with your finger as well. And all I'm going to do is just kind of splodge a few areas, just kind of pick those out. So it depends if you want big areas, little areas. The thicker you put this on, the more the top coat will come away. Um, 
Oh, I've got to tell you, we're busy on the phones as well. So if you can go to the website, quickest and easiest way to shop is, of course, by the website. But if you want to hang on in there, we will get to you. Everybody's working very, very hard. OK, so I've just kind of done splodges with my finger there. That's what all you would need to do is to let that dry. And then when it's completely dry, you would go over with your top coat, also let that dry, and then you'll sand away where the wax is and it will reveal the colour underneath. And that is going to go such a long way. Again, I'm using it onto um, tin there, but terracotta, you could do it onto wood, onto MDF. There's so many different surfaces you can apply that onto. Right, now then, I'm just trying to get as much as I possibly can into this hour. I'm going to bring in... This is one of the Zutter boards from a show last week and I'm just going to, because I've got this pink out, I'm just going to go with it again. I really ought to be showing you some different colours but it's a little bit difficult when there's no other presenter and um, I'm just working on my own here so I haven't got time to sort of keep opening other pots for you. Right, I'm just going directly onto, a, uh, this is chipboard, this is board for a book from Zutter so you'll probably know the brand. Again, I'm using the sponge, I'm just going directly on top. I'm going to do something completely different with this. I'm going to bring in some different products. Uh, we will come back to those tins. I do promise you that because I know everybody wants to see the technique of the effects that I do on those. Every time I promise to do it and I bring everything in, the products sell out before I have a chance to demo it. Right, there's just one coat on there. I'm going to try it off. I must get the concrete in this hour as well. I really must get that in. I will try my very, very best. I'm just going to give this a bit of a blast. Again, if you want a really, really good coverage, I would probably go with the second coat, but I'm just going to leave it with one coat for this hour. Now, this is from the Modern Romantics, again, the pink one. Don't forget, you have got different choices. It's one item number for this set. If you want other colour choices, do look at them. There's a bundle where there are two options. The difference with it is the colours, but also you get the sanding block rather than the sandpaper. And, of course, we've got a return of the colours we had on last time's show, which I know many people missed out on, um, which I promised to bring back if I could, because I know a lot of people did want those. Right, I'm just going to leave that at that. And I'm going to bring in, actually, a completely different set now. I'm going to bring in, and I love this. Let me, where's it gone? Where's it gone? I did say I'd lose things, didn't I? I've got so little room down here. I'm bringing in the Zen pens. Now... This set was so much fun. I think you're going to get addicted to using these. I'm hoping to bring these in other colours as well another time. You've got six of them, and you've also got your instruction book and idea book, and you get four little stencils as well. You also get a little book of uh, card. Now, I've got some samples I've already done. Just to show you, I'll just tear that one off. Just keeping it very simple, just trying the different colours out. So you can see the different designs here. But you can change these and you can bring in your own details if you want as well. But this is so addictive. And you can apply this to many, many surfaces. Now what I have got is uh, a dauber here and some ink. Now in the instructions it does tell you to use a pencil, and I have got a pencil as well, to use a pencil and let me just go with this one and draw through the stencil your little circles. Okay, which is great, you can do that. It's very, very easy to do it. But I thought, you know, there's another way you can do this. And these are such great stencils as well. Let me just bring in the card. Why not just go with some ink? For a start, they're a great stencil on their own. So look at these. Okay, so great stencils for your backgrounds, very, very useful. You've got four different designs. But I'm just going to rub a little bit of that ink off. But what I'm going to do is just lightly ink this. Because this is going to be my guide for my dots. As long as you don't go with a really dark colour or anything too heavy, and make sure you've just caught all those little dots in there. It's much quicker than using a pencil. And you are going to hide those dots. So what I'm going to do now, and you can do this in any colour combination you want, Get your pens. I'm going to start with, let's go with the, ooh, purple. 
Do you know, I don't think I used purple. Did I use purple yesterday? I'm not sure. Right. The only thing you've got to watch is when you've used someone, make sure you clean the little nozzle. It's very, very fine. And if there's any paint left in there and it's blocking that, you will get, uh, it won't come out freely. So I'm just going to test that and that's fine. So starting in the centre there, I'm just going to use my pen and gently squeeze until it's the size of the dot. Now it holds its shape. It won't just go flat. It will hold its shape. So I'm just going to do the same thing going round and because the dots are different sizes it's just about the control and I'm barely squeezing this bottle barely squeezing it at all so I'm just working my way around now I've got a very very scraggy phone cover that's got paint on it it's got all sorts on it and I did think do you know what for seven o'clock tonight I think what I'm going to do I'm going to use some of the chalky paint on my phone cover and do some of the Zen pens and put patterns on. Now you don't have to use a whole pattern. You could go off the edge of the page. So if you want to do the front of an album or something like that, you could do. If you want to mix your patterns together, you can do. You don't have to use the whole stencil. But it's just great fun and a lovely, lovely effect. So backgrounds on your canvases, on your picture frames, um, Onto, you could do this probably onto fabric as well. I'm not going to say it's going to wash. You might not be able to wash fabric, but you could certainly go onto fabric. So perhaps if you've got a pencil case or something like that. And then we've just got those little tiny dots there. See how small you can get? So I'm going to change colour now. We'll just stick to two colours with this one. Let's go with the pink, I think. And again there. Let's just add these around. Now you can go onto your jars with these as well. So if you're using the chalky paint onto your jars and you want to do a nice bit of decoration on there, then perhaps it would be easier to pencil through the stencil rather than using your ink, depending on the, the shape of the jar, because if it's a little bit more rounded, then it might be more difficult to use your ink. You can hold the stencils in place with masking tape if you like. But I just think this is such a therapeutic thing to do. You kind of get lost in it. And it's an, do you know, it's relatively clean to do as well, as long as you're not sort of over squeezing the bottles. It's not messy at all, but the effect is really, really nice. I do like that. So I was going to do it onto the front of the cover there, but I've done it on the cardboard instead. So I just wanted to, I'm going to do more with these at seven o'clock as well. I'm thinking Janice might be helping at seven. So do tune in and watch and see what we get up to. Uh, right now then, I'm hearing we're very, very busy on the chalky paints and also on the Maya Gold again. Uh, so rather than full projects again, I think because you really need to see as much as you possibly can, it's nice to sort of bring in different things and uh, show you what we can achieve. So I've got the new colours with me today. There are 15 to choose from. We had, we just had a few the last time. They sold out. We had six different colours, I think that was it. We, we thought we'd give it a go. We'd try them, see what you thought to them. Um, so we only had six colours in and they absolutely flew out. The extended stock went as well. So I said, please, can we have more colours this time? And here they are. So, of course, you can find all the colours on the website. It is a pick and mix. These are going to go such a long way as well. Uh, 11 99 for any two. You get 45 millilitres. But, oh, wait till you see this. These are absolutely gorgeous. I don't tip that too much because it's very full. There is so much of a sheen in there, so much glimmer. But they are water-based, so you can just wash out your brushes with uh, soapy water of course now let me find something that i can just paint directly onto so you can see how this picks up and i've got various different things whether it's glass whether it's tin whether it's plastic that sort of thing again so we'll we'll just sort of go with different surfaces and see what we get now oh i'm going to say hello to our european friends and also our friends in america because uh, you're you're watching and buying as well i'm just looking for clean paint brushes if you watched my show the other day, the gallery glass, there was a set of paintbrushes on there that sold out and I brought mine in because there they are. They are so good. And I thought, well, I'm going to bring nice clean paintbrushes today. So let me get some of these out. Okay. Hopefully we'll get these in again another time as well, but we did sell out the other day. Right, so 
looking at the different brushes here, I'm going to find, uh, we have got the Zuri Moles on the show, so if you did miss out on any of those, you will be able to get them. Now, I've got various different colours here. Let me have a look at this silver. Do give these a bit of a shake. Now, whether you're painting onto a white surface, a black surface, a porous surface, a metal surface, you're going to get different effects. But the, the coverage is absolutely amazing. So I've just got some silver here. Just going to give it a little bit of a stir with the paintbrush. We had the old silver on last time. That is back in, again, this time, I believe. One of the, my favourite colours, I've got to say. Um, it has kind of a, a, a greeny sort of effect in it. Now, what I'm painting on here is Medina Air Dry Polymer Clay, which is a very, very strong, tough clay. It's kind of got a translucent finish to it. So I'm going to get a very different effect on this clay to something else. So I'm going to show you the differences. So a little bit of silver on this one just so you can see that shimmer in there. I'm only doing part of it. I'm not going to do the whole thing. I can continue on with that later. So there, that is onto the polymer, the air dry polymer. If you wanted to go with a gesso on top of that first, so it's got a base, that would be less translucent, that paint. It would give a, you know, more coverage. It would give a different effect. Now the next one, I'm going to go with the same color just for now. This is air dry clay. This is a very porous surface. But look at the coverage. I will change colour in a second so you can see the different colours. Look at the coverage. And this is just with one coat. These paints are absolutely beautiful. Let's do half a butterfly in silver. And then we'll change colour. So just with one coat, you can see how beautiful that is. They are stunning. And if you want to do the technique where I wipe away the surface as well, leaving paint in the crevices, you can do that as well if you're quick enough with it. Let me just change the paintbrush. I've got a water pot somewhere. Let me just put that in there. And let's go to another surface. Now, again, I'm using the Zuri Moulds, or I have used the Zuri Moulds. This is one of the Butterfly Dance again. This is concrete from the Viva Decor previously. Let's go with this rose gold. So just painting again, I'm going to go on the flower first of all. I'm trying to keep into the flower a little bit. I'm going to work that right in, but directly onto concrete, you can see again, the coverage is just incredible. That's without putting any sort of surface down, no primer on there. That is simply straight from the pot. And I didn't really stir that either, which I should have done. But it is an absolutely beautiful colour. And of course, you can build the colours up, you can mix them. They're quick drying as well because they're water-based. You can wash your brushes out very easily with soapy water, but they are water-based. So again, the shimmer there is absolutely beautiful. But what you can also do, I'm just going to use the same brush, just take a little bit of that off. If you just flick over the top, you can, of course, bring out the detail without covering the whole of the base of the butterfly. So using one colour there, you can see two completely different effects. So use it if you haven't got a gilding wax. And if I'd chalk painted that first as well and put a base colour on there, I could have brought the detail out beautifully. So another lovely technique, just with one pot of paint. Right, OK. I do need to get to you with the concrete. So uh, I think we're just going to go to see Alex and say hello and talk about freedom for a minute, just while I get ready for the next demonstration. Hello, everyone. I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hachanda Freedom. Did you know that with Hachanda Freedom, you could be saving on your deliveries every month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee, you will benefit from unlimited standard delivery, which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And you know the best bit, you can cancel any time. Becoming a member of Hachanda Freedom, you will also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom member discounts where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hachanda price. Freedom members will also receive our exclusive members badge and Freedom newsletter, which will keep you updated with all the goings on behind the scenes. Just look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. Over 10,000 of you are already members and we thank you so much for being a part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm now going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hachanda Freedom. 
it's lovely because you have the special offers, don't you, that are, give you a nice discount off, sometimes up to 20%. I don't have to worry about the postage. I, I can spend a fiver on something that I've seen as and when I've seen it, or I can spend 20 or 30 or 50 pounds. It doesn't matter. I get special offers, I get special discounts. They tell me when everything's happening. So if there's a special show I want to watch, then it's there. Yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> you see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no ongoing monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 888888. So don't forget, you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, member's badge and a member's newsletter. What are you waiting for? Join Hachanda Freedom today and become a member of the growing Hachanda family. Thank you, Alex. Now, I know we're very busy on the Maya Gold, so I'm just going to show you the swatch again. The colours are all there on the website. Now, this is just onto card, of course, So, but you can see I've already shown you how you can go onto air dry polymer, which isn't porous. I've gone onto air dry clay, the lightweight sort, which is porous. I've gone onto concrete, which is also a porous surface. You can go onto porous and non porous surfaces with this paint. You can mix them, but they are the most beautiful colours. So, do have a look at all of those on the website. I know we are busy on those again. Right now, something else I did want to make sure I fitted in this time because the last time we had it on, I ran out of time to show you. Uh, I'm just looking for my second sample. I know I've got two of them somewhere. Bear with me. I'm just going to grab, right, sorry. I know I've got two, but I can't see the other one. So the, I love this stuff. If if you're wanting something for inside or outside, this is brilliant stuff again. Um, absolutely fantastic. It does weather so well. I purposely left this outside. It's been out for a few weeks now. This week has rained and rained and rained where I live, and it has not affected it. You can apply colours to it as well. It is a paste. You work with it like a texture paste. It's absolutely lovely. Now, you get two of these in the bundle, so it's a really good price, actually. They've, oh, it's such a lovely colour as well because it's a nice light grey. So it does mean you can add those colours over the top. The Maya Gold will work on this as well. Uh, now, when you get this, my pot's been used. I've covered one or two plant pots and things with it. Do you know, I'm not sure. I've done two vases with this. And I did demonstrate or got some prep ready for a previous show. And I'm still using the first pot. So it does go a long way. Now, a couple of things I'm just going to show you. Using a palette knife, you can go very, very thinly and get a really thin surface. So you're not using a lot. You can hear the grit in there, can't you? Because it is a concrete effect. So you can keep it very, very thin. But if you want it to go a little bit thicker, you can go over the top as well. If you want it more textured, then all you need to do is stipple it. So you can see very, very easily that is just stippling up. Now, I am going to smooth this out a little bit more again because I'm going to get this ready for 7 o'clock tonight. Um, I absolutely love this stuff. 20% of the stock has gone. Now, there are other things you can do with this, of course. So I'm going to bring in another one of Holly's lovely little jars in a second. But I just want to show you... Uh, my spatula probably a good clean. I think there's some dry paint on there. But you can get that super smooth if you want or you can make it textured. Now I'm just going to put that to one side for later. But what I am going to do is just bring another one in, another bit of board. It doesn't matter that it's not primed or prepped or coloured underneath because of course being a texture paste or a type of texture paste, you can also stencil with this as well. So I've got a stencil here which is absolutely beautiful. So remember, again, if you wanted to make vases, plant pots look beautiful, you want to have a raised effect, then use this through a stencil directly onto your plant pots. And you've got a lovely, lovely effect. Absolutely beautiful. So I'm just going to scrape away any excess there. Put that back into the pot. I love the sound of that. I love it. And just peel that back. And look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Now, you, just that colour as it is, I love, but you could mix the colour into it if you wanted to as well. You could put a little bit of the acrylic paint in that we've got. It would thin it down a little bit, so uh, you might have to let it sort of dry off a little bit before doing it, but just experiment. There's so much you can do with it. Right, now then, what was I going to do next? I did say something, didn't I? Oh, I know, I'm sticking with this one for now. I'm going to bring in one of Holly's little jars. 
Uh, let me just grab another one. Um, <laughs> now I've got to find where I put my masking tape because that's here somewhere. Oh no! If I can't find it, I'm going to have to do it later. Oh no, I can't find it. I did have some. Right, what I was going to do, I was going to add some of the concrete to the bottom. I'll have to do it without the tape. Oh, it's there. It's right in front of me. Look. I knew I'd brought it with me. Right, now, if you want to mask off, and this works with the chalky paint as well, so you could do a mixture of both. In fact, this is probably what I'm going to end up doing with this jar. So, by masking off, and it doesn't matter if I don't measure, I'm just going to sort of do an area at the bottom. Just run that right around. This is such a pretty shape vase, uh, glass. It's a very good quality masking tape I've got here. Right, just want to make sure I've lined that up so it matches at the bottom. There we go. Let me just move that out of the way for a second. And as I say, with the concrete effect, you can go with a spatula, you could add with a brush as well, or you could add with a sponge. So if you wanted to apply to the bottom of a glass, directly onto it, the only thing I would say is, give them a good wash so there's no grease anywhere. And that you do that with anything that you were painting or decorating. You don't want grease because it will stop things sticking. Uh, so nice soapy water or my favourite thing, because especially when I'm decorating, is sugar soap. If you've got sugar soap, you can pick that up easily. Um, it's not a specialist product. It's something you get in decorators. Even the supermarkets sell it. But what I would do there is just apply a little bit. I'm not going too thickly with this. I might stipple this actually to give it more of an effect or just sort of let it go on how it is. So because the masking tape's there, it is giving me a line to work to. I'm trying not to go too far over it because I don't want to waste the product, but you need to overlap slightly. Just work all the way around. Do tune in at 7 tonight if you can. I, I can't promise this is happening, but we're hoping it is. Janice is presenting, I'm guesting, and I asked her if she wanted to get involved, so we might have two demo areas set up. So we might come up with a project that we can do together. Um, so that could be fun. <laughs> I am actually going to stipple this again, just so I've got that texture. Look how that goes. You can really get a lot of texture with this stuff. Okay. Now, because I've got such good masking tape, I'm hoping I can peel this off now, because you need to really do this while it's wet, not when it's dry. And then, of course, let me just grab that end. Pull away while it's wet. And it's the same if you use the paint. You must take the tape off when it's wet because then you get that perfect straight line. So that with a little tea light in would also look very, very effective. So it's, there's so many uses for this stuff. There really is. Let me just pop that there a second. Right, I'm just going to put that in my water pot so it's not drying. Uh, very, very tough, as I say. It's going to weather beautifully. Right, how much time we got? just trying to throw in as much as I possibly can into this one hour. Let's go back to some chalk paint because we haven't really shown you many colours and we'll also see about the Maya paint as well. Let's have a look at the pastel set, I think. The pastel set. Now, the pastel dream. Now, there's two options under one item number for this one. So you can see, of course, you get your instructions, you get your four sponges. This is one of the sets with the sanding block which is really, really good. Uh, you can use that for multiple purposes. But of course, you're going to get your paints in there, which are really pretty colours. Now, just a reminder, or if you weren't watching earlier, what colour shall I go with? Let's go with that nice green. When I open this up, it will settle, so you need to give these a really good stir. So you may see a difference in colour at the top. I'm just going to use the end of a paintbrush for this one. Very important to stir these and just mix that in until you get a nice creamy consistency. Oh, isn't that lovely? That is a really, really nice colour. <gasps> right, I know what I'm going to do with this now I've mixed it. I'm going to go onto a tin can. Just a re very regular tin can. I've got so many tin cans and bottles down behind me. <laughs> I don't know what came in there. I just, I don't eat a lot of tin stuff, you know. I just say, please donate all your jars and all your tins. Don't throw them away. Let me have them. Right, what I'm doing with this one is I'm going directly onto the tin again because I'm using that sponge 
Look at the lovely stippled effect. It's not a raised stipple effect, but you can see the texture of the sponge. It also means you're getting into all those different shapes that are running around that tin there as well. Those sort of, those lines, those delves. Absolutely fantastic coverage there. Now I am going to do more with this as well because we've also got on the show, I believe, although it's not on the counter, I did ask for it. We'll get this checked. Have we got the rusty patina on? Emily? Have we not got that? Oh no. Oh well I can't do what I was going to do then. Never mind. We'll see if it's on the website. I did ask for it to go back on the show but the fact that it's not on the counter I did wonder. Not to worry we can do things with Maya Gold instead. We can do a similar technique. We will have a look but the rusty if you can go for it if it is there or you've seen it before is just a fabulous product. Oh perhaps they haven't got any stock left. Can't find it. Right so again great coverage with the paint. I could dry that off. If you're really impatient, you could use your heat tool and dry it off, but I personally I prefer to go with it uh, and let it dry naturally. Okay, I was going to show you what I'd done earlier in a similar way. Um, this is what the rusty would have looked like. That's directly onto the tin, but we can't do that now, so I might have to do it with the Maya Gold and we'll do our own, our own creation. So bear with me on this one because we're going to work on that a little bit later as well. Now, uh, we have got some seven days savers to tell you about as well. A3 watercolour card, really good one to go for this. Oh, this is a really good bundle actually. You're getting 16 sheets, it's 300 GSM, it's a soft white. That is great value, I'd multiply on that if you can get it. 984, sorry not 984, £9.84, pence. <laughs> you're saving £30 on that, 439413. We've got MDF for you as well, this is great for your, um, your surfaces. Now this MDF is a little bit different, I did the 7 Day Savers show last night so I've seen these. This is really really interesting and I, it's one of those things I thought, why didn't I think of this? This has got an adhesive film on the top of the MDF but then it's been laser cut so you can peel away the adhesive film in different sections so wherever there's a line you can peel that away so for instance the rainbow there you can take the stripes away separately and because it's sticky underneath you can just apply your glitters or your foils or your different mediums so you can do different effects so very different for MDF like that 11.99 is the price for that bundle 143377 then we have leather embossed paper for you so let's have a look at that. Now this is another good buy actually, 170 GSM for that one. Um, 150 sheets you're getting and it does have a leather look on it as well which is very, very nice. You can't see it on the photograph very much but believe you me it is there. Right, seeing as we're running out of time, how, oh, we've got about seven, I want to get the Maya Gold back in but I just thought while I've got the wet paint I'm just going to stir up another colour from the same same bundle this is from the same box this is the pastel dream again before that paint has dried i'm going to do a little bit of a blend with the two colors so again make sure you stir this well i know i'm repeating myself but i want to remind you this is indoor and outdoor use this is going to weather this is really really good paint and the fact that it's water-based means that you can just wash everything out in soapy water right i am using a different sponge simply because i don't want to contaminate so the green's already drying, but if I just go over the top with a little bit of the blue before it's completely dry, I can start to do a blend. So I will bring that green sponge back in. Let's just go half and half. I love, I love doing uh, tins. I wanted to show you, I had some prep from the last show and I didn't put them in, in the, my van actually, but they were all painted up with the, the set of paints, the first set of paints we had, the chalky ones that sold out last time. They were painted up, yeah, the kind of natural ones. I'll tell you what I did in a little while. I stuck all of the tins together in a circle and built sort of a pyramid of tins and decorated them in different ways. Crackle glaze, we'll maybe use that later as well. Um, and then filled them with plants. You can put soil in there. Maybe put a little plastic bag liner in there because of course being tin, if you're just putting water straight in, then you may... Um, find that they go a little bit rusty but all I'm doing now look, is picking a little bit more of the green up and I'm just kind of blending I don't want that harsh line if I wanted a harsh line I would go with the masking tape and make sure I get a nice clean finish but I just kind of want that to blend beautifully that's just one coat of paint look at that doesn't it blend lovely 
Now you might want to see a bit of the silver coming through there. We'll see how that dries. We'll have a look at that later on. Uh, I'm running so running out of space. Right, now then, because we've got so many colours of the Maya Gold, new colours, I'm going to bring some of these back in. Now, anybody that was watching the last Fever show, I did make the concrete bowl. Um, and I know a lot of you have had a go at this. Oh, I've got to tell a funny story. I'll not give names just in case she gets cross with me. On my group, somebody posted she'd had a go. We used a balloon to blow it and then put the concrete over. The balloon popped when she put the concrete on, and so she got splattered with concrete, <laughs> which I shouldn't laugh, but it must have been hilarious. <laughs> right, now I've used Maya Gold on the inside of this bowl. There is a little bit of dirt in there now because I've had a candle. It's been sat on my table outside, but I'm going to get another colour. Let's go for one we didn't have last time. Did, I don't think we had emerald green last time, did we? We had avocado, which is absolutely beautiful. But we didn't have emerald green. So let's have a look at this. I'm just going to go straight over the top of the gold. Oh, look at that colour. Wow. That is just beautiful. Let's see if I can find a brush that's not too crunchy. Oh, I'm trying not to use my new ones now because I don't want to spoil them. No, I'm going to have to use a new one. <laughs> It is water-based. I can wash it. I have got my water bowl. Right. Oh, look at this. Just look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. Now, I've had a candle in here, and I can see, because I have burnt that candle, I can see where the paint's pulling away a little bit, where the candle wax has been. But where it hasn't, you can see that coverage. That is just with one coat. This paint is absolutely amazing stuff. It really is. I will finish that off a little bit later. I'll change that all to emerald green. But also, because of the Zuri moulds being on as well, if you've got something like, let me just find one. This is another concrete piece. This is our owl. Let's use a little bit of paint with that. I'm gonna have to use new brushes again. <laughs> so, I'm just, I'm just gonna paint in directly on top look how that is covering this is a porous surface concrete is porous i'm going to have to bring back this concrete again another time as well because there's so much you can do with it isn't that just a stunning color absolutely beautiful let me get another color i'm trying to pick things we've not had before oh, there's a gold i don't think we had this gold last time you can mix the colours as well. Do you know what? Just because I'm running out of time, I'm not going to change my paintbrush. I'm going to pick up a little bit of that gold while I've got some green already on the brush so we can see the blend of colours because that will look really nice as well. So just going... Look at that colour coming through. Isn't that gorgeous? Just using the same paintbrush. I'll wipe the paintbrush off in a second and just use the gold so you can see the difference. But I do like that blend. And again, just with one coat. That emerald is absolutely beautiful. Let me just find a, a cloth just to wipe off what I can. Let's turn that around. And go in with, don't contaminate your paints. I've still got a little bit of green on here, but I've wiped most of it off. There's the gold without too much of the green in it. Isn't that lovely? Really, really nice. And again, if you want to dry brush with these, you can do that as well. You could pick up the paint with your finger if you wanted to and rub it on. But actually, I prefer myself, I prefer to use a brush to dry brush. I'm just going to sort of dip in a little bit, take that off again. And let's just kind of, let's just go over the top of there. And that's bringing that green back through again. Just flicking that across. The green, the emerald green is now very, very popular uh, grab that while you can. I'm just as I'm going to be counted out here. I'm just working a little bit of colour, just flicking that across the surface. Now these, don't forget the Zuri moulds. If you've missed out, you'll find them. We've got them on the show. So many people bought these moulds. Uh, if you want the owl, the detail in all of the moulds is absolutely incredible. But just almost dry brushing onto that there, you can see the different effects and the coverage that you're getting with those paints. Isn't that fabulous? Do you know, I'm going to have a play in between shows as much as I can. I've got to do some work as well, but uh, we'll see you at 7 o'clock, myself and Janice.
Oh, yes, we're getting groovy now. It is four o'clock, the final call. It's Clarity One Day Special. And then we've got Tina Francis Tapestry, followed by Cross Two One Day Special. Hi, I'm Katrina from Rowing Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion, and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people would be too. Our kits are really easy and I hope they inspire you to have a go at stitching. Since we've been on Hachanda, had a great time. Everybody's been really friendly and really good. We've met loads of people all around the country who watch Hachanda and find it really inspiring. Don't forget to join me on my own Dean shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Hayley. Join me for some amazing Fabric Freedom shows. Fabric Freedom design all their fabrics here in the UK and they design them with quilters in mind so they're really good at picking out those unidirectional prints. Really nice and small prints so you can work on smaller patchwork projects and paste prints as well which is one of their signature fabrics. They do lots more fabrics besides quilting cottons so tune in to the Fabric Freedom shows here on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Sarah and I'm Vicky. We are the Stampin' Sisters from Stamp Haddocks. We started our family-run business in 1992 when we were importing rubber stamps from the USA. But now we design and manufacture them all here in-house in our shop in Bedfordshire. We make grey rubber stamps and we make them as deeply etched as we possibly can so that you can use them in many different ways. On our shows on Hachanda, we like to give you lots of different techniques to use with the stamps, different ways that they can be used and ideas. We hope that we can inspire you to get out your stamps and have a play. Look at all the different designs we've got. We've got Christmas, we've got scenic, we've got cute and furry. There's something for everyone. Make sure you don't miss the Stamp Addict shows on Hachanda. Welcome to the Deal Wheel. Join us from Thursday the 11th of June at 6pm to Monday the 15th of June at 6pm where the wheel will be in control of your rewards. At the start of every hour we will spin the wheel and where the needle lands the deal is dealt. You can benefit from amazing savings and extra offers but for that live hour only. So you'd better get in quick. You can have the opportunity to benefit from either £5 off an order of £25 or more, 10% off any order placed within the hour, freedom discounts or free standard PMP. These offers are unlimited within the hour. Place multiple orders, receive multiple rewards. So tune in from Thursday the 11th of June at 6pm for the Deal Wheel. Remember that it's the wheel that's in control. Hi, I'm Emma. And I'm Pam. And we're from Quilters Trading Post. We've been open since 2007, so we're coming up to 10 years now. We started our business um, in Cambridge, really, with a long arm quilting machine. We decided we wanted to make a proper business of it, so we bought a shop in this area. We soon grew out of that because we became successful and we bought a school, and now we're in the school. We have four parts to our business. We have the quilting service, we run workshops, we sell patchwork and quilting threads, fabrics and notions, and we do patterns and books. That's our newest thing, and our favourite being our crafters' carry-on. We've really enjoyed being on Hachanda. It's um, made us famous, really. We've got lots of people who now come into the shop and tell us that they've seen us, and that they've enjoyed the demonstrations, and they've watched us over and over again. Make sure you don't miss our shows here on Hachanda.
A very good afternoon to you. I hope you are well. Oh, oh, every time had to happen, I'll pick it up. We'll start again. We'll have the countdown in, the three, the two, the one. We won't, we won't play the show opener again. Um, but here we are. Hello, welcome. How are you? Um, this is interesting because it's a final call, but it's not a final call. But it is a final call, but not the final call on the one day special. That sold out. Then it came back on extended delivery. Well, that sold out. So it would have been a final call on that, but that went. So now we've got Wall Stocks Last. So it's a final call on Wall Stocks Last, but it's not really a final call because it's while stocks last. However, did that make sense? No, I wasn't as good as my producer saying all of that. It's great to have your company though. Let's talk about what we've got on offer for you because when we launched this last night at six o'clock, oh my word, we sold out of the 24 hour stock in one hour. We were that busy. Uh, it's a fabulous collection from Groovy who celebrated yesterday to the day five years of the introduction of Groovy to the television. It's very exciting. We've got the lovely Paul Church online. Good afternoon, Paul. How are you? I'm very well, Janice. I see you're um, sort of smashing the setup as the <laughs> nice show opener. <laughs> well, you know me. Any excuse, any excuse. Um, <laughs> it's lovely to have your company, Paul. We do miss you. I miss seeing you here in the studio. Likewise. Are you keeping safe and well? Yes, we are, and very, very busy. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, didn't it go crazy last oh, night? Oh, my um, word. So, uh, um, so um, yeah, so we went on to delay dispatch, and we, we sort of kept adding throughout the day on that. Um, and then what we've done, we've come back with a wild stock last, and you'll notice that the only difference is the colour of the parchment. Yeah, but it's still a lovely colour, isn't it, Paul, to yeah, work I love with. this. I love this purple and light purple. I think it's really nice. And it is the two-tone, so you've got the lighter sheets and the darker sheets as well to start working with, which I think is a great addition to the one-day special while stocks last. Um, you've and got ten of each, I believe. That's right, yeah. And these um, plates from Linda uh, absolutely blew me away when um, I first saw when I tested them, because... In order, before they go into production, what we do is we have to test them to make sure that they all work, all the lines join up and, and everything else. And as you're tracing it out, you see different things. Um, and although they've been designed to be the gatefolds and the trifolds and wraparounds and everything else, there's so much on them. There really, really is. And I'm not surprised that they've proven as popular as what they have. And that's the beauty of Groovy, isn't it, Paul? You get the designs right there that you can follow on each plate, but you can also take elements from one plate and another and make something completely different from perhaps what was intended in the first place. That's right, and, and what Linda's kindly done for us, or very cleverly, is she's given us our inspiration sheets for each of the three different plates to show different configurations on how they can be used, and that's just sort of touching on the, the edge of what you can do with them. So when yeah, when you get these home, these will be included with the um, A4 plate, so you can see that inspiration. You can also watch these shows again on Rewind, so you can watch the demonstrations that are coming up as well. So that could inspire you when you get them home. But Groovy is a very easy system to use, even if somebody has not been involved in parchment craft before. That's right. I mean, the way I've always described it is that if you can hold a pen, you can use the Groovy system. Um, there really is no skill required, and Barbara always describes it as being on like a groovy train, a groovy journey. Um, and it doesn't matter what level you're at, whether you're just tracing out, you're just going on the coloured parchment, you, you've progressed to colouring, you've progressed to white work, pico cutting, you can get off that train at any step and you'll still have a beautiful piece of artwork. Yeah, you certainly will. I've tried my hand at Groovy, really enjoyed it as well because it's instant results. And we had, and I know we've probably told this story before, but we had a live show and we offered somebody from the audience to come up and have a go with Groovy. And she said that she didn't draw that much because her hand was shaking all the time. But I think you were there as well, Paul, when yeah, she came up. it was a live show, wasn't it, at the NEC? I remember it very well. Yeah, and, um, she, and she came up and used the Groovy system, and there was the most beautiful, perfect piece of artwork um, created by her, which was fabulous to see. And it was, and she surprised herself because, if I remember rightly, she had an illness where her hands did shake, um, and as soon as she put the tool into the groove on top of the parchment, shaking stopped. I'm not going to say that's for everybody, but for this lady... It did work, and she created a beautiful piece. 
Now, we are approaching 20% of, mm. of the stock of the whilst, whilst stock, 20 of the wild stocks last. Yes, that's it. Um, oh, my word. So we're going to have a very busy show, I think, Paul. Um, so I want to say thank you very much, Paul, for joining us on the show. You're welcome. And thank you for... Do we have some demonstrations from you or Barbara in the yes, show? Yes, it's from me in this one. Um, so the first one is sort of a bit of a recap and a little bit of a delve into the three different plates. Um, and then in the second demo, I can't remember what I'm doing in the second one, but there's a little bit of colouring, um, a little bit of pattern building. See, for these, I love these for pattern building. Yeah, perfect. Um, and I love that with stamps. And to be able to do it with Groovy is fantastic. Perfect. Well, thank you very much, Paul. And we'll see you in the demonstration videos and hopefully see you very soon here in the studio. Likewise. Take care, Janice. See you, Paul. Bye-bye. Bye. Oh, the lovely Paul Church. So the deal you're getting here, it's almost like, well, it is. It's a, it's a three for two deal, individually 19.99. So it's a great deal. And you're also getting the parchment on top. Two payments, your first payment, £24.98. Everything will be sent out at the same time to you. What's the extended delivery on this? Do we have one on the Wild Stocks last? Ooh. I don't know. I said it like that. Ooh. Uh, 010571 because I know we had some more did we have it that on extended delivery no I don't think we did yes we did we had it on a... we did we had the one day special on extended of course there you go I'm confusing myself I don't want to confuse you um, well don't get confused pop these into your basket make sure you check out though because when you watch the demonstration sometimes you can forget and if it's in your basket for 10 minutes or more it's going to pop out so I don't want that to happen <laughs> We don't want it popping out. So, uh, whilst we check on out, here's the lovely Paul Church. Hi, thanks for joining me. This is the final hour. Where has it gone? Um, I thought for the final hour, what we'd do, we'd, we'd have a quick look at where we've been for the past few hours um, as part of the one day special and just have a recap um, and just sort of pick up on some sort of techniques and, and bits and pieces. Um, so let's have a look on the on the camera above um, and we can see the different ones that we've been showcasing um, over the past 24 hours. So it all really started with this beautiful piece here um, during the launch show um, with Barbara um, and it just shows how you've got this gorgeous, let's move these ones just out of the way. I just thought it'd be nice to have a look at them all in one. So when you look here, um, that Linda's done, um, you've got this beautiful fold over. And then when you open it up, you've got this gorgeous design on the inside. Now for me, this would be a fantastic um, wedding invite or a party invite. And traditionally, if, you was, if you're doing sort of like that on a, a mass production, you wouldn't really be able to do it in Groovy because you'd have to be making, if you were doing, I don't know, 50 invites, you'd probably want to start in sort of 10 years before the wedding because it would take you that long. But with the, the beauty of the Groovy system, it allows you to create beautiful cards that have the same design again and again and again. And when you look at it, just at the pure elegance of it, they're just absolutely gorgeous and, and these are great. I mean, this would make fantastic like for a gift voucher, Father's Day and Mother's Day. And when we look at the actual plate that this one has come from, um, you're gonna get all three of them in the one day special. So this one here is using the diagonal rows. Um, so again, you've got the each of the panels that you need to do that. You've got instructions on there as well. You've got beautiful sort of sentiments on there. You've got all these extra design elements. There's so much on all of these plates and I love that you can pick and choose whatever you want. I mean, look at that just as a, a beautiful centerpiece. And then on top of that, what Linda's also done is that she's given you some ideas and inspiration. So you can see the different things by what's on the plate that you can do with them. So when you look, I mean, you've got that beautiful border there, um, which is this element here. It's just, just because it's on a diagonal doesn't mean you keep it as a diagonal. You've got this gorgeous design here, um, which is sort of taking parts of this, but not doing all of it. So when you look, you've got that lovely wave. 
Um, and to have this as a guide to give you that inspiration. I mean, we were talking about invites. Look at this, how simple and elegant that is. And that is just using this one piece here on the plate. Um, or this one here. Look, and that one is the same. It's just that it's had lines put in. So it gives the illusion of, of the wraparound. And you're going to have hours and hours and hours of fun with just one plate alone. Um, so I, I just thought I, I'd just have a recap because the more that I've been playing with these, the more I see and the different, because I love the pattern building, um, these are fantastic. And, and it's, you can do it really easily. Um, so that's looking at that one there. That's the diagonal rose. And then we also had a look at um, this one here. This is absolutely gorgeous. So this is where all your colour parchment really does come into play. So if you if you haven't taken advantage of the offers we've got on the show, we've got a beautiful selection. This is the soft tones and there's 30 sheets in a pack. You've got ivory, light ivory, rose, light rose. Um, you've got baby pink and you've got powder blue. A real nice little colour spectrum. So soft and delicate. But what Linda's done, she's created these beautiful layers um, with the pico cutting. Um, I don't want to... And then using, changing the colour. I mean, look at that. I mean, these are like keepsakes. They really are. And then you open it up and then you've got your inside. And if you use the same colour on top of the same colour, it really does intensify it um, because it can look a bit sort of wishy-washy isn't the right word, but they're very subtle and soft. But laying it one on top of the other, these cards are just designed really for me for the coloured parchment. So that was the one we were looking at there. And if we look at the plate here, so this is the one we've got. That's where that groovy tab disappeared to earlier. Let's just take that off of there. So when we look at the plate, you can see here exactly, you've got the, the mirror image down here. So you can create beautiful frames. You could do beautiful edges. I mean, look, even this around here, you could do that around all four sides um, because you just move your parchment around. And again, Linda has given us some beautiful um, ideas um, and inspiration. So again, you've got this beautiful sort of the almost a circle there. You've got this one, and this is where you can see how it mirrors. Um, I mean, I can sort of see a bell just there. Um, it, it's it's just endless, endless, endless um, amount of possibilities, and it's great that you've got all these ideas from Linda. And once you get started, you really won't stop because you'll just want to. I mean, look, that's just using part of it as a corner. So imagine doing this. You could do it smaller. You could have two of the scallops. Pico cutting that, and it becomes like a photo corner. Yeah, that'd be nice. So just because we've called these gatefolds, trifolds, things like that, doesn't mean that's how you have to use them because they are so, so versatile. And then the third one in the collection, um, let me bring the third one in. I think this is my favourite one, the third one. So this is the card that we did in the previous hour. I say did, we didn't really, we just did little techniques. But I just love this beautiful pale blue. I mean it's lovely in sort of like a, a lilac or a purple. Um, really, really cool. And what I love also about the colour parchment, and all the parchment, is that when you open it up, it doesn't look ugly. Do you know what I mean? It's sometimes you can, you, you're doing stuff on the back of something and you turn it over and you, and you think, oh, I've got to hide that. Whereas with the parchment, you don't because it's beautiful on both sides. So when we look at the play, again, that um, this one has come from, so you've got, so this is sort of like a gatefold trifold because you've got the, the gatefold element there but you can also do it as a trifold. You could take one of the other panels and you can create the wrap as well. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. And again, this is the one that Linda's used for this particular card. 
but I love the, the rigid edges because again, if I want a quick and easy card, it's just a craft knife with my Pergamano ruler and it just cuts that out instantly. I haven't got to worry about doing pico cutting and, and everything else. And then again, when you look at the ideas and inspiration from Linda, um, can you see that little face there? Or is that just me? Have I been here too long? <laughs> see the two little eyes and the nose? I just saw that when I was looking on the screen. But look at that. I mean, these, just these bits alone are absolutely gorgeous. And this bit here is the inner part of that one. Um, just with, This one's just got the frame, the scallop frame around it. But they look so different. And half of that is that so so clever they really really are um so it's all about having a look at what you've got and really sort of playing so i just thought i'd have a quick recap for people that have just sort of tuned in or missed out or just looking for some of it because i know when we, we're doing the demo sometimes we, we because we are limited for time um i think it's nice to have this recap um just to be able to see some of the things that you can do in a little bit more detail so um, I'll be back again shortly it's absolutely delightful isn't it and it's something that you're going to keep it's it could almost be an heirloom how beautiful these pieces of artwork can be and also it could be a card an invitation or it could be something that you put on the wall in your home for example place it in a frame and pop it on the wall in your home if you like uh, here's a lovely sample just here uh, and this is using some of the white parchment but adding color to that isn't that lovely absolutely delightful and then you can do something completely different in colored parchment let me bring this sample up the design team have worked so hard and we must say a huge thank you of course to linda williams as well for putting this together for the anniversary the fifth anniversary of groovy this is by maggie Maggie uh, Byford. Um, lovely example here. And this, of course, shows you how that gatefold just comes in. And then when you open it up, you've got that superb design inside. Now, we're over how much of the stock? Oh, my goodness. 30% of the stock has gone. This is while stocks last, but 30% of that stock has gone. And we're 17 minutes into the final hour. Uh, pop these into your basket and don't miss out. 010571. We've got more demonstrations coming up for you. It's a three for two deal and you can divide the cost into two. You're also getting your parchment included in that. Now, if you like the colour of that parchment and you fancy some more, we've got some more for you. Come over this way. Uh, now, we've got three different options for you. Let's start right here. Uh, they're different item numbers. Uh, this, I love the soft tones in here. Aren't these beautiful? These really are. For me, this would be a wedding invitation or maybe uh, an anniversary, for example, whether you're celebrating 25 years, 50 years of marriage, five years of marriage, a year of marriage, a month of marriage, a day of marriage. It might take you a bit longer, though, if you've got married and then come home and put this together. But, you know, you, you, get, you get my point. Um, but isn't that lovely? And that's a little envelope as well. And inside you've got the invitation. Um, absolutely superb. So if you want to go for the soft tones, so they include those lovely creams. And um, you've got the pinks in there and the blues. Absolutely, and the peaches as well. Um, you've got 20, 30 sheets in this one, five sheets of each colour, £24.99. So we'll leave that sample there just to give you an idea. Right, next up, we've got your two tones. Love these as well. Um, I like the blues in here. So you've got your different tones of blues going through into the, the green. Some nice, almost turquoise colours in there as well. Then into the lighter greens, darker greens too. And you've got some purple... That's, that is a rich aubergine, beautiful colour and some red, lots of different colours in there for you. And again, looks absolutely fantastic when you put that to your parchment. Freedom members, oh my word, £17.99, that's a deal, isn't it? Now, if you're going for any of these with your one-day special, the price of these will be divisible, I like that word, divisible by two. I haven't got a clue what it means, but I use it a lot. Um, you can divide it into two with your flexi buys, um, uh, which is brilliant. Uh, 706 3 0 2. I do know what I'm talking about. 
most of the time. Uh, right, your third option is your two-tone in the bright. So it's a different item number. Actually matches my shirt. Uh, £14.99. pence, And then let's pop that in there as well because those are your dark and light purple. They come with your one day special while stocks last. But if you wanted to get even more of them, £14.99 going for your one day special while stocks last. Divide this into two. It's going to be £7.50 this month and £7.50 in a month's time. Right. We're heading back to Paul Church now for another demonstration. This is part two. Hi. Thanks for joining me again. I thought for this part um, of the hour, um, I'd do a little bit of pattern building um, just to show different bits and pieces. So when we have a look um, at the inspiration sheet on this particular um, design, you can see how you can create so many different designs. And this is just touching very, very, uh, like a small percentage of what you can do. Um, so in one of the, um, I think it was the six o'clock or the eight o'clock last night, Barbara showed us how, we cre how to create the inner part of the design so that you get the, the design when we look at what Linda's done here so that we know that this is in the right place what Barbara did was she showed us how you cut the inner part slightly smaller and then when you place it inside and you've got your outer wrap around it you use a ruler and a white pencil on the front of the parchment just to trace in those lines so it gives you the area in which to work so that you don't go over a larger area so that when the flaps are, are folded over, you lose out on the design. I'm not saying that you can't if you don't want to, but it just adds so that when you get the card like this and you open it up, you've got that beautiful top and towel area. So Barbara sort of showed us how we could do that like with this piece here. So I thought rather than let this bit go to waste, let's have a bit of a play um, just using this one part of the design that's on the plate just to show how if you don't want, I mean, these are done as a wrap, but it doesn't mean it has to be a wrap. For example, you could do this on one piece to give the illusion of a wrap around. Um, and that would be the card. So for example, this lovely card here isn't a wraparound at all. We've, Linda's created this beautiful frame around the outside and then used it to create a topper in the middle. So it's all about sort of the, the flexibility and the versatility in my mind for the actual design. And then this one here um, from Maggie Byford, I mean, look at that, absolutely gorgeous. Um, and this is using sort of like the, the soft lilac colourways with the designer paper inside as well. So I thought what we would do is this was a piece that, that Barbara had previously created. And this on the lovely powder blue that really ties in nicely. And so if I bring the plate into play, what Barbara's done is she's taken that one element there. She's rubbed out the um, pencil lines that she put in place and then she turned it round and then used the same design at the bottom. So I thought what we'd do is we'd put it on the other sides as well and it's really easy to, to line it up because it's going to sit within the, um, the box lines because it's been trimmed just inside. And I'm going to bring it up so that it lines up with the lines that are coming down. And I'll take my groovy tabs and we're just going to hold that in place. See, for me, the, the versatility, the mileage that you can get out of these plates, it really is. Um, it's just down to the imagination. So I'm just trying to find my groovy guard. Um, and then all I'm going to do, I'm going to wipe it with the tumble dry sheet. And what I'm going to do, because there's nowhere for this to, to hold on to, I mean, my tabs are holding it securely. I'm just going to spin this round so that I've got this to lean on and holds it in place. And then all I'm going to do, I'm using the number one tool and I'm just going to trace out. And you can see how quick 
and easy it is to use the groovy plates to transfer the design from the plate onto the parchment. So I'm just going to turn it around and it's all about just looking at, at what's on the plates. It really is. See, and then we're going to pop that on there, hold that down again, give that a wipe with the tumble dry sheet and then just trace out the design. Now normally when I'm at home, if I'm prepping with parchment, um, I have I've got one of those, um, what's it, a tray, that's the word I was looking for, a tray with a padded, like a padded tray underneath and I have my light panel on there and I work away, it doesn't disturb anyone else in the room and it doesn't matter whether I'm using clear parchment or light parchment, I'm sort of like self-contained, um, it's clean, it's tidy, so now when we turn that over you can see how we're just starting to build up a very simple design that we can carry on in filling um, doing different things to it so when we have a look on the plate um, maybe i could put this in the corner or let's have a look what what does that be too much seeing that we don't really want to go there so maybe we could See, it's all about just playing. So I think, oh, decisions, decisions. See, I think that looks quite nice like that. So what about, I know what we'll do. This is all so on the back of the parchment. Right, what I'm gonna do, what I wanna do is put this panel here, but I wanna do a, a, the reverse to create a box but I don't know whether it's going to fit. I think it will, but I don't want to do it and then realize it doesn't. So what I'm going to do is take a piece of clear parchment. Let's grab a piece from over here. So this is going to be like my template. Um, and we often do this when we're, we're working and we're trying to work on a, a layout. So I'm going to wipe that with my tumble dry sheet and then just follow those lines through. See, and then I'm gonna put the little legs on as well, because I like these little legs. I liked the way Linda did that little flower trough. And then what I'm gonna do is spin that around, and then look, that lines up perfectly with that there. So I'm now cre completing my panel, just like so. I mean, I don't have to put those little legs on, but I think it's good. And then what Linda did with her one, she moved it, do it the right way, she moved it along to create the second one. So if I bring this card in so you can see what I'm on about in the little trough. So on the plate, you've just got that one and that one, but then Linda's moved it along to give the effect. It's a little bit sort of raw iron, isn't it? So then what I'm gonna do is I've now got my piece that I wanna work on, and then I can overlay this to see whether it's gonna fit, and it does. I guessed it would, but I wasn't 100% sure. So I reckon I'm gonna go about there with that. So all I need to do just to get me started is I just need to attach that there because what it does, it creates a hinge for me so that when I bring my plate back into play, I can line up, what I'm gonna do is pop 
a groovy tab on that side so that when I line this up on there, because I can see through the parchment, I mean, the light panel would make it a lot easier, but you know what, just for speed. So I know that's in the right place now. Then all I'm gonna do is keep that in place, take that down. So again, that has created, so I know when I put this one in, then the other one is gonna be in the right place as well. Easy peasy. Okay, and then we're gonna add those little bits in there as well. And so now when I turn it over, he says, fingers crossed, when I turn that over, line that area back up there, and then trace out the rest of my panel. So that my little template I created, I can keep that in a file, and then I can use that again and again on anything else that I decide. I mean, if I wanted to, I could have done that panel, I could have chosen to Pico cut it, or because they're nice straight edges, so I could have done that on a separate color to build up. But I just wanted to show how you can then just start to create a beautiful piece, quite simple but elegant, um, just using the different areas on the plate. So I think we could put a verse in there or a, a message to someone. So again, just to recap something that Barbara did, um, let's have a look. I think we'll go with this one, the Roll Relays. It's got some beautiful um, dearest friend, best friend, happy birthday, special birthday, get well soon, happy Easter, ready for next year. Um, and what I can also do now is have a look to see whether they're going to fit in there. And they're all going to fit. If I turn it over that way on the reverse, it's more prominent. So I can see exactly. See, look, you're like a sister. Just about fits in there. But if I'd started on my piece, how would I have known if I hadn't have sort of got a template to get the position? So I think we're gonna go with Dearest Friend. Now again, what Barbara did, in case those of you that missed it, and I thought it was it was obvious, but it wasn't, I, did, I wouldn't have thought about doing it until Barbara had done it, if you know what I mean. Um, so I'm gonna take my white pergola liner pencil, for example, and what I'm gonna do is, I'm on the front of the parchment now, and I'm gonna take my Pergamano ruler that's got the groovy grip on there and then what I'm going to do is just line that up and just pop a line across there. Now because I'm working on the front when I rub that out it's not going to remove the colour. So we're going to turn that over and I'm going to bring in um, best friend. I've now got my guide because it's the line is on there. Tape that down. And then, where's my groovy guard gone? There we go. And then I can trace out the design or the word. What I love about having the, these greetings on these and some of our other plates is I don't need to think about what I'm doing because it's just a groove in a plate that happens to spell out a particular word and if I get too carried away and I jump out it's not going to ruin what I'm doing you see so now I've got my design in place and I can take my eraser pencil and just rub out that pencil line as Barb said no one would know any wiser and there you go, so that's just a little tip, um, just in case you missed out, and just to recap. Because I think this is what this hour is about, is just recapping on different bits and pieces. So I hope you enjoyed that little bit, and I'll see you again soon.
It's lovely, isn't it? It really is. And this is something that's so achievable. Those beautiful designs by Linda Williams when you get your plates home. Now, I did say check out your baskets during the demonstrations, and my word, you did, because we are now 60% of the Wild Stock's last stock has now gone gone so this could be the time if you've not done it already to check out your baskets it is on extended delivery because it is a wild stocks last we sold out of the one day special in the first hour the first hour of launch and then it came back on extended and now it's wild stocks last the difference being the color of the parchment that you're getting and the color of the parchment that you're getting in this particular deal it's beautiful you've got the two tones here in the purple so you've got the light and the dark so dispatching on the 15th of June it's not long to wait at all and you can divide the cost into two what's great about that if you're thinking about your budget for example um, we will divide the cost into two but we'll send everything out at the same time so you're not waiting another month to buy the second half you are just paying in two installments and it's interest free as well which is marvelous so think about the occasions that are coming up for you father's day maybe you've got a special birthday coming up maybe you've got an anniversary date coming up as well maybe you're going to lend these to cards home decoration maybe some envelopes as well there's all kinds of different um, cards that you can make with these because they've also got the sentiments on as well this is a lovely sample and you see the actual uh, let me see has that been made that is some beautiful beautiful ribbon uh, that goes around there and then we simply slide that off I'm going to do this delicately she says because I want to open this up there you go let's take that off there there you go and you can see there that lovely white work but also a little bit of color You've got thinking of you today and always, and then you open that up, and inside you can have your message, or it could be an invitation to something. How lovely is that? That is a gorgeous design. It doesn't say who that's by, actually. So, the design team, whoever it is, oh, here we go. No, it is. It's by Emma Burns. Emma Burns, it says on the little ribbon just there. Emma, that is absolutely delightful. It's gorgeous, isn't it? So, lots of different designs, three plates, and you've got the different sentiments as well. Should we have a look at the sentiments? Because um, the great thing is, you can use these sentiments on and in conjunction with your other groovy plates. So you have got, you are invited, always and forever, thinking of you, which is fabulous. Uh, you've got best wishes, today and always, sending love to you with deepest sympathy. So you've got that one. I probably do need my glasses, but no, they're, they're, they're big enough. I'm doing that because I'm thinking, oh, yeah, that is, that's the saying. Yes, I can feel that. Uh, <laughs> what I'm talking about half the time. Uh, a special birthday, dearest friend, best friend, happy Easter. You're just like a sister. Oh, isn't that lovely? Uh, get well soon. Happy birthday. And then we have got, you've got your mum, your uncle, your granddad, mum, auntie, grandma, so you've got your choice there, nephew, son and brother, and you've got niece, daughter and sister. Really nice, delicate fonts as well in those. And in each of the designs you will get these beautiful templates showing you exactly what you can do and how you can put those designs together, all designed by Linda Williams. And of course yesterday celebrating five years of groovy coming on to television and launching. Uh, oh, I'm being told two thirds of the stock has now gone. Two thirds of the stock. So if you have just joined us, you've still got a chance to get it into your basket, but you do need to check out. That's the most important thing. Please do check out. And if you want some of the extra parchment that we've got on the show, um, just head over to there and pop those into your basket as well so that when you check out, the price of that will also be divided into two. 010571 is your item number. Right, we've got more demonstrations for you. We wanted to pack as many demonstrations into the show as we could. So here's another one from the lovely Paul Church. Hi, welcome back. So earlier on we had a look at this particular design here um, and we were just sort of building it up. I was just showing how you can use different areas on the different parts of the plates. So um, whilst you were having a look at all the beautiful artwork from the design team, what I did was, so I've used this part here to create my little panel. And um, while I you was on a, I was on a break, I was thinking that would be a fantastic little tag as well. Um, it's a, a perfect size and for the personalization and then what I did I brought the other plate in that's got these beautiful flowers on it and I took this little corner and then I just infilled the corner just like that 
see so use it as little finishing tricks and i could i could have carried on but you know sometimes less is more um and then i remember the trick so i want this to stand out a little bit more because we're using the um powder blue parchment and i thought how can you get that to stand out to give the illusion that it's sort of three-dimensional so there's a couple of things and i remember a while back um we did some frames some beautiful frames and um you to get the to stand out you put color in so what i used to do was i'd get my perga liner pencils or the uh, perga color pens and i would go in freehand with my pencil and i'd go in on there and color it in but nine times out of ten i'd come out over the edge which on clear parchment isn't an issue because obviously I can take my eraser and rub it out. But because I'm working on the back and I'm working on colored parchment, if I go over the edge and I rub it out, it's gonna rub out the color on the color parchment as well. So I remember Barb, even before parchment, if you've got like a, if say you had a stamp design that had a frame and you wanted to fill it in, then what you do is you take your ruler. So this is the Pergamano ruler that's got the groovy grip on it. And you pop it on. So the groovy grip stops it sliding around. Okay, these are, this is fantastic. Um, the reason Barb came out of this was because years ago I was doing um, a demonstration on TV with a normal ruler on parchment. And I wasn't at that pico cutting stage. And so I put the ruler on like that. And as I went like that, the ruler slipped and I cut straight across my work. Um, so Barb, being Barb, she did some investigation and she found this product called Groovy Grip. And when you apply the pressure, it doesn't move. But it's not sticky, because if it was sticky, it'd ruin the parchment. So what you do is you put the, the ruler, let me see if I can come in on, on the other side so you can see that a little bit better. So what you do is you pop it along the edge there to protect the work on the inside. And then all you're going to do, let me make sure I can see what I'm doing. That's about there. And then all you're going to do is just take your pencil and your pencil, I'm not putting pressure on, but I'm just using the width of the lead just to put that color in. And because I've got that ruler in place, it's protecting not only my work, but it's also giving the lead in the pencil a guide so that it, it goes where it should go. Does that sort of make sense? Um, Rob, and it would be a lot slower if I was doing this freehand as well, but because I've got the confidence of the, the ruler not moving, then you can see that all I'm doing is I'm just going up and down, up and down. But again, I'm not putting pressure on. The depth of the color is where I'm just going over it several times to build it up. So you go all the way around. And I don't even need to blend this. I mean, if I wanted to blend it, I would do exactly the same with the ruler, just to act as a guide with the nib. And then you go all the way. This is, it's such a lovely finishing trick as well. Um, and the, the pencils, for me, are more forgiving. So I'm just going to go around. But what it does is it it makes the frame stand out. Now, if I, I've, I've stuck with blue for ease um, because I'm using the, the Pal Blue parchment. But if I wanted that to be yellow or red, um, then what you would do, it doesn't really stand out, oh, upside down, it doesn't really stand out there until I take a piece of card and pop that underneath. So now you can really see that it sort of, it makes that pop. So it's a really nice sort of finishing trick just to show how you can sort of just make something stand out if you want it to. So when we look at the design, you can see quite clearly that blue, I could have gone with the lighter blue, but if I were to go with yellow, then I would use the eraser pencil to remove the color 
and then use the yellow pencil. Otherwise the yellow and the blue, I'm likely to get sort of a greeny color, which I don't want. So let me explain that. So if I take the eraser pencil, for example, and I wanna do a yellow flower, then all I do is I remove the color, because I'm working on the back, I'm gonna remove the color from inside the flowers. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this one where I've taken the color out, and I'm gonna do one flower where I've left the, the color in. Just so you can sort of see the difference. And for me, the, the colored parchment and having this capability is it makes a big difference. So just remove that color from there. There we go, you see, let's see, can you, can you see that? If I put that white bit of card under, there you go, you can see where that color is taken out. So if you're not even at your white work stage, then the coloring is really achievable. Um, so let's have a look, if I take that yellow, so it's another bead pencil as well, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply some yellow onto this one here. And again, I did some coloring in one of the previous hours um, in a little bit more detail. And then I'm gonna put some yellow on the one where I haven't taken the color out. And then what I'm gonna do, I've got my spot on sponge, so it's already got some on there, but it's probably dried out now because it's quite warm in here. And then I need to find a clean nib. This is the one that I used before. So keep all these in a box because you can reuse them. Keep a blue one, a yellow one, a green one. And then the lovely Dorso oil this makes the room smell lovely as well. Just a drop on there. And then all I'm gonna do is just dab that in there and there's way too much on there. So I'm gonna press into the clean area just so that the sponge can draw out some of that color. And then just slow, oh, see the, I, I just love this. Let me go over to the, um, the other camera so we can get in a bit more detail. There we go, there we go. So let's turn it around that way so it's a little bit closer. Where's my groovy guard? Hiding under all the plates. Pop that down and then it focuses. Woo, there we go. So then all I'm gonna do, I mean, you don't need to use oil to blend. You can dry blend as well um, and you'll get a different look. But you can see how I go on this one here now where I didn't remove the color. And the oil doesn't have any reaction to the color of the parchment. Um, it doesn't remove it or it, it doesn't sort of distort it. Um, but it's just, it's very, very subtle. And then what I want is, I love doing this. Uh, let's have a look at the red. And then I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of red just at the bottom. Not much, doesn't leave that, because the red is stronger than the yellow. So then all I'm gonna do is just pull that out from the bottom and it just adds a little bit of color. I probably could have chosen a bigger flower for it to pick up on the but I just love the effect that this gives. The yellow, the touch of red, brings it into like a lovely orange. And it's not gonna show up very well at the moment, but it really will when we turn it over. So if I put a bit of card underneath, so now you can see, if I bring this round and hold it up there, so you can see, the larger flower is where we removed the color and the smaller flower we didn't. So I'm not saying it's right or wrong. You can get a different shade using yellow by leaving the color in. But if you go for some of the more darker colors in the, um, that we've got a pack of 26 sheets, there's some really nice dark colors. The color just wouldn't come through at all. Um, 
So I thought I'd just show you a recap on that um, and just give you like little hints and tips. So I hope you've enjoyed that and um, I'll see you again soon. Oh, it's lovely. It really is. We're busy. We are, um, well, stock-wise, what... We're over 70% of the wild stocks last. This show, we've got 10 minutes left, 10 minutes of the show left. So this could be the best time to pop it into your basket because the price is going to go back up at 6 o'clock tonight. So you will have after the show uh, to check out your baskets. But if it's gone, it's gone. That's all I'm saying. I don't want to rush you, but I don't want you to miss out either. Um, absolutely delightful cards and beautiful parchment as well. The parchment that you get with the one, well, with the one day special wild stocks last, is the two tones in the purple now if you want to go for any other colors we do have them available for you and if you go for them now and pop them into your basket then you can divide the price of those into two as well so you can set yourself up all good to go and if you need any extra tools or any extra pergamano pens or blenders then you can head to the website and get those as well let's have a quick look it might be an idea if you are pop in the wild stocks last into your basket to have a look at these so uh, we've got lots of parchment for you to choose from um, I love that two-tone brights parchment um, 14 pounds and 99 pence excellent value for money at 20 sheets uh, we've got the deluxe starter kit which is absolutely perfect maybe you're a, maybe you're a groovier uh, or a groovist or a groovier maybe you're getting groovier as time goes on and you want to introduce someone else to parchment craft and get them into the groove well here's the ideal solution um, it's available on flexi buy so you can divide the cost of this into two as well and you've got your tools in there you've got your tumble dry sheet in there as well for anti-static um, and also for making it uh, smoother to work on uh, you've got your groovy plates you've got your groovy mat in there as well and you've got your plate mate plate plate <laughs> <laughs> you've got your plate mate, uh, you've got your plate mate um, and then you've got those wonderful plates to start working with. So you've got some tags in there, you've got some circles, you've got some ovals in there, you've got the trees, you've also got the apertures as well and there's lovely rolling hills. That is a great kit. That's a great kit. Now if you want to take it to the next level, uh, we've got some light panels for you. Great price on that, £62.98, especially as it's on Flexi Buy. That, of course, is for all kinds of different crafts as well because you have the illumination coming up from behind the craft, which always helps. There you go. Available on Flexi Buy. And there's lots of, wow, lots of reviews for that. And you also get the bag as well to put it in. Uh, so you can store it safely. So we recommend maybe having a look at that as well if you really want to treat yourself. Um, and then you've got your Pergamano, you've got your ball tools in there, and you've got your perforating tools as well, and you've got your needle tools for perforating, and your embossing mat as well. Perfect. It's all on the website, and that's where you can head to uh, so you can check out your baskets. Let's have a look at some more samples whilst we go through. Each sample, every time I pick it up, I just think, oh my goodness, it's absolutely beautiful. And the design team have done such a fabulous job. We are three quarters of the stock gone now. This is by Glynis. This is nice. Let's open that up. Beautiful design in the middle. Now, there's nothing to stop you. Here's an idea. Maybe if you were to get a brad or something in the middle, you could have something that turns. Does that one turn? Oh, the little one turns, I'm being told. I'm not going to turn anything. This card is not for turning. Only a few people will know what I mean by that. Um, so, we've got that one there. Uh, let's pick up this one here as well. Happy birthday with love. Happy birthday to Blue, by the way. Happy first birthday to Blue. Oh, and I know this is pink, but it would still be a lovely card for Blue. So, happy birthday. What a wonderful card that is. Even the detail along the bottom uh, that you can see there. Superb, just those finishing touches that really make those designs stand out. And if you like flowers, then some lovely ways that you can use the plates to add foliage and flowers. This one is by Chris, Chris Walker. Um, again, you've got the happy birthday in there because you get the sentiments and you've got that wonderful wrap over that comes over there with that beautiful design. You can add color to that as well. If you're thinking, well, what do I do when I get these home? Linda has included these design sheets for you so you know exactly the designs that you can go through with your card making. Now we've only got, well, 
about 20 seconds left of the live show. You've got, oh my goodness, we're, we're now approaching 80% of the stock gone. Uh, do check out your baskets. The reason why I'm saying that is if you leave it there whilst you have, uh, go and get a cup of tea or something like that, it might pop out. I don't want you to miss out. It's been a fantastic one day special. Thanks to Barbara. Thanks to Paul. Thanks to Linda Williams. Thanks to the design team. Thanks to you and thanks to the crew as well. But stay where you are because we've got more coming up. Right, we've got some tapestry for you next with Tina Francis. Crafts 2 One Day Special launches at 6 o'clock tonight. Yes, John isn't next door. Well, he is, but he's here. Welcome to Club G45 from Graphic 45, the monthly tutorial kit that allows you to create some of the most beautiful projects by accessing a step-by-step -step video viewable online. This month's tutorial is the Club G45 Ocean Blue Collector's Box and Mini Album and Matchbook Box Kit. You will get almost everything you need to create both of these projects from scratch, including access to this month's step-by-step -step video tutorial and accompanying project sheet. Simply order yours by purchasing item number 467894 for £49.99, plus your postage from hochanda.com, or give us a call on 01733 60 2000 for instant access to this month's Club G45 from Graphic 45. Hi, I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp Limited. We're well known in the industry for designing and manufacturing top quality award winning craft products. As with all craft projects, you need a good starting place, a great stamp, a top quality stencil, and in recent times we've developed the Groovy Parchment Art System so that your line art is perfect on parchment. Another exciting development to come from the marriage between Parchment and our stamp company is the fabulous designer papers and now the designer parchment. There is nothing like it. Each groovy plate is precision etched and by simply getting in the groove with a stylus you can easily transfer great designs onto parchment. Groovy is a modular system. The plates complement each other and work beautifully together. They are packed with elements and allow you to build your own original artwork. Whether you're a novice or a traditional parcher, you will love these plates. And for me personally, having beautiful line art is what motivated me to want to learn traditional parchment skills. So why not get in the groove with us here on our channel? Hi, my name is Maggie and I'm from Impressions Crafts. Um, I've been running my business now for 15 years. It's a small family-run business in the south of Cheshire. We have a large craft shop and we sell all sorts of beading and jewellery supplies. Um, I have a passion for making jewellery. I love working with um, the Lucite style flower beads and we make thousands and thousands of angels and have been doing so for the last few years. We've been bringing uh, to Hachanda lots of lovely beading kits, jewellery uh, for necklaces and bracelets and earrings. And we also bring a wide range of angels and accessories, beading accessories like bookmarks. And we also have our range of laser cut, uh, sun catchers and mobiles, all the lovely crafty beads. Hope you can tune into my shows and looking forward to seeing you on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Andy from Picture This. I've been a painter all my life. Picture This was actually formed on the back of a throwaway remark from one of my art students. This has developed my drawings into a series of photopolymer stamps, clear stamps for the crafting community and the crafting industry. The stamps are all hand-drawn by me. They're made in the UK, most important to us at Picture This, and we have so much more to bring.
Our shows on Achanda, um, we hope to make them informative, amusing obviously, entertaining, but mainly it's about bringing the creative spirit to you. Make sure you tune in and watch the picture this shows on her channel. Hello and a very good evening to you. Yes, thank you for joining us here on Achanda. Now, we've got a very special hour ahead for you. Now, our lovely guest, Tina, we're going to see her in a little while. In fact, we're going to give her a wave, I think, in a little while. Mm -hmm. uh, Tina has not actually been seen here at the studios before. Now, Tina's products have been seen once before, and you may have seen her hands because due to lockdown, there's been videos sent in, so you may have actually seen Tina's hands in the process of demonstration before. But Tina herself is here in the studio. We're so excited about this. Hello, Tina. How are you? Fine, thanks. How are you? I'm very, very well. I'm really excited about this show. I didn't get the opportunity to see much before the hour, but when I walked into the studio, it's like, oh my goodness, really can we achieve this as a beginner? If you're looking for something new, we've got some great products for you. But first of all, I'm going to tell you about this. And you have found it already. This is Tina's own book. This is absolutely beautiful. We're going to have a little bit of a flick through here. Uh, this is our wonderful book. It's Search Press who are behind this as well, so you know the quality of the book. You know the photography is going to be absolutely incredible. Now, it's taken Tina a year in making to put this book together. Modern Bargello. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm not going to show you absolutely everything because it would spoil it when you get it home but if you're looking for a new craft perhaps or if you've already been using tapestry or doing tapestry then perhaps you haven't seen this stitch before isn't it gorgeous look at the colors absolutely stunning I'm just gonna flick through a little bit faster so I'm not giving too much away you're getting projects in here lots of ideas it is absolutely stunning look at this now lots of detail in there as well lots of techniques lots of information i am just going to read a little bit from the back of the book as well because i was i was just looking at the back cover i will have to put my glasses on by the way and i thought this was really really nice because it says bargello stitching is making a comeback famous for its colorful flame light stitches bargello is quick to master fast to achieve and beware very addictive now that's just part of the bat there and I can see why it says that I am going to hand over to Tina we're gonna have a little chat with Tina now Tina the book itself so yeah. beautiful so colorful and what a great way to describe the stitches there you know a colorful like the flames and I can see it's going to be addictive and in fact the samples that you've got around you there absolutely stunning tell us a little bit about yourself your company and also the samples that you've brought in with you okay yeah I'm Tina Francis I run a small tapestry like tapestry needlepoint um, kit business and I love Bargello because it's got some fantastic colors you can it doesn't matter whether you use the colors plain colors or you know sort of sort of more sort of neutral colors if you use really bright colors it's still the same stitch but it's a fantastic way to use all the colors that you've got in your box oh fantastic tell me about some of the samples that you've got there Tina because those boxes those cubes are they storage yeah. are they well you could use them as storage or you could just use them as objects oh. there's a little bit of art and all the things that are a lot along here they're all actually in the book Oh, fabulous. Yes, they are in the book. And also, I've noticed in the book as well, some smaller items such as bracelets. I can see perhaps things like bookmarks could be created. Yes, there you go. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, where in the bracelets there? They are absolutely gorgeous. Now, 15 projects in the book. So much information in there as well. And just £9.99. That's all it is. Do get this. And, of course, the, the projects that we've got to show you and the bundles that we've got to show you as well, you will see in this book as well. 688380 is the item number if you want to go for that one. But let's have a look at some of the kits we've got on offers. Now, this is absolutely stunning. Now, you found this one as well. We're allocating for this. You have found it in advance. I think you're shopping ahead. And we do have options on this one as well. This is our lumbar cushion kit. Now, you have got those two different options here. Let's have a look at the colour choices as well. You get an incredible amount of wool, and it is wool. It's 100% wool. That's what you're getting in here. The colours are absolutely glorious. Now, 
let me just show you these cushions as well now you can create cushions but you could create other things as well once you've done that stitch and you've created that pattern then it's up to you but don't they look amazing as cushions and do you know what you could is there a right and wrong way to put that tina or could is it personal choice it's personal choice i mean i've de i've designed them they're quite traditional patterns so i've designed them with a way in mind but once you've stitched it yourself it's your own piece of art so you can do what you like with it really Certainly, I, I wouldn't mind which way up that is. I think it works equally as beautiful. In fact, even going that mm. way, it looks lovely, doesn't <laughs> it? Gorgeous. Let me show you the other sample we've got so you can see the difference in the colours. So here, those blues. Oh, wow. Now, this is currently our most popular option. This is our lil lilting. Is that the colour of it? Fifty-four ninety-nine for the price here. Obviously, brand new today. Zero seven zero six eight four. So you've got the gothic, which was the redder one, and you've got lilting there, which is the blues. Let me just show you the gothic again. Absolutely beautiful. Do you know? Doesn't it flow beautiful? The stitch. It really does. And I'm just going to say at this point as well because I did make sure because I was kind of, are you sure about this? Someone who's not done this before, this stitch is something that everybody can pick up on and get going and then you can sort of work from there. So don't think if you've not done tapestry before, this isn't for you, it certainly can be. Now we do have a flexi buy option on here as well, two payments of 27 pounds and 50 pence, so you can spread the cost. Look at the amount of thread that you get in there, that is 100% wool. 100% wool, so top quality products we're giving you here, 070684. Now we're going to move down because we've got more for you as well. Oh, the colours again. Now this one, I am going to say, although yes, you can pick up uh, what we've just shown you there as a beginner. I did check with Tina on this one. We are saying a little bit more intermediate, but once you get going with the with the stitch, you will be able to reach this very, very quickly as well. $24.99 is going to be the price for this kit. You've got the pennant here. You've got the Bargello wall hanging kit. I have got some samples behind me, which I'm going to bring forward. Now we've got two different options, so we'll talk through those first and then I'll bring the samples in. So we've got the colours, or oh, the colour options are ground or turquoise treat. Oh I love these names yeah. Tina. <laughs> it's traditional love ground. love these names. Yeah. <laughs> now let me just show you the canvas that you're getting in the kit as well and then I will bring those uh, samples forward because there's something I noticed about them that I want to pick out that I found really really attractive actually. Now this canvas, it's really sturdy Tina yeah. isn't it? So I've noticed you've got a frame there. Do we not have to use a frame for all these kits? Can we work straight onto the canvas? Yeah, with the plastic canvas. And also if you're doing smaller sizes in the cotton canvas, you don't need a frame. And that, it's really good because that means that you can enter into this craft and you can uh, don't necessarily need to buy a frame and things like that. You can see whether you really like it with the plastic canvas. Wonderful. Absolutely gorgeous. Now I am just going to grab this board at the back and there's a reason I want to bring it forward actually. <laughs> Oh, well, oh, look at these. Yes, oh, that wall is a bit heavy. <laughs> uh, I'll try not to buckle my knees. Now, I w I'm hoping we can come in really closer because, of course, using the canvas and working the stitches in there, look how the canvas has been cut around the stitching, keeping that beautiful shape. And straight away, I looked at that and I thought, it's like the Pico edging when you see clarity, when you see the groovy boards and you do the Pico edging. Isn't that lovely? Do you know, it just adds to the overall look of that. It's such a beautiful finish. These colours are just incredible, Tina, aren't they? Yeah. They really are. You've got such a good eye for putting the kits together <laughs> in the colours. Where do you find your inspiration? Where do you, where do you find, you know, if you're designing the stitches, where does that inspiration start yeah. from? I love um, sort of being a child of the 70s. I do quite like 1970s caravan sort of colours. Oh. Where you've got like your mustards and your turquoises and your browns. And so I really like um, bright and vibrant colours and also mixtures of colours together as well. Colours you might not necessarily want to add together. Yes, and that's the thing, when you see them together, sometimes we talk about colours and we think, oh, I'm not sure about that. But yeah. when you see them together, you, you just get this... Wow, that just yeah. works. Incredible. Let's have a look there then at the details again. You have got those choices. $24.99, item number 209834. Now the next kit, again, back to a beginner here for this kit as well. If you are, are wanting to try this for the first time, then this is a lovely kit to go for. Now the thread in this one is pearle. Beautiful colours once again. Absolutely stunning. You've got the turquoise in there, the sort of peach and the pink in there. Beautiful. Of course you've got the full instructions and you get a frame included in this one so you can of course frame your piece of art and that's what it is that is a piece of art 
What a great price for this kit as well, $34.99, including the frame, of course. How proud will you be having that hung on your wall? Of course, you've got the canvas included as well. It is that nice, sturdy canvas. Uh, it's cut to size for you, so you can just get going with this. We are going to see demonstrations, of course, throughout the hour. But a lovely kit. I think those colours are absolutely stunning. And, of course, you've got the full instructions. Very clear instructions indeed as well. There you are, item number 684471, if you want to go for that particular kit right the next one we have very similar kit to the one we've just seen but we're back to the wool in this one instead of the pearl and different colors but you've got the frame included again in this one so let me show you the finished sample isn't that amazing how effective is that that looks so three-dimensional that is so clever, Tina. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You can turn it round all different ways and it starts to look completely different as well, 3D. Ah, now then you are really climbing the stairs there, yeah, aren't you? you? You're are. going up the steps. Yeah, and maybe going down the stairs now. <laughs> it, isn't it clever? Yeah. Do you know, you would want to hang that on the wall and change its position every day, wouldn't yeah. you? So you've got a different <laughs> look. I just love it. And, of course, you're getting all those threads in there, the canvas, the full instructions. Again, it's 34.99, brand new today, item number 508.434. Love it. Now, we've got more for you as well. Wait until you see the next items. Oh, I do love these. Right, if you like your cushions... We've got some fabulous samples to show you here. Now, this is a stepping out cushion kit. Let me just show you this. I'm going to pick this up before I even talk about the rest of the kit. Isn't that incredible? That is absolutely stunning. And I'm going to turn it around again because, of course, you can. It is personal choice. I love it that way as well. <laughs> I really do. Isn't this beautiful? Now, again, you're going to get your full instructions, all of your threads again here. You're getting your canvas as well absolutely beautiful in fact let's have a look at the front here. look at all of the wool that you're going to get 100 percent wool amazing 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 quality from anchor it's all like the brand name anchor has been around for many many years they know exactly what they're doing of course two flexi buy payments of 32 pounds and 50 pence for this one you can be creating this now obviously you need to provide your own cushion inner and also the backing but you're going to get everything to create that front there do you know if you wanted to create something else with it as well you could do but the the instructions here are for the cushion kit now we have got another item to show you as well zero one nine one zero six for that one actually uh florentine flash is the next the next one i'm going to show you and i have got a lovely sample to show you at the bottom here as well now let's have a look at the colors we've got here look at these the grays and the turquoise in there now there's something special about this kit as well if you look at the name the florentine flash i'm just going to bring up a sample because let me just bring this in so I can show you. you'll see why it's called Florentine flash look at the turquoise flash of color there now what Tina's done here she's she's been very generous actually because you've got those gorgeous grays kind of bluey grays that's the way I see them absolutely stunning many colors go with those colors the turquoise looks amazing but there are colors included in the kit so if you wanted to choose another color you could do so so you are getting more than you need so there's oranges in there as well so if you want to put an orange flash in there you could go with that you have got different choices 106197 is the item number 59.99 is the price we've got a flexi buy on that one as well for you uh, absolutely gorgeous kits this is i think this is my favorite so far. i just love that flash of color and i would go for the turquoise as well 106197 is the item number but of course we do want to see demonstrations we're going to hand straight over to tina this is her first time live in the studio remember so uh, it's a very special day tina are you ready to go i'm ready to go Amazing. i'm going to use a bit of turquoise for you as well oh perfect okay so on all the kits, there's a, a place marked on the kits where, where to start, because traditionally in Bargello, you would start from the middle, but I think there's some real power in being able, being able to do like one full row all the way across to start with. So I'm going to show you as an example of what to do. I'm just going to sh show you how to do a six thread stitch. Okay, so you're using turquoise. Yep. So what particular kits have we got that colour in other than the we've flash? We've got that in, got so it's in Stepping Out, it's in um, the banner as well, in okay. the turquoise Lovely. banner. And the technique that you've shown us, is that described in the book as well? Yeah, it's, it, from the beginning in the book it's, it tells you how to stitch and it also tells you how to um, go through each, each pattern as well. Amazing, okay. Lovely. So I've pulled the, I've pulled the um, thread through and I'm going to count up six threads. 
one, two, three, four, five, six. And if you notice, when you count up um, six threads, it also means that in between the start and the end of the threads, you've got five boxes. Okay. So if, if um, in the banner kit, it's four threads that you're counting up, so you will have three boxes in between. I see. So it's quite good to keep, keep that in mind yes. as you're going on. So I'm going to count up one, two, three, four, five, six, and pull through. And see how I've got the tail. I'm going to track the tail as I come back through into the middle. And then count up six again. Three, four, five, six. And that's the great thing with Bargello is that the stitch length remains the same throughout the whole of the um, stitching that you're doing from start to finish. So oh, I'm going I to count see. up another six and come through. And then I'm going into the middle of the stitch each time. So I'm going to create sort of like a, quite a high peak, really. Okay. Three, four, five, six. In we go. And Tina, if you did happen to miscount slightly, it is easy just to unpull that stitch, isn't it? It is. And once you've started doing lots of six threads or four threads, you sort of, in your mind, you get to see how long that thread is. And you'll be able to spot quite easily if you've done it, you've done it shorter or longer, really. So I'm just going to move up to the top. Okay. Three, four, five, six, and pull in like that. Then I want to come back down again. And the great thing about Bargello, with it being quite symmetrical, it's a great one if you love maths, is you can see the end of the stitch there. I'm just going to repeat it here. And then into there. It down. Now I can see as a beginner how you could get going straight away. Yeah, with this. you can, you can, and you can. Um, you can also sort of like, with the plastic canvas especially, you can try it out and then you can cut it out quite quickly as well yes. with the plastic canvas. With the cotton canvas, it's a little bit harder to um, cut it back out again, but okay. plastic is a really great way to start yourself off. Definitely. I love the fact that you've included that in so many of the kits as well because we can see obviously you're demonstrating using the frame there Tina and yeah. it's nice if you've got something like that if you're going to continue on with this but as a beginner or someone just trying this for the first time or gifting this maybe to someone yeah. it's nice to know you've got everything you need in the kits ready just to get going. It is and also with all of the instructions in all of my kits they've got like the um, the actual diagram but also picture by picture step by yes. step by step so I'm hoping that people will really love that and be able to um, take up Bargello because it is really fantastic so that's my first peak that I've finished off there wonderful and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a second color underneath in Bargello, your stitches share the same hole like the start and the end of the stitch share the same hole so I'm going to show see. you how to do that Again, go down six. I'm just leaving that hanging down and then into that. If you're changing colour, Tina, yep. would you start with a different needle or will you just keep rethreading? Will you unthread and rethread? Is yeah, it, I mean, is it so, better to have extra needles? Yeah, I mean, sometimes it is. It just depends, but really. I mean, a lot of the time people will ask how long things take or, you know, is it really quick to do? Well, it's as quick as you want it to be, really. Okay. I know some people like to thread up, you know, five or six different needles with all the threads on. I've sort of got them threaded up a little bit differently today, but normally I'm like, I'm, I'll finish that, let's thread up another one. Okay. Through, into the middle again, and then we're counting up six, and into that hole. You can see already that even with just two completely different coloured blues are starting to give you a really great 3D type of an effect. It is starting to build very quickly. What about tension then, Tina? Is it just a case of don't over pull, don't over tighten, yeah. just kind of follow the, the holes, the blocks, the squares, and just let it sit nicely? Yeah, without, just sit nicely. If you're not using a frame, you'll soon get to know the tension that you yeah. need. You don't need to read. If you stitch really quick, if, I think sometimes if you stitch to finish, you're, you're not getting such a great result. But if you're stitching for the absolute love of it, you'll get to know the tension as you're going along. Wonderful. Pull it through. I'm 
just imagining, I bet you could use some of the canvas and maybe then stitch onto clothing as well. You could do the yeah. pattern and then maybe stitch it onto something. Yeah, I think you could, but the thing, because it, with it being 100% wool, it depends on what you'd be washing. You'd be washing it then. It oh, might felt as yes. you're washing it. Yeah. So, but you could put it, a lot of people put it onto bags if they're making, yes. like, you know, like the um, courier bag. Yeah. You can put a piece onto there or you can use it as a book cover. It's really well, nice, nice like that. It's really lovely and it gives a, ni a really nice effect as well. And nobody's going to have the same passport cover or book cover as you. That is very true. That's it. So that's just an example of how to do Bargello stitch with two different blues. Wonderful. Um, in, on, in all of the um, kits as well, it tells you, it says when you get to the bottom, you've got to square off your design. And in each kit, it tells you which is your final row. I and see. so I'm going to square off this design now. So I'm imagining this is the bottom of my kit. Okay. And this is my last row. So rather than doing another full six, six stitches down, I'm going to just bring it through from the bottom. Okay. And carry on. So see how I'm squaring off. So that is the ah, full extent of my design yes. now. And that's what it means by squaring off. You'd also do that at the top as well. Yeah. So you're basically filling in that blank. Yes. You don't have to worry about counting because you just fill in those squares. Yes, you're filling away and off you go. And come back down. Lovely. It's quite relaxing to watch, really, isn't it? Do you know it is? You, I'm quite mesmerised <laughs> just watching you. If suddenly the camera comes back to me and I'm kind of glaring over yeah. there, I'm watching a monitor and Tina's hypnotising me with the tapestry. <laughs> that's it. And then that's how we've... Then you would square off the design like that and you'd also do the top as well. Oh, do you know, I could imagine that being turned into a peacock feather. You could put yeah. sort of an eye in there, couldn't you? It or is, the effect of an eye. And also if you did like quite a contrasting colour, like an orange or yeah. a, a really bright red or something, it would look really dynamic, actually. It's almost like a flame, isn't it, going up? Fabulous. Amazing. Well, of course, that just shows you how you can get started very, very easily with the stitch in there. Now, I'm just going to give you a reminder of the book as well. And I've got to say, this book is absolutely beautiful. I did have a flick through beforehand. We're going to have another little look now. I'm going to try and open it a little bit wider, but I don't like bending the spine of things. But I've got to show you, haven't I? Because it looks stunning. Those beautiful bright colours. The Bargello stitch, this is what it's all about. Those flame colours, those beautiful stitches that are achievable by so many people. You know, if you're a starter, new starter, you want to try this, then this book is a great book. It's a great reference book. It's a great instructional book. You've got projects in here. There are actually 15 individual projects in here. They're not just small ones. They're larger projects as well, so there's something for everyone. You know, if you want something quite quick and easy, you'll also notice that some of the projects in here are also kits that we've got on the counter as well, so you can buy this in conjunction with those kits. Absolutely. I love the lilt in lumber there. Isn't that gorgeous? Just have another quick through, uh, flick through there. Isn't it fabulous? And of course, Tina has written this book. It's by Search Press as well, so you know the quality of the book itself. It took a year to put this together, so a lot of care and consideration has gone into that, and I know Tina's very, very proud of it. 9 99 is the price, item number 688380, and we are very busy on that book as well. We're approaching a quarter of the stock already gone. Right, now then, just before we go any further, I've, uh, I'm just going to mention something on the seven-day savers as well because these are a really good item that you could pop into your basket that have been very busy. Now, I did see these on the show last night, so I know the quality of these. I know these are trim. It's, although it does say it on the screen, I did know beforehand, which is a name that's been around for some time, so quality. You're actually getting two pairs of scissors here. Now, I'm showing you this pair first. Uh, I'm just going to show you the blades because you can see these are your dressmaking scissors, so don't use these on your paper craft. Keep them for your dressmaking. Um, now, let me just, I'm going to hold that on. I'm going to bring the other pair in as well because you're also getting these. These are your pinking shears. So you can see they've kind of got the crocodile teeth, so it gives you that, that pink edge, that's what we call it, which is decorative but also stops your fabric frame as well. If you look at the price here, £10 saving. These are just £9.99 for the pair. That means essentially getting a pair free. 722-804 is the item number. Well worth popping into your basket if you want to get those as extras or if you haven't got your scissors, uh, take advantage of the saving. Now, we have got more to remind you about as well, of course, but uh, I think Tina, Tina's ready for another demonstration, actually. <laughs> what are we going to see, Tina? Well, I'm going to be talking about the banner, 
Fabulous. And in the instructions in the banner. The banner's also in the book, but it, with each of the kits that are, are part of the book, you still get the full instructions as Lovely. well. And okay. so with the banner, um, I'm going to be looking at the um, traditional ground colours. You'll see that this is like a little persimmon shape. It's quite a traditional shape yep. in, uh, in Bargello. And so I'm just going to show you how we're going to start filling in because okay. with the banner, I've, stood done, I've done a bit of cutting off here as well just to show you. Be brave. Cut it off. So I'm going to be carrying on and I'm going to be <laughs> filling in the middle. <laughs> now you get a really generous amount of the canvas there because it is a good sized project this one. Yes it is. Um, that is included of course in the kit. So we can see we've got the details on the screen for the pennant. You have got those couple of choices in there. Uh, lovely to see Tina working on this as well. So some of the work being done of course and as she just said there she's just filling in and showing you how to do that. So I'm going to let Tina continue to explain what she's doing there but we will leave the details on the screen for the two different options there. So I'm filling in so on the banner itself the best way to approach it is to do the edging first so it, you'll either be doing black edging or you'll be doing turquoise edging okay. um, on, on the different colorways and what I'm doing here is I'm filling in and because it's on the plastic canvas I'm just able to hold it it's quite a nice one you know if you're traveling yeah. around you can um, carry on through and if you have a look the length of the stitch on here is four threads so I'm going to go into the bottom and I'm going to count up one two three four and you can see there there are three squares in between okay so if it's your fourth thread you've got three squares in between six threads you've got five thread five squares in between and it doesn't really matter which way you go up count up again and if you see you already know how high you've got to go because the the piece that you've already stitched is telling you where to where you need to put your needle. Oh, I see. Because it's all quite symmetrical and yeah. you know there's order. I like a bit of order okay. when I'm stitching really. Up to the top there and carry on through. The interesting thing about the um, banner is that it's the same colours, um, you know, green, green sort of pink gold and blue but they're in really different color they look completely different don't they when you've got the turquoise and when you've got the black as the edging into that and already you can see that once you've got your outside done like your sort of like edging you can see that it's quite quick it fills in quite quickly then once you've um, done stitched all around the edge stitching through there and what I really like about the plastic canvas is it almost make, gives a sort of a, like a lumosity to all of your work so that when you hang it up, you can't really see the plastic canvas, can you, when, when you hang it up? That's it. Is your home, I've got to ask Tina, is your home full of beautiful items that you've created? <laughs> are, they, uh, are they everywhere? Yeah, I mean, sometimes they are, but mainly they're in my workshop because I've got a workshop oh. in the Jewelry Quarter in Birmingham. So mainly most of the work that I do is um, over in my workshop. But yeah, my house is full of lots and lots of colour. Uh, do you know, I would love to see it. You're going to have to send us some images at some time. Yeah. Now, I am stood here holding this wall up again. Do you know, I'm so much stronger than I look. I know you are. I mean, oh, and it is, it is just absolutely brick now. on brick as well, I isn't know, it? You know? I know, all that cement and the bricks. Oh, where's it on? I know, I know. That's, that's <laughs> the thing. We've just got to, you know, get our exercise while we can, haven't we, in lockdown? We have. That is so true. But, do you know, while I'm holding this up, as much as I'm straining, I do want to sort of point out, again, I love the edge. I've got to say it again. Yeah. I absolutely absolutely love the edge. I can see the benefit of having that lovely plastic canvas, Tina, yeah. because it does mean that everybody can create this wonderful project without having to use a frame of any sort. As you said, it's very yeah. uh, very mobile as well. You can take it with yeah. you, you can sit on Roll it up. in the car, you can take it to yeah. work and do it in your lunch break, you can pick it up and put it down without getting lost, yeah. which is another good plus point for it as well. And, and uh, also easy, if you make a mistake, you can just cut it out quite easily. Yes, and like the course. little edge that you're talking about you can sort of see it here like the little yeah. pico it is so effective because you've got those squares to work to mm. I love the colours. I absolutely adore I the colours. I don't mind which choice you're going for here yeah. whether it's the ground or the turquoise treat they are stunning they really really are 
Yeah. Beautiful work there. 209834 is the item number. Just 24.99 for this kit as well. You have got the choice. 20% uh, of the stock has gone on both options. They're neck and neck. I wonder if people are buying one of each. Um, yep. Now you do get, I'm, I'm just going to point this out as well because of course you've got your 100% wool in there. You have got your full instructions. You've got your canvas. Remember the brand name on the wool is Anchor which is a very, very well known brand. They've been around for many, many years. Uh, you do get your split rings as well which I didn't point out so you've got those for hanging you do get a needle in here as well so you know even if you are changing your threads you are you are getting everything that you can just get cracking with straight away now we're going to let Tina carry on with the demonstration there okay so I'm carrying on round with the red and my yarn I've got to the end of my yarn okay. so what you do is you turn it over and you just weave it underneath so it's just holding it in place. Yeah, just holding yeah. it in place. And then you can snip it off if you want to. Okay. Sometimes it's great to snip off as, as you're going along because if not, the wool might come, come back through again as you're stitching around. Okay, I see. It's going to get some more of the burgundy, sort of burgundy red colour. And it's called traditional ground because these are quite traditional colours, aren't they? Sort of like yeah. in a lot of tapestries, you might have a ground colour, which is like sort of beiges and things. And they're, they're quite old and quite regal colours, really. Yes, very stately home. That's the word I'm hearing yeah. in my ear, and I agree with that. Yeah, actually. that's it. And also, if you look at the shape of it, you know, I think I've written it, this in the pattern as well, and I know it's in the book. It almost, you know, like have like four poster bed, and you have like sort of like, oh, yes. you have almost the, like some yeah. sort of, I don't know. Sort of edging all around yes. it. it they do kind like of. A lot of them do have pennants, don't yeah, they? Around yeah, the edge all the way the around, all the way around. You could almost say this is like your family pennant. Or yeah. Something. <laughs> and going in there. Catching the thread as I go when I first start off. I can see how this is going to become very addictive, Tina. It is. And also, you said, oh, I'll just do another row, or I'll just do another person and shape, or I'll just do one more thing, one more colour, and then it's sort of three in the morning. <laughs> do you know what I like? <laughs> I, no, I've been there. I've done that with yeah. so many different crafts, I can tell you. I have done a little bit of tapestry at my mm. time. Not this style, actually. I've had little kits uh, when I was younger, because my mum did tapestry as well. And... Um, with, with what you're achieving here, Tina, what I'm going to say is, because I love cross-stitch as well, but you have a chart and it's very precise, you've got to follow the colours very closely. With this, although you are building up that design, you're working those stitches and it's very symmetrical, it is something you can put down and pick up and you can yeah. see instantly where you're going with it. You haven't got to start looking yeah. at charts and thinking, oh no, I'm not sure, is, am I really on that stitch? Have yeah. I counted enough? Have I put enough crosses in? It is easy to see that. Yeah. And if there is an error, as we've said, it's very easy to just to take that stitch out and you can see where you've gone wrong. Yeah. And also, um, with sort of like canvas work, we're creating a whole piece of fabric, yeah. aren't we? Whereas with cross stitch, sometimes it's a design in the middle and the fabric is as important as as the cross stitch itself whereas with tapestry needle point and canvas work you're covering the canvas yes. really aren't you yeah. to make something you know so your own personal piece of fabric Oh. Turning it over and pulling it Do you know, it Tina, this is your first time in the studio, and I've got to say, <laughs> you are doing such an amazing job. Oh, you thank really, you. really, honestly, T Tina's first time in the studio live, and because of the setup with coronavirus, of course, we've got to keep our distance, so we've got different sets for the guests, so it's very difficult you know, especially if you've not done this before, to come in and just get on with the job. And Tina's doing absolutely mm. amazingly well. Very clear, precise demonstrations here. You can see the stitching, you can see the beauty and the quality of the products as well. It is absolutely mesmerizing. Now, don't forget these are 100% wool. This isn't uh, a mix of different yarns. There's yeah. only the one kit that we've got, the Pearl A kit, which is beautiful as well. But the kits that we're showing you at the moment, all 100% wool. The colours have been chosen so, so particularly by uh, Tina as well. They, they just work so well together. You're getting a generous amount of the wool as well. You're getting more than you need in some kits. In some kits, you've even got options of colours. The one with the flashing, we'll come back to that in a little bit, uh, a little bit of time. But everything's been thought about the canvas included the rings in there as well if you're going for the pennant of course you've got the needle there those wonderful instructions which are very very clear I'm just going to spin one of them round actually so we can see the back of that as well because there are your different designs on the back a B C and D there 
So you can see there. So Tina, the one that you're working on is, yep. is it A we're working yeah, on? Yeah, it's A. So, yeah. so A and B are the same shape, okay. but they've got a different colour order. And also um, C and D are the same shape, but they've got a different colour order. See. And that's what adds to it. And it shows you um, where you've got to place them on the inside of the Perfect. Um, kit. You couldn't have made that any easier and clearer, honestly. Thank you. Oh, Eva, I'm, do you know, I'm going to vote. I don't believe this for a minute, but Kim's just said, even I could follow that. Kim, oh. don't put yourself down. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> do you know, I can imagine as well, what about a little footstool or something? You could do this stitch and then cover the top yep. of a little footstool. That yep. Or even um, inside chairs. You know, some of the chairs where you get like the piece that you drop in. Yes. You, could, easy, you yep. could easily do that and it could be the colours that are all around your home or you oh. could have something even more dynamic, colours that aren't around so that then you've got a real statement piece. Definitely. Do you know what I'm thinking as well? Little gift boxes, perhaps yeah. you've got a gift box with an aperture cut out, you could sort of insert a stitching yeah. in there as well. Yeah, you could even make your own box. This of is course. in the book as well, so this is, you can make your own personal box and oh. put little bits and pieces in. Oh, what a lovely gift that you've yeah. created for someone as well if you yeah. want to gift it. And that's the good thing about the ones in the frame as well, because instead of, you know, a lot of the time as we, when we're doing craft, we, um, we create something and then it's just put in a drawer because we think, oh yeah, I'll get round to framing that or I'll get round to making that into a cushion. But with the framed kits, it's straight on your wall or Definitely. straight in the box to be given as a gift. Definitely. I love the idea of it. I really do. And you're loving the book and many of the kits we've got on the show as well. I'm going to give you a reminder of the book, of course, because this is Tina's own book. She's so proud of this and I'm not surprised. I would be just as equally proud of this. Let's just have a quick flip through again. 688380 is the item number. Four 40% of the stock has gone. There are full projects in here for you. There's so much information, such clear, clear photography, which you would expect from Search Press as well. A lovely little um, little bit to read on the back there as well. I only read a snippet, but that's so interesting to read as well. Do adore the projects in there. There's something for everyone and all sorts of different sizes as well. 9.99. That's all it is for the book. 688380. Let's have a reminder of our next item though. The lumbar cushion beautiful designs now I'm going to pick up the samples again because you've got a couple of different choices of the color here so this one if I remember rightly is the gothic in the reds isn't that stunning it really really is uh, I'm gonna ask to see if if we've got uh, if gothic's in the lead or if this one's in the lead it was this was the most popular earlier the lilting that's the name of this one you can spin it the other way if you want the design going the other way up. It's entirely up to you. It's personal choice. So the gothic or the lilting, nothing to stop you going for both if you want to do that. Of course, you're getting your wool in there and you're getting a very generous amount of wool. You're getting your instructions in there as well. Um, now you're getting your needles in there as well. Uh, now, if you wanted to create a cushion, you could do. You could also create something completely different if you wanted to. It's all about the stitching and the design, of course. Now, we can split this down into two flexi-buy payments, two payments of £27.50, 070684. Beautiful. Now the wall hanging that we've just seen uh, Tina creating there, really lovely. We'll just give you a quick reminder of the details for this one. Don't forget you are getting the canvas included as well. That really, I'm not going to say rigid because it's not rigid, but it's, it's a nice firm. So it's not going to go all floppy. It means that you're going to be able to hold that and not have trouble with a flimsy fab fabric or something like that. And of course, you're going to be able to cut that and give that beautiful edging as well. $24.99 and you've got two choices here. You have got ground or turquoise treat item number 209834 gorgeous colors then if we move on to the next item this is the kit that has got the perlay in the perlay thread which I've got to say the colors are just beautiful look at that isn't it gorgeous you've got the turquoise and the kind of peachy colors in there as well but of course with this kit you're also getting a frame and you are getting the canvas and of course the needles and the instructions so there we are Tina Tina's own design again here. Doesn't that look stunning? Again, if you want to sort of rotate this around, it's up to you how you hang this on your wall. You can decide, you can change it around. 
What a lovely piece of artwork. $34.99 for this one. 684471 is the item number. And then a similar kit, but we're back to the wool on this one, and it's a very popular option as well. I think I know why with this one. It's not just that it's a beautiful, beautiful design, and those colours are gorgeous. I do think... The effect that you get when you turn this frame, when you frame your artwork, just we'll do this again because it is, it's just mind-boggling really. So as I just turn that around, it really does look as though it changes, doesn't it? It's so dimensional, so steps going up, steps going down. And those colours just work so well. Very, very clever how these have been put together. £34.99 again. Item number 508434. And of course, another new today. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Right, now then. Let's have a look at stepping out because let's move down again. Stepping out. Oh, the colours. I used to be frightened of colour and now I love it. Um, I, I was one of those people that would go for the beiges and the sort of the toned down colours, but I, I'm absolutely loving all of this. Now, we're stepping out your cushion kit. You've got the instructions, you've got the canvas, you've got the tapestry wools and the needles in this one as well. You're getting a huge amount of the wool there. Look at the wool that you're getting, but when you put that together, look what you can achieve. Isn't that glorious? It really is. 100% wool, remember. It feels absolutely beautiful. Now, if you are making the cushion, then you need your own inner cushion and you can apply the backing of your choice. It's all about that stitching. It is absolutely gorgeous. I'm just going to spin that the other way as well so you can see it the other way up. I just, I don't know which way I'd have it. I'd just change it around. I'd have a different look every day. Right, there you go. 019106 is the price for that one. 64.99, and you can split the payment down on that one as well. Florentine Flash. I think if I really, really, really had to pick a favourite, I think this is it. And I just adore the colours in this one. I'm going to pick up the frame again. Now, just a reminder, if you didn't catch earlier on in the show, it's called Florentine Flash for a reason. You've got that flash of colour that is worked through the design. But you've got a choice of that colour. What Tina's done, she's provided different colours in the kit. So if you want the turquoise, you can go with the turquoise. If you want an orange, you can go with an orange. There's a couple of different choices of the, the brighter colours in there as well. I just love that design. I think it looks absolutely amazing. I really, really do. And the same pattern, but in different colours. I've just noticed Tina's got a sample, one of those fabulous boxes. So we'll see that in a little while as well. Now, flexi buy option on this one as well. Two payments of £30. Item number 106197. That's the item number that you need for that one um, absolutely gorgeous if you've got any questions as well and you want to email into the studio studio at achanda.com we've still got well probably just less than 20 minutes left but if you've got any particular questions do let us know um, I think Tina's ready for another demonstration though we're going to try and get in as much as we can so we'll pass right back over to Tina once again Hi, yeah. Just wanted to show you what each row looks like on the different kits so this is stepping out and it almost feels like you are marching along, doesn't it? Like you said, about the diff all the different colours together. Yeah. It's sort of giving it almost like a little bit of movement. And this one is um, Gothic, which is the um, pink and red one. You can see I've called it Gothic because the um, peaks look quite arch-like, don't they? Oh, yes, they do, don't they? Yeah. And right. Then... Could you just hold that up again yeah. to the camera? Tina so we can see that there you go I see exactly what you mean with the the arches yeah Everybody with the arches up. It and it's quite nice to see one row in isolation because yes. this will be you if you get the kit and you um, create your first row feels great you know yes. when you do your first row and then this is Love the um, lilting lumber and it's almost like almost like a little lullaby as you're going you along know, with the longer I can then... totally see that yeah so that that's the reason why I've called them those sort of different different types of names. I'm going to have a little look at the um, perle that we're using on the oh, Inca wonderful. pattern. Yeah. Having a look at that having a look at the perle. This is DMC perle and it's a really um, beautiful thread and along with the plastic canvas um, it almost gives a, a really beautiful sheen. Yes, it has got that sheen, hasn't yeah. it? And so this is what the um, the patterns look like when you get them. And it shows you the exact size of how, what the stitches are. And these stitches are four threads long. So we count up one, two, three, four. And in the instructions as well, it tells you where to start and where to finish. Okay. Going through. 
and I'm doing this row here. These are such pretty colours, too. They are. They are really beautiful colours. They're almost like you know those sort of satin, satin cushion sweets. Yes. They're like that, aren't they? In a I way. I was trying to think. They are. The colours are reminding me, and I just couldn't put my finger on what it was. And now you said that. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's what it is. And also the sheen on it is just really beautiful because it's quite a thick, so it's sort of like a thicker pearl than we're used to. My mum used to have a box of pearlay threads. Did she? In her sewing book. I'll, I'll never forget it. And they were all sort of wound up beautifully. And yeah. I used to just like taking the lid off and looking at the threads. I just yeah. thought they were so beautiful. They were a much finer thread. Yeah. I wonder well, if she still got them. Yeah, she well, used part it. of the box, but they were just there. And I just loved to, to look at the colours. Yeah, and I think it's really nice, isn't it? Like you were saying earlier, that you don't, you do, don't really like colour. But you do because you've, you, you sort of saw all of that colour earlier on when you saw yeah. that beautiful box. It's like people having their own button boxes and things like that, isn't it? It's just delightful, oh, isn't it? Oh, don't when get me looking. going on buttons, Tina. That's <laughs> another favourite of mine. <laughs> so I'm just following the pattern across. So I'm here now. And the colours on the, on the um, patterns themselves, they might not exactly match what you've got, um, the, the colours themselves. That's so that you can see the difference in the sizes. Going through. And I think there's five, maybe there's five or six. One, two, three, four, five going across there. One question I've not asked uh, Tina is um, the length of the thread that you work with. Is there a recommended length that you'd say start with? You don't want the length thread too long or too yeah. short? Yeah, I mean definitely always fingertip to elbow. Okay. Because if not, because we're pulling through quite a lot, that sometimes, especially with walls, they can sort of start yeah. to um, lose their integrity a little bit as you're pulling them through. And also that happens when you're using a frame a lot more as well. Because when you're using a frame, you sort of tend to sort of... Ooh, I'm going, I'm going for it sort of thing. Yeah. And it sort of can destroy the thread a little bit. Okay. So, yes, yeah, so I always do fingertip to elbow, even though my fingertip to elbow isn't that big. But, you know, sometimes you can cheat <laughs> and pretend you're using <laughs> no, somebody it, else's it, it length. It's an important question yeah. because I know from experience with working with different threads that they, they can kind of loop round themselves or yeah. twist or, or, as you say, they can wear a little bit depending on what you're stitching. Yeah. It, they can and also you know sometimes with walls as well they're, if they're twisted round sometimes if you um, you know start using a longer length then the wall starts to untwist as well so you don't get the really fantastic look of the stitches yeah I'm just coming down so if you can see I've gone up and I've gone down lovely so once again a great starter kit as well yeah really um, is and again if somebody wanted to gift whether you make it in its entirety and then gift it or gift it as a kit it's a great idea I mean we do need to be thinking ahead as well I mean we've got birthdays we've got the dreaded C word coming up in six <laughs> months time but we're all going to be shopping very very soon in fact at this time of year it's not long before we start showing you all those goodies is it so do think ahead as well yeah, so this, you can see this blue, it's almost, see how it's really shimmery, isn't it, as well, Beautiful. with the pearl, eh? Going on, carrying on through. And it's really quite quick as you stitch all the way across. You're reminding me of something about when I was at school, Tina, now. No, not detention. Uh, <laughs> I didn't have detention, not very often, anyway. No, Are I you sure? <laughs> <laughs> mm, uh, maybe just once or twice. Uh, <laughs> now, I w when I did, I chose art rather than textiles. But there was there was a, a project that I was given for. In those days, it was O levels. I'm just showing my age here now. Um, and I was given a brand of thread that was a, a very shiny thread. I'm allowed to say it. I don't know if this. Do we still have the one that's like silk, but there's no on the end? Yeah. Thread. Yeah. And I was, so it's like a, a lovely sort of shiny thread. <laughs> Just, if you imagine a regular sewing thread, and I had to stitch an iris in thread. Oof. So the stitches that I used, there was no print, there was no drawing. I just had to kind of do it freehand following a photograph. Yeah. And there's a, there's a lot, a lot of detail in an iris. And you're reminding me of that because the stitches that I chose to do, I did kind of kind of do skip areas of the and build mm. in that sort of pattern and then kind of fill in underneath almost like um, shading 
Yes, light shading, and it took me, I can't try to think now, I can't remember, but it took me so long to do it. Mm. And I hated every minute to start with, but then, <laughs> but then I really got into the swing of it, and I actually, and it says it on the back of your book, Tina, as well, that you do get into that process, you do get into the swing of it, and you, you, it is addictive. And that's what I found, and I was so proud of that when I finished, and I did actually get an A. <laughs> Well Yay. done, well I, done. I have no idea what happened to it. I think oh, it got no. left at, I think it got kept at school. I didn't get to take it home. <sighs> they should Something be paying you royalties, aren't royalties? I know. But it, it's just watching you there has brought back those memories of stitching that. And gen genuinely, I did enjoy doing it in the end. It yep. was just the, the thought of all these little stitches. I'm never going to finish it, yep. but I did. And it was worth every single second. That's, uh, it's really great, isn't it? doing different ways and also shading in and it almost for what at the beginning it st starts to look like loads and loads of different stitch stitched it and then it becomes your flower doesn't it yes it's amazing yeah. how just the different shades can make something really quite 3d on on the canvas yeah. see the more i'm looking at these tina the more i'm looking at the designs i'm imagining um as you say, you love the 70s. I mean, that retro style, yeah. the colours, the mustards, the browns. But then you've got the bright colours in there as well. Yeah. And I am imagining all, all pieces of clothing. That's why I asked if you could actually yeah. do the stitches onto your clothing. Let's have another look at the book, actually, because, you see, just looking at that image there, I can imagine that as a jacket. Yeah. On the back of your denim. On the back of your denim, yes, exactly. Exactly, but of course you've got 15 projects in this book, so it can be whatever you want it to be out of this book or more, of course. So small projects, larger projects. There are projects, of course, uh, from some of the kits that we've got here as well. Oh, there's a colour wheel included as well, which is very, very useful indeed. Love the fact that that's in there as well. Half the stock of the book has gone. There is another hour with Tina, actually, at 9 o'clock tonight. I must remind you of that as well. So if you can, do join us again then. Very busy on the book. Actually, it's me again for that hour, so I'm really pleased about that because I'm enjoying this very, very much. 688-380 is the item number. If you want to go for the book, just £9.99. and pence. I would just say, if you can, get the book. If you can go for one of the kits as well, that's great. But if you're just going for the book, you are going to be hooked, I'm sure. And uh, you're going to be learning, if you've not ever done tapestry before, a very, very lovely technique with a barge yellow stitching there. Right, Tina. Do you know, would you believe it? We're almost at the end of an hour. No. We are. We've got oh, well. four minutes left. We've enjoyed ourselves, haven't we? We've talked about sweets, <laughs> <laughs> wooden boxes and barge yellow. We have. Yeah. So I'm nearly at the end now. You can have a look. I've stitched away and I'm nearly at the very end of the turquoisey sort of stitch. And I'm already feeling quite good because... Yeah, I'm really there. That, is co that has come together very quickly, really, hasn't it? Yeah. And I know you. this is what you do, Tina, but yeah. you can see with the stitch there and, you know, the simple counting and the full instructions with such clear details, everybody's going to be able to achieve this quite easily. And I've got to say, I'm going to mention, because John, our lovely John Lockwood's in the studio as well, and he was saying before that, wow, have you seen those samples? They're absolutely incredible. I can imagine John in a lovely uh, yellow <laughs> tank top. <laughs> That's what I think. John, you've, that's a challenge. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't sew. I don't have this. You could, though, because you could do I this. Can't. John is genuinely in the, in the building. <laughs> we're, shout, we're shouting across the studio at each other, but he is in the building. Right, details on the screen there if you want to go for the lovely Inca kit. That's the one that Tina's been using with the pearlé yarn in there, the thread in there that's pearlé. You can see that beautiful sheen on there. Thirty-four ninety-nine. Don't forget, you are getting not just the canvas and the threads and the needle, you're getting full instructions and a frame as well, so you can just hang this straight onto your wall when you've completed it. 684471 is the item number. We'll show you a picture of everything that you get in there. There you go. That lovely, that lovely canvas as well that you don't need a frame with. You just hold the canvas. You can work with it. You can see how Tina's done that in demonstration. So you really can just get going as soon as this kit arrives with you. Right. Well, just to go back to... Oh, look, we'll go back to Tina because we're just showing, showing the front of the instructions there. So clear and precise. Yeah. Tina, we've just got a few minutes left. Is there anything else you'd like to add in or... Um, could you 
Can you give us a hint as to what's coming up at nine o'clock, perhaps? Well, I'll be stitching some of the different designs at, at nine, but we'll also be talking about the book as well. And um, I'll, I'll be really interested to see what colour flash you want on your um, Florentine flash design. Oh, wonderful. Yes, do join us at nine o'clock if you can. I'm just going to um, give details of the book one more time. And I've got one more question I want to ask Tina, if we can, before the end, before I forget it. In fact, can I do it now, go Tina? Go on, go on. Simply because I'm looking at those beautiful boxes there. And whether yeah. they are usable boxes or they're just a statement piece, I presume you need the canvas and it's always the canvas that you cut. You'll never cut through the stitch, you'll never cut through the wall. It's simply the edge of the canvas that you're cutting so you're going to get that beautiful all over finish. Yeah. Uh, because obviously if you're cutting through the wool itself you're going to lose the stitches. Yeah. So in the instructions it shows you where to cut, where to actually cut and it gives okay. you lots of confidence as you're going along to cut a little bit and then cut a little bit more. Lovely. And if we are creating something like a box and you've already got a box to apply to, what is the best way of attaching the tapestry itself to the box? Um, I've only really done the boxes made out, this is made out of the plastic canvas as well. Right, okay. And it's perfectly rigid enough yeah it's to rigid be able to enough but that. you know if you've got a box that you want to put you know put it around then you'd measure the canvas and then you would cut it to the size and then you use a whip stitch to go all the way ah, around the edge yes oh perfect oh wonderful oh, I'm glad I asked that question then nine o'clock of course Tina will be back with us don't forget to grab your book uh, we've been very busy on this and the kits as well 9.99 is the price for this 688380 60% of the stock of the book has gone Tina has spent a long time almost a year on this book it's absolutely beautiful I'm, I'm certainly not going to give too much away because it will spoil it but it is such good quality so much information in there please do do stay with us. Of course, the wonderful John is coming up. We've got a one-day special to launch, but don't miss out at 9 o'clock. Please come back and see myself and Tina then. But we've got a full menu coming up any second now. Oh, of course, we have got the wonderful Janice as well. Cross two, one day special. Yes, it is Janice and John together. Then Viva Decor. I wonder who that is. Cross two, one day special coming up again at 8 o'clock. Hi, my name is Catherine Sturrock and I work in collaboration with FMM. FMM creates some wonderful cake decorating cutters. We brought them to a chander and used them with air dry clay to create some beautiful flowers, leaves and other florals. We use them then to decorate various products such as laser cut designs, mixed media, card making and many other items. So join me on a chanda and let me guide you through the process of putting together various flowers such as roses, peonies and lots more besides. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue and we've been established for seven years and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We also have our own range of paints, lushes and stencils. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. What I really love about Hachanda is I get to demonstrate lots of different techniques for you to understand how to use our products and hopefully inspire you. I've got loads of fantastic ideas buzzing around my head so I can't wait to get those filtered into our products and out to you at home. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Anna and I'm a founder of Craftbox UK. Craftbox is a box full of craft supplies that we send to our customers monthly. All products are placed in a beautiful, sturdy box, which is ribbon tied, and we hope that by receiving this box, you will feel like it's Christmas every month. 
make sure you don't miss the craft box shows on Hochanda. Hi, I'm Katrina from Rowing Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people would be too. Our kits are really easy and I hope they inspire you to have a go at stitching. Since we've been on Hachanda, we've had a great time. Everybody's been really friendly and really good. We've met loads of people all around the country who watch Hachanda and find it really inspiring. Don't forget to join me on my own Dean shows on Hachanda. Hello, I'm Barbara. And I'm Julie. And together we're Scarlet Rose Crafts. We're a family-run business, been in business for two years, and our aim is to bring new and innovative new products to the crafting industry. We've both been involved in crafting industry for many years, and we're continuing to move forward with our new company now. The Easy Mat Plate is our flagship product, uh, followed by our innovative Easy Shim product. Our range includes diamond trail plates, ultra-sized dies, cards, and sticky sheets. We're constantly developing new and unusual products, so watch this space. On our shows, we hope to inspire you with our products so that you can carry on crafting, because our motto is, because we can. So don't miss the Scarlet Rose Craft Shows on a channel. He's the boy next door. He actually is. He's here. It's John. <laughs> yes. Oh. oh, no. We said don't dare Janice anything. <laughs> you will pay for it. Good <laughs> evening. You, you certainly will. How are you, John? It's uh, great. Do you know what? It's lovely to see you. We've seen you on videos. We've seen you on Skype. But seeing you here in the studio, safely, of course, from yes. a distance. It's lovely to see you, but it does mean, of course, we've got a great one-day special lined we, up. We have, yeah. I'm really excited about this one. I absolutely love this set of dies. I've been really itching. I know we released the sort of multi-layers a couple of weeks ago, but I, I kind of kept my... Uh, to Nicola Leone, I kept my favourite favourite for tonight. Oh, is that with me as well? Because, of course, because I knew I was getting you, so I thought, right, I've got to have... My favourite favourite with my favourite favourite. <laughs> oh, I love that. I love that. Uh, well, we're busy already. So you've got your favourite and your favourite and, you know, yeah. and, of course, the favourite crew as well. Right, should we have a look? I think it's about time. <laughs> yes, let's do it. This is your one-day special. Uh, these are your Harlequin, Harley Quinn, not Harlequin, Harlequin, what's that? Harlequin dies. Um, they're absolutely stunning. They really are. And these are going to give you that extra dimension to your card making. You could make box tops out of these. You could make lanterns out of these as well, the sides of the lanterns. You could also make some home decor, if you wish, as well. And there's so much that you can do with these. And our John is going to tell us now how these actually work. They're quite unique, aren't they? They, they are unique because... It Normally, it's very difficult with dies or stamps and things to multi-layer things. So, if I'm going to put this flat down, because it's a lot easier to show. But what you get in the set is you get three dies. So, you get what we call the Harlequin A. And I've called it Harlequin because when I was drawing this, it made me think of those old-fashioned court jesters and Harlequin costumes. If I bring in one here, a sample, you can see... That, to me, really screams that sort of harlequin pattern. Oh, that's lovely. I just Love think the it's colours. beautiful. So mm. we have the first layer, but then you have layer B. Ooh. So what layer B does is that gives you the same pattern, but it's reduced. So you've got a smaller diamond and you've got a smaller circle. So you fit A over B and you see through. Ah. So you can get it layered like that. You then get layer C. Ooh. And layer C has been designed so you've got a smaller um, sort of diamond again, a smaller circle in the middle. Yes. But also I've added all of this stitch detail so you can use this on its own. 
and you can ink over that stitch detail and get really beautiful patterns. I'll be showing you that tomorrow. The idea is you've got that layer. We've then got that layer. If I get it the right way around, it helps. And then we get that layer over the top. So you've got four layers showing from your three dies. And I think you've probably got the best example of yes. that with you. Yeah, just here. So you can here. actually see at the top. It looks amazing, doesn't it? And lots of depth to it as well. Um, do you know what's lovely about this? Depending on the different layers and different colours that you use when you're cutting out these dies, you'll get a different effect each and every time. And then the possibilities beyond that with decorating around and maybe using some of the circles to fill those in as well. But you've also got the chance to use the three dies on their own separately. I'm thinking stencils already with these. Now that's your one day special, £34.97, saving £7 on that deal. That's what a one day special is all about, a saving for 24 hours or, of course, whilst the stock, stocks last. I had difficulty saying that, didn't I? Um, but what we do have is another item for you. Oh, I, I was the right side, yes. Uh, no, there. I, see, I was over, over here. <sighs> it's late in the day, but it's only for you guys. This is your Calypso flower. Now, what you've got here is the die and the stamps as well. Now, this is really clever. Let me show you the die first of all. Now, you'll notice with the die, first of all, all the flowers together, so you can take that through your die cutting machine in one cut. But we've got the corners, haven't we, John? We have. Now, yes. why are the corners so well, important? The corners are important because, as people have known my stamp and die in the past, when you've got the die, I'm just going to peel the stamps off. When you've got the die, you've got these corners, which means you can lay them out, you can line it up against the stamp. But this is the first time I've done this. This is what we call a multi-layer stamp and die. So we've got the stamp here. So I'll show you the stamp. There we go. And of course the die fits to the corners and goes over the top. But when you open the packet, you'll see you've got a second stamp as well. Right. And this is a multi-layer stamp and die. This is the first time I've ever done this. So what you're able to do is you're able to use your base card as one colour you then stamp out with one stamp. You then lay the next stamp over, matching the corners, to stamp another colour on top. So you've now got three colours showing on your flower. Put your die on, cut it out, and you will get a flower like this, where you can see it goes from a light yellow to a bright yellow to an orange colour, all cut out in one pass and oh. one stamp. So you wow. can see there... That takes no time at all. Oh, my word. You know, John, I have been practicing and trying and trying and practicing and trying and practicing and trying to get that particular yep. effect on flowers, and it's different each and every time. This means that you will get that perfect, beautiful flower with the two-tone each and every time using that system, and you get four different sized flowers, as you can see there with the dies next to it, and then the sorry the stamps and the die underneath. That's only fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence. That's amazing for two stamps and one die. Now, hang on. How about getting all of it? Let me put the stamps back. There you go. Now let's put all of this together. So you've got the Harley Quinn dies and you've got the flower die and you've got the stamps. All together, saving an extra £5 on top of that £7 saving, forty-four ninety-six. Hang on, I didn't even know there was a Freedom membership price on there. Hold your horses. If you don't have horses, just, I don't know, hold... You're old man, it doesn't matter. 40 pounds and 40, but be careful where you hold him. 40 pounds and 46 pence, saving nine pounds 50 as a freedom member. My goodness, it doesn't surprise me now to tell you that 20% of the stock of the complete collection has gone. And we're only seven minutes into the first live hour. Oh my goodness, John, we're going to have a busy one. Shall I show some samples? Um, and then, of course, we are going to go over to John and have some demonstrations. I picked this one out first. This is my favourite. I love this. So you've got the trellis in the background, or the Harley Quinn design in the background, but what you've also got here are the flowers. So it looks very modern tradition, but modern on there. That and one's that's... actually an Emma Blake sample. Yes, yeah. So I... Emma Blake made that one for me using her stamps because I love Emma's work, but I wanted to show, and she did, that because I have what people think of a, cl a classic and pretty style, yes. doesn't mean the products I work with only do that. 
Yes. It really works. These work so well with your mixed media. They're just beautiful with it. Yeah. So thank you, Emma, for that. It is, it is Sorry absolutely beautiful. In. That was my go-to card, Emma. I instantly noticed that one. Um, but also then, we've got this one, which is really nice in the black and the white, John. It's really effective, isn't it? It is. It, for a monochrome card, that's really strong. And if you think, there's very little time taken to make that card, but it looks like you spent hours at it. Yes. Because the preci precision is in the products. And I always think that that's important, and that's what we always try and design with Crafts 2 and with John Next Door, is to design ease and precision into it. So I know that that card looks as if you spent two hours at it. I know that. <laughs> I think that's a maxing card. I think she probably spent about 20 minutes on it. Wow, that's incredible, isn't it? Um, and then this sample as well. This is lovely because you can put those designs inside a frame or even inside it like a box frame card, which would look pretty. Yeah, you can. And again, these were sized so they matched. Do you remember the press cut nesting dies? Yes. Um, these were designed so they fit exactly with all of the press cut nesting dies. Perfect. So they fit with, if you've got those, these will fit in there perfectly. All the mats and layers you need in there. That's why we've not put an outside square on them. Yeah. Because we thought you don't need one because you're going to want to frame them or leave them loose and everything else. But they match with what we've already got. And that's what we always try and do with press cut. Yeah. And John next is make sure everything works forwards and backwards. Love that. Here's another example. Now, we're not layering them up on this one, John. We're using just one of the dies, but still very, very effective, and then cut out in the middle. Yeah, again, you don't have to use them as they stand. You don't have to use them just as, oh, let's make a square background. It's about how you frame it, how you cut it, what panels you add on. But this, to me, is something that will sit out on my desk all the time, because it will work for every occasion, and there's so many different things you can do with it. Yeah, there certainly is. And if it's not the main focus of your card, it can be the background, which, again, is going to really make those sentiments stand out and make a difference. That's what it's all about, isn't it, John? It is, yeah. I think it's got to a point where I'm getting bored with just having a plain piece of card, an embossed piece of card, or a piece of patterned paper. I want a little bit more work and depth in there. And the clever thing is, is on the sample that you've got there, Janice, it looks as if it's so, so deep, and yeah. it looks as if it's really, you know, got a lot of depth in it. It's actually flat. It's that, just one layer. It's layer B cut into a card blank. That That's is, it. That is so pretty. Do you know what? I love that. Uh, would you call that a, like a stitchy detail around there, John? It's absolutely beautiful. And that's just using... Uh, that's number B. Number B. <laughs> number B. Can you see? Can you see? Oh, I'm sorry, everyone. I don't, uh, you know what? I should just not apologise anymore. It's only my second show, is it? I think it... No, it's my third. It's my third. <laughs> Just got one more to go with Catherine. That's why I'm a little nervous. <laughs> uh, right, <laughs> right uh, we do have some, we're, we're so super, super busy. Please do check out your baskets. Make sure you get what you want. Put it into your baskets and then chock on out. Uh, chock on out. Do you know what, John? Just demo. <laughs> right, okay, fair enough. Right, so what I've done is I've chosen just four pieces, four, three colours of card and a piece of mirror card. So this is all the Crafts 2 linen card. Um, that I think we've got on the show as a pick and mix if anyone wants those particular colours because everyone keeps asking me whenever I come off air where can I get that colour run from so I always like to try and use them so I've cut these to six inches square and that just makes it really really simple so I'm just going to take die A and tape it down and what I would say with these you don't want them to move so tape them top and bottom I'm going to take the next layer down. So I'm going from a light to a dark. So I always try and work it when I'm doing this so that I'm going either dark to light or light to dark. It seems to work better for me. So then I take layer B and I simply tape that one down and again tape that top and bottom and I'm simply going to run those through and this is the great thing. These, these are good dies. I mean I know everyone comes on and says oh yeah they're, they're, they're good dies. We have these precision made and we have them made, and if you actually, they're so solid because the last thing you want them to do is to start to buckle when they've got a specific pattern that matches in a, in a sort of layered area. Better move my glue gun out of the way, otherwise that's going to get hit. So I run those through. While that's going through, I'm going to put down my next layer, which is the um, C, layer C, um, because you can run two through at the same time. And I know a lot of times people say, oh, you must make sure that each die goes through separately. I'm sorry, I, I find life's too short. If I can get two through, I will. <laughs> so. Oh, um, we've had an email through, Ooh. John. Um, right, I've got to get this right. Am I hearing this correct? Can we say it just one more time in my ear, please? 
Elaine and the Ginger Prince. Oh, good evening, Your have Highness. Email, emailed in. <laughs> um, oh, she's had to buy it. Oh, Elaine, honestly. And I'm, she's also looking forward to Christmas as well. I, oh, very, yes. Yes, I, I'm looking forward to Christmas. I do speak to Elaine between shows. Elaine and Paul, who is the Ginger Prince. Yes. Um, <laughs> they always feature on our Craft Cave Lives, so they become really good friends. I thought, sorry, I thought the Ginger Prince was a cat. No, no, uh, no. The Ginger Prince is Mr Keeler. <laughs> OK. Um, Beg your he pardon. made the mistake of putting a school photo of him on Facebook, so we printed it off. Oh, put I've sent a picture a in Ginger Prince. We want to see. Oh, no, we can't uh, show it. We put it into a frame. I couldn't. I was going to do it for the last show because oh. we uh, made a frame using the nesting dies. Yes. But I forgot to get the release form. Oh. So on Craft Cave Live, we always have the Ginger Prince on the shelves behind us in his picture oh, form. Oh, we'll remember that now. Um, Join in. So, yeah, we've been talking about that. But, yeah, I'm, yeah sorry, Elaine. Paul will shout at me because he says he's running out of John Next Door storage. Um, but I, I love these. But, yeah, we, we like to get opinions of people like that to see what they think. Um, so, yeah, thank you for that, Elaine and Paul. So, as per usual, I'm just flicking these. I have not embossed them, but you see how easily everything falls out? Mm, very now, easy. I would strongly suggest you don't do this, because one of the demos I'm doing later or tomorrow is actually keeping all of the bits and doing some paper piecing. OK. So, but for speed, you know, don't do what I do, do what I say. Uh, John, can we use these dies with some mylar to make some stencils, maybe? You, what you will find is they're not multimedia dies. OK. So, you will struggle cutting mylar with a standard die. I know some people say you can, but these are quite complex and they don't have enough bite. If you want to try it, what you would actually do is to put the die onto the mylar and then put a piece of watercolour card underneath to give something for the die to bite into and it might cut through. But if you saw the last show that I did with the, um, with the multi layers when we did the circles and the squares, then what you can actually do with these, you can use the eye zinc sprays through them as a stencil because they're quick drying so they I won't see. soak your paper. Got you. So you can use your eye zinc through, you can use your eye zinc dye or pigment through them as stencils because again they won't soak it too much. But, um, as for cutting mylar, I think it's a case of try it. A good one you can do, it takes a couple of times though, is to use a piece of acetate and cut it with acetate. Okay. But cut it again into a piece of watercolour card or the acetate won't cut. Got you. It needs that extra bit of pull. So, really I should have had this back layer done because I'm poking these little bits out. That's all right. We're, we're, we're talking, we're educating. We it's all good. But yeah, they, they do, for, for inking, they'll make fine fine stencils and strangely enough if you're making a stencil out of paper or card uh, John I've got to tell you something yeah not only are you fantastic oh thank you and your hair looks lovely so. by the way thank you Sam cut it. it it looks very nice well done Sam well done Sam um, I need to tell you that a third of the Whoa. stock of the complete collection is gone Right. OK, I'd better hurry up, hadn't That's I? That's how excited you are about <laughs> <laughs> No, I never know what to say about that. I know, I, I, I know. I'll put you on the spot there. You know, as, as a designer and someone who does this, it's so reassuring and it's lovely when you hear that people see your vision and like yeah. it, want to share it and buy the Are you the nervous products. then before you come on the show yes. for one day? Are you? Yeah, very. Oh, bless. Very. Because you don't know, you know what I mean? It's a case of it's... I drew these. Yeah. So these aren't, these are not being computer generated or come from a factory. I drew these, so this is sort of my vision. And then when people sort of sit there and go, they like it and they, they, they've bought them, you don't know what to say because it's like humbling, really. I know that um, sounds awful. No, not at all, John. I'm just looking at the lovely mirror card and a lovely image of you in the mirror card. Are you in the mirror card? <laughs> if, you, if you just, if you look down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sorry, that's John. classic. I love that. <laughs> oh, hello. So, I'm only going to put foam tape onto one layer. So, but the, yeah, it, it, so you never know what to say when people say, oh, yeah, when they've bought it. So, yeah, I, I hope know. you like them, those people who've got them. They and do. do as much with them as, as I've done, to be yeah. honest. I've had to actually stop myself making more samples with these. Really? To move on and start doing Christmas things and stuff like that, because, um, you know, otherwise I'd have just spent all my time doing this. Yeah. So. Well, we are extremely busy. Please do... Um, Check out your baskets. The reason why we say that, if you're watching John doing the demonstrations, absolutely mesmerising and listening to John as well, uh, maybe just turning the volume down when I talk, but listening to John, uh, <laughs> sometimes 10 minutes can go by and these items pop out your basket. You don't want that to happen um, because you want to make sure 
don't let it pop out. Make sure that you check out. Check out, don't pop out. Right, so for speed, what I'm going to do... Um, so I've put layer C down first onto the mirror card. And I love using mirror card with these because it just gives that little bit of a pop in between. So then I'm going to go with layer B. Now you'll notice... As I said, because they are machine, they're not machine drawn, they've okay. been drawn individually, really? the design fits in one way. So there it fits, that way it doesn't. So right. just make sure you check through. But it's really easy to line up because all we do is line up the circles, but hopefully then you can see we're going from that light blue to that darker blue to the silver mirror card. If I hold it up, you'll actually get a lot better sign. Oh, look at that. But Can you imagine trying back. to fill those in individually to get that shadow effect? Oh, you, you couldn't. It, it, it would be an absolute killer. So I'm going to do the same with the white layer. So this is layer A, and this is the last one to go on. And again, we do the same. Just check which way round it fits. And then you pop it on. No, nope, got it wrong the wrong way round. Let's get it right, John. Look through over your head. And you'll see then, if you look there now, can you see, you'll see all sorts of different patterns, how you go from white to light, white to light blue, blue to darker blue to silver wow. on, the, on the triangles or the square, the sort of diamonds. Yeah. But you also do it on the circles. So on the circles, you also go from white to light blue to dark blue to oh silver. Oh, my goodness, look at Everything that. Everything is in shape. But I can see so many different patterns in that. Yeah. But because that, of course, looks so deep. And when you it. add, um, I don't know, some glossy accents or some beads or, or some items to that, or some gems, for example, yeah. you can change how that pattern looks. You can. You can change and pick out different sections of it. I like the idea. Of, I mean, glossy accents in the holes would look brilliant because it would actually show the colours through, but you'd have that domed finish on top. Yeah, I've got a beautiful, sample. But the guys have done some amazing samples. Uh, this is lovely, John. This is similar to what we were just talking about there, actually. Uh, so now your focal point is at the middle, and then you're seeing the diamond shapes that are in there. Um, absolutely incredible. Um, and also, I've got this sample here. Which one is this using, John? This... Uh, that's actually just using the flowers. Oh. I see. Now, I'm yes. not sure if she's actually, I don't think she's quilted the die for that background. I think it's just using the uh, flowers. That are in that complete collection that so look impressive, don't they? Uh, which was terrible English, by the way. Sorry about that. <laughs> they so look impressive. What? Oh, I left school when I was I 16. It's, it, they kicked it, it's me out. It's really Sorry. hard to get that multi layered look it is. cut and so simple. Yeah, it really is. And I really think is. that's the complicated thing. But again, until I saw that one, I'd have never thought of doing black and red. Yes. And so she's only used, Leslie's only used one of the stamps on that. She's not used both layers. Oh, really? So you could actually go with the red. You could stamp in grey, then in black, to give yourself three tones coming out. That's only using one of the stamps. Oh, that would look nice. There's a thought. There's a thought uh, for when you get them home. Now, we're busy for the stamp and die set on its own. That's £14.99. You're more than welcome to go for that if you want to. But so many of you are taking your £7 saving from your one-day special and then getting an extra £5 saving at £44.96. But you know what? Let's divide that cost into two. So £20.23 and pence today. That's in your budget, hopefully. And you might want to put some other items in your basket as well because anything else that you add into your basket uh, will be, here's that word again, divisible into uh, two payments. don't even know if that's a word, but I'm using it a lot. Um, Freedom members, you've got a great price as well. You don't pay any PMP on that first payment. Perfect. Um, oh, my goodness. Let's get back to John. More demos. We're very busy, John. Right. OK, so I thought I would show you how the multi-layer stamp and die works together. Because, again, I've had, as, as you've tried, I've had multi-layer stamps in the past. Um, I've had multi-layer stamps with a die to match in the past. And I must be honest, I've given up. Have you? Because they're just... T I don't... I am a lazy crafter. I know people say, oh, you're not. I am a lazy crafter. I want things easy. And what I've found is when I've got to put it down and then I've got to find the next one and, and put it down and then I've got to try and get the, the, oh, the die in the right it's place. It's And then you always get that white outside line around it because that's how they work. This system gets rid of that. So what we're going to do, you've got two stamps. Yeah, so you've got two stamps. Now one is a solid. Okay. So one is a solid with a smaller middle. If I put them both lined up you might be able to see it. 
and then one has a larger centre. You want to go first with the one that has the smaller centre that's more solid. So what you may want to do is you may want to actually just mark on the back one and two. Good idea. Yeah, just to make it easier. So we line it down and it's been designed again so that it fits on a piece of A5 card so that you'll get two on an A4 and you'll get one, two, three, four, five on wow. a piece of A5. So you can actually make yourself ten of these on an A4 piece of card, which means an A4 piece of card will give you 40 flowers. Oh, my goodness. Because, I, I, you know, when you're paying all this money for card and ink and things, you yeah. don't want to waste it. You don't want more going in the bin than goes on your card, Well, do you? the flowers will be um, colours of your choice as well. You know, if you were to buy flowers already printed out, some, you know, they're not bad. Some are good, but you get to make the flower colours of your choice, maybe to match an anniversary or someone's favourite colour or the card or favourite football team even. Yeah, and what you're able to do as well is match with... So, in other words, you want me to be using blue and white, don't you, Janice? Well... Sort of navy blue, light blue and a little bit of white, perhaps. Yeah. I like cornflowers and Leicester yes. City football. <laughs> so I'll change the colours I was going to do and we'll go with Leicester City colours, shall we? Oh, really? You don't have to, John. But I you. did live near Filbert Street for quite a few years. Yes, you did. So, yeah. Right, so. Actually, I'm I use thought the... you were Filbert Fox for don't a while. Eat cuts. Sorry? I used to think you were Filbert Fox no, for a while. No, afraid not. I get too hot in that costume. So. What I'm going to use is I'm going to use the Eyes Ink dye inks and these are absolutely perfect for this because you've got the 20 colours. They work on the stamps but it gives you 20 colours. If you imagine that, you've got 20 colours so you can mix them together in any combination. You can get like 40, 50, 60 combinations with that wow. without having to have, you know, lots and lots of money spent on inks. So all I'm going to do is just ink everywhere with a light blue to start with. So I'm using the Mare de Sud. And I'm just make sure you ink these lines at the side and these corners, and then I'll just stamp it. Uh, we've got uh, now with the eyes ink, or is it is ink or eyes ink? Eyes ink if you're British, is yes. ink if you're from any other country. Okay, it's I forgot what you said. Is ink, eyes ink. Uh, because it is ink. Uh, 705640 is your item number. And you get uh, 20 of the dye and 20 of the pigment. This is just uh, one of the packs that you're getting because you're getting 40 in total. £29.98. And they're so super cute anyway and dinky to use. But they are um, superb with the colour that they have in there, aren't they, John? They'll last, they'll last a while. They will last a while. I, the, I'm still on my... This is my first set that I opened when we launched these. Really? That I actually had... A few weeks before we launched them. Wow. Um, so I think I've had these since January. Gosh. Um, and I've used them. They're in my kit, so they're used on every show and demo yeah. and what I use at home. So all I've done is ink them in the Ultramar, yeah, which is, um, I think it's Ultramarine. Ah, okay. It's, they're all named in French. Ultramar. So you can clearly see there the stamp, but you can see these two corners, yeah, and the lines. All I do then is take the next stamp in the set, make sure I'm matching flower size to flower size, yeah? Yep. But hopefully you can see, you can see through. Right. So I can see through those corners, but I can see if the flower's off. So we match the corners as so well? So you match the corners. Oh, my goodness. And it will goodness. all lay, it's all done for you. So instead of trying to lay out, can you imagine, I'd now still be stamping the first stamp of four. Yes, yeah. If I was doing it individually. So I just pick that one up. Um, then... Now, we've had an email from Leslie John. Sorry to Ooh, interrupt you, okay. but as you're just dibbing and dabbing, we've had a, an email from Leslie. Leslie loved working with all the designs, and the flowers are very easy to do. So, thank you for that, Leslie. Thank you. So, all we do, I've inked it, close the door, and press. And, and there that... you can see I'm going from light to dark. Oh, yes. Now, I've not got it dark enough, so I can either go back in with another shade. That's what's great about having so many different inks. So I can ink this. I'm going to inking this now in night, which is sort of a purpley blue. Would you always recommend using a stamping platform because you've got I to would. line everything up, yes? It's a lot, lot easier because you line up first. Yeah. Um, I mean, I wouldn't... You can do it with blocks, but it is a lot more of a struggle. And, you know, I'm, I'm as I say, I'm a lazy crafter, but you can see there... Oh, wow. We go from white to a sort of lightish blue to a dark blue. Yeah?
So suddenly they're 3D already. But all we want to do now is we want to cut those out. So can you imagine getting your scissors and cutting those out? Oh, not really. No. Life is far, far too short for that. So, now where have I put it? Oh, there it is next to me. We've stamped these corners. Yeah. You get the die with it. There's no option to buy the stamps or the die separately. It comes together as one kit because in my mind they've got to be used together. And all you do is line up corner to corner. Yep. Yeah. And you tape it down. That's it. Simple as that. And then that will cut all of them out. And you can see through. So you can see through how it's done. And all we simply do then is run that through our die cutting machine. And it will cut out all four of those in one go. How easy is that? So move that out of the way. And I'm just and these shape absolutely amazingly. Because I I really wanted this to be the flower that you could cut hundreds and that you didn't have to know any complicated techniques, you didn't have to spend hours thinking, right, turn it over, let's mould it, all this sort of thing. All we do, so if I pop these out, you'll see no white Absolutely perfect. anywhere, yeah. no white edge, and all we do to shape them is push them in the middle. One, two, three, four. Look at that. That's it. Can we layer those up to make one flower? You can. You can layer them up in size. Oh, that's so pretty. But you can also layer them, you can put two of the same, because you're going to get, if you're careful with it, you're going to get five out of this. I mean, what I tend to do, and I will try, I'll show you in the next demo, yeah. a little sort of sneaky way of how we can actually do them even quicker. Ooh. Um, I've just got this sample here, which is a similar colour, actually, to what you're using, John. And this is laid up just two of the flowers, but look how effective they are. Just pushing in the middle, as John's done there. Now you've got those beautiful flowers. And I think doing them like this and layering them up and using them singularly as well, uh, they'll look different each and every time on all your projects. But you're batch making, so it makes it easy to do so. Oh, my word. Right, let's take a look again at your one-day special. We are so, so super busy. Remember, a one-day special is launched here on Hochanda every 6 o'clock, um, every day at 6 o'clock. And we are 30 minutes into the first live hour. And stock-wise for your one-day special, well, it is flying out. Your one-day special features your Harley Quinn dies, one, two, and three, or A, B, and C. And you can layer those up, or you can use them separately as well. £34.97, you are saving £7 on your one-day special. Beautiful samples to show you here. And if you want to use them, layering them up, they're very, very effective. Use them as backgrounds, use them as a feature part to your cards. Or use them uh, singularly and maybe cut into them so that they look different each and every time you use them. This is a really cool card. Um, it doesn't say who's made this particular one, but this is using one of the plates in the background. Um, it does almost look Christmassy, but also tropical. Uh, maybe somewhere like Hawaii, maybe. Uh, then as a background, look at that. Think about Father's Day. Yes, Father's Day is coming up June 21st. Second. 22nd, that's what I thought. Uh, <laughs> so these, I think, would make ex excellent masculine style cards. It is the 21st, oh. actually, Father's Day, Sorry. 21st. Um, here's, here's a lovely um, sample here. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, let me make sure I've got this right, because I believe this will fold in like so. It has a pop-up. It does have a pop-up. Yeah, I if just... you actually hold it at the two sides oh. and fold it up, Oh, look at that! That was made by Jane Roy. I just thought that was so oh, clever. That's And just to let you know at home, that's where it is. You go, pop! That is brilliant. Oh, that could be a little message. It could be an age. It could be an anniversary date. That is brilliant. But Abs how much better does that look, having that Harlequin on the front than yeah. just being plain card? It's got look enough that. interest on its own without the pop-up element. Yeah, it certainly has. It's beautiful, isn't it? And I love the colours that have been used in that, actually. Um, here's another love. Oh, another couple of samples. Just, just two more to show you. Uh, this one here, you've got your flowers. Now, your flowers, you can buy separately as your stamp and your die, if you want to. The details will come up on the screen. And they're £14.99. These are proven to be really popular, John. Very, very popular. Uh, £14.99. It's a great price, and you get both of them together. Popular. Popular. But what's proving to be the most popular 
is the complete collection. Now, your one-day special, you're saving £7. On the complete collection, you're saving an extra £5. So it really is excellent value for money. So for your dies and your stamps all together, £40.46 if you are a Freedom member. But you can divide the cost into two. It's forty-four ninety-six if you're not a Freedom member. And if you want to join Freedom today to take advantage of that extra discount, it is a why not deal uh, because you're saving more than your first month membership here in the UK, which is £6.97. And you can end it after the first month if you want to. But I'm sure, uh, knowing you guys out there and how much you buy from us here at Hochanda, it will make it worth your while. So, oh my goodness, right, we've got queues on the phones. Bear with us, we will get through all of your calls. If you want to head to the website, it will be the quickest way to order. And you can add everything to your basket and then you can check on out. And when I say everything to your basket, there might be a few more items you want to add to it because your one-day special is available on that Flexi Buy, that complete collection. Um, okay, so this is a beautiful die set. Seven dies in total, £9.99. And so many of these have already gone. You've found them on the website. You've got those beautiful exotic leaves in there. So they really do add a beautiful uh, addition. Did you design these, John? I did, yeah. John these exotic. were designed together as well. So these were designed to be the, the tropical flower and the calypso flower and the tropical leaves. Aren't they lovely? They're beautiful. On their own, they'll look fantastic. But when you put them in addition to the flowers from that complete collection, it really changes it, doesn't it? It um, does, yeah. I, mean, I think sample. the original plan was to launch them all together. Yes. Um, but the multi-layers were a little bit delayed. Um, so we held off on the flower, but we had to launch the leaves because it had to go with something else as well. So they have been out before, but I wanted to get them all together on the show because people, you yeah. know, they work together. Yeah, and there's plenty of people that have not got them, not seen them, and now they have, now they're getting them. Already 10% of the stock has gone. 369924 is your item number. Uh, right. We're going to have a look at the inks now. Remember I said you get 40? Well, here they are in their entirety. 40 of the Isinks or Isinks. Now, there is some storage available for you. If you go and have a look on our website, uh, the Cool Cat Storage, uh, so you can store these if you want to, so they're very easy to take out. You might have storage already at home, but they're really dinky, aren't they? And very um, bright and colourful, and you're getting 40 inks in total, the dye and the pigment. John, can I ask you the yeah. difference between the dye and the pigment? It's quite simple. Your dye ink is a translucent, quick-drying, ink so it's great for sort of going around the edges or for stamping and giving you a crisp clean stamp if i nick a piece of card i'll show you you've got a clean crisp translucent ink okay yeah with your pigment inks if i just grab my pigment inks from behind me what you're getting is these are so this has been mixed this is color and water yeah these are color and glycerin so what that means is these are more opaque. So whereas these are translucent, these are opaque. So these will give you a more solid, chalky look. But these will stay wetter for longer. So these will actually stay open. So these are perfect for blending and perfect for heat embossing. Ah. So if I stick some embossing powder over those two now, yep. can you see they're virtually the same colour? Mm -hmm. But when they go on, one is more opaque one is more translucent but that will stay open for longer so I can blend with that right and I can soften that okay I can take another color and I can blend that in oh they're nice together John but you see I'm, I've got tropical in my head you see yes but you can blend them whereas with that it's fixed got you yeah so that's done. So if you want nice translucent flowers like this, you would use the dye-based inks. Right. If you wanted to heat emboss or you wanted something really bright, like this card here, Ooh. this has actually been used, some clear glitter embossing powder over top of the red um, pigment ink. That's lovely. And that's what gives that, that glittery, sheeny oh, shine thanks, over John. that. So that's your main difference. Great explanation. Fantastic. Um, couldn't have said it better myself. It's a great price. £29.98. Saving £4 on that deal. Very busy for those, though. 705640. Uh, now, we have got some more multi-layers for you. These are your squares and <laughs> circles. Can I go? Slowly 
slowly but surely I can go now. Uh, so I'm just so excited. I am jumping ahead of myself. Um, so apologies, lovely, lovely director Molly. I mean it with all my heart. These are fabulous. Uh, so same system, uh, but what you have here are circles. And squares. You can use these individually, you can layer them up, just how we've been doing with the Harlequin dies right there. £59.94, but we'll divide the cost into two for you. Two payments of £29.97. Yes, that price is divisible. Um, oh my goodness, there's a freedom price on here as well, saving £15.99. And uh, oh, guess what? That's divisible by two as well. My word, let's get it in the Oxford Dictionary. Oh, yeah, it's already there. Uh, 241664 is your item number. These are delightful. I'm um, just looking at this, actually. You can put some little fishes in there. It could be like an underwater submarine scene. How lovely is that? Uh, again, it all depends what colour you use on the effects that you're going to get and the different ways that you're going to layer these up. We did say that Father's Day is coming up, and these would make a perfect Father's Day card. They're lovely, aren't they? I think after seeing the um, concept of the Harlequin ones, you're now seeing the true value of getting this collection as well. Some of you are going for both collections uh, to make those fabulous, fabulous cards. One more sample. Oh, I could just sit here and show you all the samples. Can I do another? Can I do another? Let me do another. Let me do another. There's so many good... Oh, this is a good one. Play it loud. That's fantastic. That's one of Roshan's. And 1960s. I just, when I saw that, I thought... That is amazing because we really struggle for cards for sort of teenagers and tweenagers and, you know, a lot of what we make are for people 25, 30 plus. Yeah. The fact that you can make something really pretty for that age group, but you could make something like that one in your hand now. Yeah. That's perfect from anyone from like nine, you know, all the way up. Oh, look at that one. Oh, hello. Oh, that's lovely with the little smiley faces in. Oh, that is excellent. Can I just lean that forward a little bit just you, so you can see that? You Look. wouldn't believe that was made with the same dies as what the card you've got in your other hand. Really? That one? Yeah. Because You're it's so just bright. how you change the colours can really Hello. affect who they work for. They're basic staples that you, really you need if you're making cards for a load of different people. Absolutely superb, and plenty of you going for those as well. Uh, what a great deal, available on FlexiBuy. Uh, let's have a quick look at the seven-day savers, and we're going to head back to John for more demonstrations. Seven-day savers are launched every Sunday, and that means you've got five days left, some hours and some minutes and some seconds. Um, but these are your seven-day savers, and you get them at a great price as well. We have got, oh, we've got 10 this time. Superb. Uh, Le Blanche Floral Decoupage goes without saying. And Decoupage, $12.99. We've got some paper books in there for you. Um, we've got, oh, these trimmers are great. £14.99. So there's two paper trimmers for you. Maybe one for you, one for a friend. Um, these are good as well because you can actually cut out little apertures because you can lift up that blade and then place it on and then cut it. Uh, which is good. Uh, right, so have a look at your seven day savers. They are there available for you on the website. Let's go back to our lovely John next door. Right, so I was just going to show you uh, on the overhead because I just realised my glue gun has turned off. But these are the flowers that you, the, the colours that you picked to go for Leicester City. Yes. But how well they work with this Harlequin oh, multi layer. Oh, they do. That's the card you made at yeah. the start. So that's yes. the first. So they work really, really well. But I want, as I did say, I'd show you how we can actually sort of get the most value out and make them quite quickly. And this does take advantage of your stamp press. And this is something that I, I, I absolutely love because if you've got these tools and you've paid for it, you really want to be sort of doing it the right way. So. What I'm going to do, I'm going to move my card right down to the bottom and I'm going to take my first layer of my stamps. Now remember, the first layer is the layer that has the smallest centres. So if you mark it now, I'm going to do something that I would not normally do. Okay. Now, I always say that life's too short for cleaning stamps. Yes. But... If you are going to, with these, because you've got such a flat area, the ink sits inside these wells. Right. So the ink sits inside these wells, and we're not using black ink, we're using colours. Mm -hmm. So they can mix. So I would always clean these when you're swapping colours. Oh, what are you cleaning now, with, Now, I clean this is with the Crafts 2 um, stamp cleaning mat which is the only way I would ever clean stamps. Do we have any of those? I'm not sure, to be Ooh, honest. No, I know we we've don't. had them in the past. Yeah, we did. I know I've planned them onto a show at the end of the month. Have you? Um, 
but you've got one side that washes and one side that dries. Okay. But can you see how much ink came off that? Yeah, I can. Yeah. And all you do is use water. Okay. If you haven't got that, then I would j just lightly spritz them with water and wipe over with a cloth. Yeah. Not kitchen roll and not baby wipes. Yeah. Kitchen roll will leave fluff. Baby wipes yes. are really bad anyway, but yeah. they will leave fibres on. That's why I use these, to Could be you honest. spray it with some water and then maybe pop it on a bit of car just to create an extra background with the e excess ink? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, of course you could. That's a good idea, actually. I quite like that. You're getting very crafty, oh, aren't you, after thanks, your lives? John. Thanks, John. So what I've done is I've just put this right at the bottom here. Yeah? So there's my stamp. And my card is just at the bottom. And we all I'm going to do is I'm going to go with a light green and I'm just going to ink the stamp. I've got a question for you, John. Sorry. Yeah. I know I keep interrupting, but Jane's emailed in. So Hello, Jane. this is from Jane. Not my Jane. Well, it might be. I don't know. Um... Um, no, it's not my Jane. Um, Jane would like to know about the Isaac fabrics on fabric. Isaac fabrics on fabric. Isaac inks on fabric. Sorry, Jane. The inks are not machine washable. If you put them onto fabric, the and a hot wash will wash them out. They aren't okay. fabric inks. But Isaac do do a range of the same colours in a dedicated fabric ink pad. Great. You have to have, although I think products, 99% of the time, are designed to work on everything. Yes. The chemical they would need to add to these inks to make them work on fabric, they wouldn't work on paper very well. Got you. I hope that answers so your question, that's Jane. that's a no. Yes, if you're not going to wash it. Yep. But if you want to wash them, then it's a no, I'm afraid. Perfect. Okay. We've got about 10 minutes left so, of the show. Because this isn't showing very well... I'm just going to change the colour, so I didn't choose the right colour to show on a camera. So I'm just going to give these a light pink colour. So, I'm going to stamp that. Yeah, so we've got our first stamp. Yeah. Okay. All you do is move your card. If you see here, the die is one, two, three, four, five centimetres, the stamp. Okay. Yeah. So I go up by one, two, three, four, five on the side. Ah, yeah. Yes. Ink. Stamp again. Perfect. Yeah. Count up again. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, you could actually get away with four, and that way you would get five on. Yeah. So I'm not going to do all of them, because I know we're, we're short on time. But you see there what happened when I used the, the yellowy colour first, so you can get some real different shades. OK. All I would then do, take that stamp off, clean the next one, because we had a bluey colour on it. So on the clean side, on the dry side. OK. We simply lay that over and you can see through where it's going. Put your card back. Yep. Yeah. Close that and pick it up. So we're going to go with a purpley colour. This is really easy, isn't it, John? It is so easy. If you've ever tried to do... Like, say, you know, these multi-layers in the past, they've really, mm. really thrown my... They, they've made my head ache, <laughs> to be <laughs> honest, in trying to work it out. You see there, I've got the two colours. Beautiful. So all I do is move down one, two, three, four, five. Check it. A little bit out, there we go. Ink that and stamp again. And this is the second stamp. And this is the second stamp, which has the, lar the, small, the larger middle opening. But you can see there. Oh, that is exactly lovely. Exactly on. And I would do the third one again. But if you notice, I've gone off a little bit. I'm off a little bit with that lower coat there. Okay. So, but it doesn't make any difference because the dye will trim that off. Yes, of course it will. So as long as I match to the purple colour, the top colour I did, it will cut off that excess where I went wrong and it'll just make your flower will still work. Right. So even if you stamp them completely off, even if your eyes, you know, you think, oh, my eyes played tricks with me, I've not got this in the right order, I, I've gone off a little bit. Yeah. When you put the dye in, and that's why I made sure that we only, this comes as a kit. Yes. So you have the dye and the stamps. Perfect. Because... Using the, all three of them in combination is what makes it works every single time.
Love that. I do need to tell everyone at home the complete collection. Uh, that's the dies, brand new today, and the stamps, and the die for the flowers. Um, is it? Oh, my God. Goodness, forty percent of the stock has gone in the first hour, John. Forty percent, forty percent. I can't even <laughs> say it. I'm that excited. Mike, congratulations, John. Yeah, you, no, you've no, gone and done it again. Thank you. Well. I, it is like I say. If, some, if people can see, or they see the vision of, you know, they share my vision. I think it's amazing. Yeah. Or they can see what I see in it, or see something different. Please, if you see something different in there, make it and put it on the. Um, yeah, how put exciting! It on the group. But can you see there? These went off. So they were off on the edge. But there's no white. There's no. You can't tell that you didn't stamp those perfectly. They're absolutely because gorgeous. Because the die solves all the problems. If in fact, if I actually open this. You see, there's a red rim around the top end of this, where I got it wrong. Yes. But it's been cut off with the die, so I've got those perfect flowers. And of course, if I'd have carried on with that, which would have taken me about three or four minutes, I'd have actually had an entire set. So yeah. I'd have had four, eight, twelve, sixteen flowers, just like that. Do you know what? These are going to be lovely for building up uh, wreaths and things like that and also for embellishing your cards. This is gorgeous. What a lovely colour here. And then chosen to use a little bead in the middle or maybe some glossy accents or maybe you've got some stamens that you could take through as well and make them lifelike and realistic. Um, absolutely beautiful and so easy and so simple and each time you stamp it'll be perfect and that's what you want especially when you're batch making talking of batch making can we make create and sell jobs? you can yes these are all designed by us and we the john next door range and, and prescott have a really simple um angel policy yes just do what you want i love it you've bought it do what you want with it you know if you know these are all our artwork it's all done by us um, and you know if it's not then we happily state it and say so but all the Prescott range same with the John next door range my view has always been you've bought it so do what you want with it fantastic fantastic and when you do um, make and create please do share it we'd love to see it you can post it on any of our Facebook pages um, or you can head to John's Facebook page what's your, what's your Facebook page? right we have a, we have a John next door page but we also have the crafting with John next door and crafts Two group yeah and in there I do a live show every week from home so it's called craft cave live because it comes from my craft cave um, every Wednesday at seven o'clock do you slide down your pole into your craft cave? no because no. it's in the built in the garage do you, have, <laughs> do you have your cape on when you go into your no craft but cave? the ginger prince is on the shelf behind us always watching is he okay yeah. in fact the, the craft cave is a little bit like this when you look at it from sort of like the camera angle yes I mean it's how I where I work you see the tops of the shelves and everything. After that, it's the same. It's got all silver all around it where I've had to insulate everything. Brilliant. So it looks so, great from sort of this height <laughs> above. It's like a real mess. No. So we just see the top part of you. Do you wear your slippers at night? No, because I the... have the same desk. I work at the same desk as you use here. Ah, I, I bought see. exactly the same style of desk because I craft standing up. Oh, really? I can't craft sitting down. Is that since coming here or just uh, you've always, always been the same? Been. So ah. I've always had a high desk. So when yeah. I came here and you got these brilliant ones, I bought these tables. Brilliant. Oh, my word. We've got four minutes left of the show. What would you like to do? Right. What I'm going to do very quickly, if I can, although I think I, they were telling me what I was going to do. What am I going to do? Uh, uh, um, were you finishing off um, a card you were making or had you done? No, I'd done that one. There you go. You see, my thought process was correct in asking, what would you like to do? And they're in my ear going, letting him finish. No. Um, <laughs> I missed that, you see. <laughs> um, well, we've got, well, the time is actually now ticking away. You, actually, John, you can just go rogue if you want to. OK, fair enough. Go right. on, then. OK, so all I've done is I've grabbed a, a, literally a spare bit of paper that was on my desk. Yeah. That's it. And I've taken the sea layer. Okay. So I've taken the sort of the, 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 the bottom layer because I want to show the detail on this and how we can use it with these flowers. So these are the ones that we made um, in the last demo. So I've not pre-cut any of these. Whilst you were talking, I actually ran the other set through. Okay. But again, just push in the middle. And um, what I've been using in the centre of these actually is I was watching you the other day. Yeah. Um, I have actually a lot of mine in the middle. I was thinking, oh, it's such a shame I'm not in today. Because a lot of my cards have got the enamel accents in the middle that you were oh, loving playing with. Oh, too lovely. Because I've had those accents. from Ranger for years. Oh, they're amazing. Oh, um, I can play with them all day. Yeah, that's so fun. So what I've got here is all I've done is cut layer B. 
Yeah, so I've not cut the main layer, but this gives me a really, really nice trellis. So I get a really nice sort of simple trellis on this, but it's that little bit thicker. Yeah. And again, as we said earlier about colouring, so what you can actually do, I can take the colours that I used for the flowers, that so I can beautiful. take the rose, and I can alter the background, I can use it as a stencil still. It does make me just want to go out and buy one of those vegetable pasties though, you know, from that well-known takeaway shop. Oh yes, shop. yeah, the, the, the lattice ones. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, definitely. So, all I'm going to do is I can just... So I'm just going to shade through. Because I'm using a lighter colour, yeah. all it's doing, because I'm using the linen card that I've cut this in, what it's actually doing is just simply giving me a little bit of shading on top of the, of the um, card because it's not a darker shade than what I'm actually using. Okay. So I'm just going to go through. Really, I should have had this prepped, but... I didn't. No, it's it's entirely my Sorry, fault. John, have I put you on the spot here? No, because that's what we should be doing as crafters. Yeah. You know, we should be able to answer questions. Wouldn't but that then be all a I've done is that would be a great show. So I'll take that way. off. I've got that really soft, oh. subtle. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. So light, but you've got that really soft like that. Subtle background. But what I can do, instead of placing it back on, I'm going to offset it. Now this probably won't see through, but I've offset it so I've got little bits of white and little bits of the actual yeah, thing coming that. through. And all I would do is tumble my flowers on. How pretty. A, that is lovely. And a similar effect here on the card by Emma Blake as well, uh, used in the centre part. As you can see on the front, we've used the die, but in the centre of the card, just used a whole different effects. Uh, John, um, you are live to me. You're not live in the 8 o'clock show? No, I, oh. I, I have to have time to travel home, you see. Of course. Does that mean Catherine's all on her own? Yeah, Catherine is on her own, but I have oh. shot video. I've done... I think we're four or five videos that we've done. Oh, good. Ready good. for it. Well, thank you, John, for coming into thank the studio. You You're back live tomorrow. Please do check out your baskets. Make sure you get everything you need and then check out those baskets. But do stay where you are. Go and grab yourself a cup of tea. We've got more coming up. Uh, we've got Viva Decor next uh, with the lovely Catherine. We've also got Crafts 2, One Day Special, and then Tina Francis Tapestry. It's right there for you. Hi, I'm Jenny Mays from Hobby Art. Hobby Art's a family-run company and we've been designing and manufacturing stamps for over 28 years now. We have an extensive range of clear and rubber stamps and we're proud that they're all manufactured in Britain. Whatever your style, there's always something that will interest you with Hobby Art stamps. Crafting is my passion and I love teaching. I love sharing my ideas with other people. This is why I enjoy being part of the Ho Chanda family, because I have the time to share my ideas, maybe open a door for somebody and give them the confidence to start stamping. So make sure you join me, Jenny Mays, on Ho Chanda. Hi, I'm Hayley. Join me for some amazing Fabric Freedom shows. 
Fabric Freedom design all their fabrics here in the UK and they design them with quilters in mind so they're really good at picking out those unidirectional prints. Really nice and small prints so you can work on smaller patchwork projects and paste prints as well which is one of their signature fabrics. They do lots more fabrics besides quilt and cottons so tune in to the Fabric Freedom shows here on Hachanda. Hello everyone, I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hochanda Freedom. Did you know that with Hochanda Freedom you could be saving on your deliveries every single month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee, you'll benefit from unlimited standard delivery, which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And do you know the best bit? You can cancel at any time. Becoming a member of Hochanda Freedom, you'll also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom Members discounts, where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hochanda price. Freedom Members will also receive our exclusive Members Badge and Freedom Newsletter, which will keep you updated with all the goings-on behind the scenes. Look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. Over 12,000 of you are already members and we thank you so much for being part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hochanda Freedom. I'm a Freedom member which means I can shop a lot. It's the discounts and all the special offers you get. I get special offers, I get special discounts, they tell me when everything's happening, so if there's a special show I want to watch then it's there. I'm able to just shop when I'd like. It's just good to have. But yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> you see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 888888. So, don't forget you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge and members newsletter what are you waiting for join hochanda freedom today and become a member of the growing hochanda family oh good evening how are you i hope you're well if you're expecting catherine she is here we've got some lovely demonstrations coming up from catherine you may have seen the earlier show uh full of viva decor goodies oh my goodness uh should we have a wave from catherine no, let's not. She's <laughs> just let's not bother. Just not bother at all. But she is here. I can see her. I'll Hello! Wait to her. Can you hear me? <laughs> uh, right, let me go through the different products and the prices for you so you can get everything into your basket. Make sure you've got everything you need and then of course you can enjoy the fabulous demonstrations and education from our lovely Catherine. Right, let's start with the Maya Gold paints. Um, absolutely sensational. Love this. You can choose any two of these. It's a great price at eleven ninety nine. Oh my word. And you can see we have some some new colours in there. These are lovely and vibrant, aren't they? Absolutely beautiful. So if you want to give that extra zing to your projects, whether it be card or whether it be furniture, for example, maybe picking out some detail, then these are going to be absolutely superb. All you need to do is choose two. Now, if you want to choose more than two, you're more than welcome to do so, as always. The price will just change accordingly for you. 563457 is your item number. Now, something that I'm really interested in, and who knows, I might take one of these over there and play with it, but I don't know. I'm looking at Catherine, she's going, mm, I don't know. Um, these are so much fun. These are your Zen pens. Now, if you've ever seen um, doodle art, but with dots, so it's dotalism then this is something you can do with your Zen pens. And you can also have those fantastic... Um, stencils as well and they will get you started so if you're thinking well I'm not quite sure how to do this I'm not quite sure how to get those beautiful shapes but I really like the idea you've got some great stencils to get you started and you've got some fabulous colors as well in there you've also got some paper so really it's it's the out-of-the-box experience on this is going to be Fabulous. £21.99. And everything is going to be dispatched from the 19th of June. 439506.
Now, let's talk acrylic paint. I've been using acrylic paint at home for all kinds of different projects, uh, from card making, painting on canvases, and also to furniture decoration as well. Uh, we've got some great colours for you here, and it is a pick and mix, and you can choose any three. That is excellent value for money, ten ninety nine. Oh my goodness, for three! Wow! Um, these will go a long way as well. Now you get in each pot 82 millilitres. Now, colour wise, if we can choose three, can I choose three? My three, I'm just, oh, I'm looking at the collection. Do you know what colours I'm really into at the moment? Um, and I never thought I would be. I'm into orange, and that's a colour that I never thought I'd really like, but I'm loving it at the moment. I'm also loving the green. So I'd go with a zesty green. Yes, I would. And then. Ah, that's your pea green. I'm, mm, I'm, do you know? I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna go for the the beautiful, beautiful yellow. Those three colours I would go for, and I'd have a play with those. Just some bright colours going into the summer. But there's so many, and that price is such a great deal. I might even go for six. Imagine that. And the price will just change accordingly for you. Amazing. Head to the website to see all of the colours. You can see we've got a swatch down the front there just to show you the colours out of their vessels. Very nice. Look like teeth, don't they? Especially the yellow one. A little bit. Yeah, mate, well, you know, it's locked down, it's what happens. Uh, right, we've got some pouring medium next. This is a large bottle as well. So you get 500 millilitres of this. You can add this to your acrylics. Then you can do all those gorgeous pouring techniques. So uh, it acts as an extender almost to your acrylic paints. And then you can start pouring the paints into one another. So if you were to mix maybe uh, the gorgeous purple colours and the green and the yellows, for example, and you were to mix them in separate pots with your pouring medium, then you can start to do, dare I say it, a dirty pour. Mm. And we're not talking about Catherine's Maltese Terriers either. <laughs> Long story, she'll tell you. Uh, you can do a dirty pour. £9.99. Enjoy that. You're going to enjoy that. Uh, 890772. Right, we'll head down. I'm being told to head down to the bottom. That's where we are right now. <laughs> here we go. Uh, here we go. So you've got <laughs> nice and swiftly to your bottom, they're saying, Janice. I'm here. I'm just waiting for you to come to my bottom. Here we go. £12.99. You've got your transfer liquid and your photo transfer medium. So being able to transfer your photos to... Now, I did this with... I did this to some stone. I had some old slate in the garden and it worked really well. And it was very, very effective because how else are you going to get a photograph onto something like slate, for example? And something like that would make a really nice gift. So experiment with that. Those are the mediums you need. And of course, you get the instructions included with them. Only £12.99. Right, back up to my top. We've got your transfer wax here for you. And you've got candle transfer wax, both the same. So, oh, look at that. £14.99. pence. So your candle transfer wax will allow you to transfer things onto candles. I knew that, yes. So you know your rice paper, for example. Maybe you've got some from oh, La Blanche, for example. Um, if you're going to transfer this to candles, I would suggest it be a decorative candle and you don't burn it. Don't burn it. Just have a decorative candle. You know how sometimes you can get candles with certain icons on, for example, um, quite religious, um, and then it gives you a chance to use that uh, on there. And yes, it has to be a laser printer because the ink has to be uh, substantial enough. Yes, we can't guarantee that La Blanche is laser printed. That's a very good point. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, Catherine. Only I can see Catherine at the moment. I promise you she is here. Uh, but Ben, thank you very much. Right, that's that. Uh, moving on, we've got some chalky wax. Back to my bottom. Back to my bottom. It's an interesting way of spelling that, isn't it? Chalky wax. <laughs> wax. Uh, right, so £9.99. Uh, and you get both of these included in that price. 213123 is your item number for that. And with this, you can, well, you can polish up, can't you? No, you can't. It, it's protected. No. Do you know what, Janice? Shut up. That's what Catherine's saying to me now. 
leave it to me, she's saying. Leave it to me. That's your chalky wax. Uh, £9.99. I'm going to leave that one to Catherine. It's all in the prep. I know. Is this my last show? I've been told to do something now. Here, move this. Put that. The big one at the bottom? No. No. That one. Here. Yes. Sorry, everyone. They're shouting at me bottom right. I have no idea which is my right or bottom. There you go. Ah, okay. So, these come together? No. No. <laughs> Shall we start again? These come together, all three. Right, let's pop them there so we know that. Are we here or are we there? Are we at the top or at the bottom? We're at the top. <sighs> do you know, Catherine, you know what you said? Come do the show with me, Jally. It'd be easy. It'd be <laughs> Absolutely perfect. Uh, when lovely Kim said, you know, let's crack on, let's get to Catherine with the demonstrations. Who knew it was going to end up like this? So I'd like to apologise to everybody. Um, we are only eight minutes in. Oh, thank goodness for that. I thought we were 20 minutes in. We're all right. OK, it's fine. I'll be gone in a minute. You've got your <laughs> antique crackle and your clear coat here. So, again, you can make those wonderful crackle events uh, uh, effects on your projects. Only £11.99. Um, I think that is an excellent price. I really, really do. And I think we've got some demonstrations coming up with this as well. £11.99, 198355. Now, we've got... Is this the concrete effect? Oh, look, can I open one of these? Can I open one of these? Now, if I'm right in thinking, this means... Oh, it's not open. I don't know. I'm not going to open it. I'm not going to open it. I think Catherine's got some open, yeah. Um, I love this. Now, I'm just going to get a nod or a shake. Can we use this in moulds? Is it more for pasting on, like using three stencils? Right. If you want to get concrete effect, either stippling or using through your stencils, um, this is going to look absolutely amazing. I've got a sample here. Now, this was started out was this glass when it started out oh my goodness look at this this is your concrete effect but that's not concrete if i turn this upside down you can see there that's not concrete but it looks like concrete uh, amazing effect absolutely love this i really do uh, i've got another lovely sample to sh if we can pass it can no yes it's all right then it's all right there you go. Uh, so they're, again, using this through a stencil. Love this effect. Absolutely fantastic, isn't it? £16.99, 330664 uh, is your item number. I even thought it said Ben on that uh, <laughs> pot, but it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. Right. <sighs> Let's move on. Oh, fact, do you know what? I feel exhausted. <laughs> oh, but it's, it's, it's good, though. Um, right. OK. We're here. We're staying here for the moment. Chalky look uh, paints. Now, if you've used chalk paints in the past, maybe to decorate uh, your furniture, um, these are great because you've got your different colours in here. So it gives you a little taste of all the different colours. So you can mix these up a little bit uh, and maybe get some really cool effects on your upcycling of furniture or your projects. £14.99, pence, nine nine one. 900 zero zero, and you get all five of those and they come really nicely packaged as well so if you are giving this as a gift to somebody they will look fantastic okay moving on only a couple of more items then we're heading to Catherine who's getting ready in the wings at a safe distance from me for more than one reason right OK, um, let's talk about upscaling furniture and let's talk about maybe due to the lockdown. We've been in our homes for quite some time and we're looking around thinking, what can we do with that? I want to change this up. Well, this is going to give you a chance to do exactly that. because It's going to give you that vintage chalky look or a chalky vintage look. It doesn't matter how you say it, but it's going to give you that fantastic look. Now, sometimes when you go out to buy furniture or you've got storage boxes that you buy with this particular effect, they can cost a lot of money. Now you get to do it yourself. Now you get to do it yourself. You've got the sandpaper in here, you've got your paints, and you've got your sponges and the instructions as well. A great little project kit to get. £15.99. Remember, everything is on extended delivery, dispatching on the 19th of June. 200827 is your item number. That 
is an absolute bargain. It really is. I know you're going to enjoy using that. Right. Now, we've got two, I've got two opaque sets here for you, right. Now, you've got two options for you here. You've got your romantic or your pastel. So, the romantic got some beautiful muted colours in there. Um, I do like this colour here. It's like a mink almost colour, isn't it? It's beautiful. And these will work really, really well together. They really will. Love those. Uh, you get your sanding block included in that and you also get your sponges as well. So I get another project kit for, kit for you uh, with those instructions. I've seen lots of, when I've been out and about, legally safe distance in and all that, shopping, I've seen a lot of pots, let me just lift this up, in this style. And then when you go, because this, this is very on vogue at the moment, this particular style, uh, especially that one there. Uh, but when you have a look at the price tag of those pots, my word, they're expensive. Now here's your chance to make your own. You could sell them if you want to, or you could gift them as well. £17.99. That is excellent. <laughs> Sorry, I got stuck to that. Uh, right, so your two options. Uh, this is your second option, so you've got your more pastel colours in here, the greens, the lemons and the blues. Um, equally as fantastic, you just have to think about the colours in your home or the colours of maybe the gifts that you want to give to somebody. So maybe you have some plant pots or maybe you've got some, like it says there, like sugar bowls you want to change. Um, you can do so now with this great project kit. Uh, 781 734 is your item number. Right, you'll be pleased to know we're heading to Catherine. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, oh, the Zuri moulds. Have we got some of these? Oh my goodness, I'm being told we've still got some. So get these into your basket, £18.99. These are absolutely divine. The detail that comes out of these are just incredible, just incredible. Um, and of course they come to you from Zuri as well. Uh, six 35856 your item number 18 pounds and 99 pence choose your option you've got lexus the elven horse swan dreams or rising phoenix i think my favorite is the phoenix now we've got another uh zuri mold for you and these are silicon molds they're food safe as well so if you want to use these for food like chocolate imagine a chocolate owl um then use it just for that. And if you want to get one for your mixed media, then get another one. So you've got another option here. The butterflies are limited stock. Always popular, aren't they, butterflies? £19.99. Owl tails or butterfly dance. Uh, 153 927. Right. I'm going to shut up and hang you to her. <laughs> to her? To her? <laughs> Oh, well done, Janice. That was fabulous. Thank you. I think. Right, OK. Um, <laughs> do you know what? We have got lots of the chalk paints on tonight, which I'm so pleased about. I did ask if we could have as many different kits as possible because these have been so popular in the past. Now, what I am just going to point out about the chalky paints, regardless of which kit it is, the chalky look, we've got different kits there with different colours in. Regardless of which kit you go for, these are going to cover all sorts of different surfaces, but also they're for use for indoors and outdoors as well. So you can cover things like tin, wood, plastic, glass, ceramic, and it's really, really good. In fact, I have got... I have got a glass vase here, so, um, do you know, I've kind of got all my colours out, um, so I'm not, I'll have to try and remember which, which is which here from which kit. Now, let's have a look. Right, I'm going to bring in this one. This is from the pastel kit, I believe, Pastel Dreams. You get a lovely green in with this one. You get a blue, you get a yellow, and you also get this one. Now, I haven't yet opened this one yet, so I'm going to do this right now. That's one of the reasons I've chosen this one, because I want you to see this as it arrives. So, first of all... Actually, this one doesn't need mixing too much. I do say, make sure you mix really, really well. These are water-based paints, so you can clean your brushes and things with water, soapy water. But because they will separate a little bit, you need to give them a really good stir. And you'll notice when it's stirred properly, because you can see it goes really lovely and creamy. Absolutely beautiful. Now, these give you the most gorgeous lovely matte chalky finish as well so that's ready to go now depending on the kit you're going for um all apart from the first one that we did show you which has actually been brought back this time we sold out so quickly last time all of the other ones that's the romance one the ch the vintage and also the pastel um you do get four sponges with them which 
don't just think, oh, well, it's a sponge. I've got sponges. These sponges are just fantastic. Do make sure that you wash them out as well and reuse them. They're perfectly fine to reuse over and over again if you make sure you clean them out. And there's a reason why I really like these. Now, I'm just going to grab myself a clean one, actually, if I can find where I put it. Been washing them out in between shows. So I've mixed up the paint there. And the first thing I'm going to do is just show you how well this covers various different surfaces. So I've got some glass here. This is a glass vase. Uh, obviously, if you're doing this at home, I would say give them a really good wash. Make sure there's no grease on there. Um, just from your fingertips, you're going to get grease. Sugar salt would be a great idea. That's what I use when I'm doing all my furniture, but I use it for washing down my tins and also my glass and ceramics and everything. Now, the reason I love the sponges that come in the kits is because hopefully we can see this look at straight away the coverage this is on glass you get that lovely sort of I'm gonna say frosted it's not frosted because it's not clear but it gives you that sort of stippled effect without it being too much now do allow this to dry um, if you're putting more than one coat on or you're putting some sort of finish on and there's various finishes we've got on the show as well then give them a good few hours to dry it does say on the instructions quick drying which it is quite quick drying but it will differ from one surface to another so for instance a porous surface such as air dry clay or card or paper then it's going to dry much quicker if you're going on to glass or ceramic it's going to take longer now I would put two coats on that is just one but you can see the great coverage there just using the sponge now while I've got that out I'm just going to put that to one side for a second I'm going to bring in something else just to show you all the different surfaces we can work with. Now, this is just a plastic plant pot. Again, I would give this a good wash. And again, just straight onto the top. So if you want to decorate your very plain and boring plant pots, and you want to put maybe some mouldings on there, we have got the Zuri mouldings on the show, then, of course, you can do that. And it's going to cover again. Now, you don't need to seal this paint. You could do, because it's indoor and outdoor. I like the chalky, vintage matte look. We have got glosses on the show as well today, so if you wanted to give a gloss effect, you could do. But there is no need to seal this. Just give it that drying time. Now, I've gone on to tin. I've gone on to all sorts of different surfaces. Uh, this is, you can see, it's just a from a tin of soup or beans or something one coat again there I would probably go with the second coat but I've blended a couple of the colors there now the green has come from the pastel and the blue has come from the romance and that is really really pretty but there's so much more we can do with it so I'm just going to put that color away and I'm going to bring in something that I started earlier actually um, now, so many people keep asking me, how do I get the finishes to my vases? And uh, we've got one on the show, actually. I don't know if, we, if I can grab that in a second. Using the Viva Decor paint to one of the Zuri molds. And I love to do a lot of dry brushing and different effects. And it does build up beautifully. I have another sample here, actually, if I just bring this in. This was a plant pot that was, it had bright purple flowers on it. I've used a Prima mold on there. But using one of the paints, and that paint colour was actually from the first kit that we had, the one with the more neutral colours in it. Uh, it's the vintage, I believe. So we've had it on before and it's sold out very, very quickly. And I'll show you how I did that effect in a second, because this is one of the most asked questions. Let me just bring in this vase as well. Now, anybody that follows me will know that I use a certain brand of paint for my furniture and things. I'm pretty much addicted to it. But this particular vase is done with Viva Decor. So straight onto the glass. It's exactly the same vase as the one I was showing you with that pastel colour on there. Now the mould that I've used is the Zuri. That's the Phoenix. I've extended the tail on there. You've probably seen that on the Zuri shows before. But because everybody keeps asking me, how do you do that technique? How do you do it? And every time I prep for a show to show you how to do that te technique, the products sell out before I get to it. So, <laughs> so I'm going to try my best to do it as quickly as I can right now. Now this is a, a glass jar. Just a, there's only one coat of paint on there. This is from the Romance kit, the, so the very pink chalky colour. Uh, you can see there's a little bit of glass showing through there, so I could go with the second coat if I wanted. But I'm going to show you how I do that technique. Now, if I wanted to put um, a moulding on the front, and I have got, this is probably not the right colour, but this is from the Butterfly Dance. 
you can see there or you can use the Maya gold paints on that as well that's limited stock for that mold so if you wanted to put your moldings onto your jars what I tend to do or your vases what I tend to do is go with the base color first then stick the actual molding on and then I do the technique afterwards because there's a couple of things I do right what I'm going to grab is I can find the right color let's hope I've got it out we've got uh, I think we've probably got a white in more than one kit actually it doesn't have to be white it can be whatever you want it to be uh, but I tend to use a lot of white or cream I'm just going to go with a paintbrush just give this stir a stir again you can see when you first start to stir how it looks a little bit lumpy but it soon comes together and you get that creamy consistency right there is white in the vintage you get five pots really really lovely set that one actually I use the oh the vintage is there look that pink is the one that's on the jar you get the white on there this is from the vintage then the white one I've got now that lovely blue in there which I'm also going to bring in in a, in a little bit of time as well uh, teal and grey is also in there Let me just get a paper towel for that right okay now I have brought, I, I should feel quite embarrassed about the state of my paintbrush, but actually this is a treasured possession. This is my dry brushing paintbrush. <laughs> yes, you could use that on a canvas, you could use it in a mixed media, but actually I use it for my dry brushing. So all I'm going to do is to pick up a little bit of that white paint and I'm going to just take some of that paint off so take as little as you can I can tell you this kit of paint as well we're very very busy on it 70% uh, of the stock has gone on this particular kit we have got others available as well uh, now I normally do this onto cardboard it's a little bit more porous but what I'm doing is taking off almost all of that paint so don't dip it right in and you know super load it up and then what I'm going to do and the reason I like this brush is because it's very well worn if I go with a nice new soft brush I'm not going to get the same effect now it probably would have been easier to work on something a little bit larger to show you but we'll go with this and the reason I've picked this jar is because it's got those pretty shapes around it you've got those lines on it so what I'm going to do is just kind of flip backwards and forwards and catch the edge so I'm kind of going over the top now if I've got a molding on here I'm just kind of keep that going if I've got a molding on here it would be picking up on the raised areas so it's almost dry there's barely any paint on there at all but what it's doing where those raised areas are it's picking up that little bit of white if you do need to pick up some more color you can but the other thing I like about this and I'm hoping it's showing I'm just going more on the sides there because I've used the sponge can you see how it starts to pick up kind of the speckles as well so you get that lovely lovely effect now if I'd got the molding on there if I just bring this back in you would see the raised areas the molding as well would pick up that paint so what I've done is a base color of the chalky and then just the white dry brushed over the top and it gives you that really really lovely effect now three quarters of the stock has gone on that paint I am going to bring in something else um, using the paint actually and the dry brush technique and various other things as well I'm just trying to get in as many techniques as I can we do have cues on the phones um, quickest and easiest way is the website of course if you can go there or the app don't forget the app as well oh, I do forget the app do go and use the app brilliant right now then I'm terrible at spending money lately on secondhand things I've just I'm just so addicted I am so addicted to the marketplace on social media where I find all these bargains but it's great because when you've got products like Viva Decor you can take things that you've paid very little money for and turn them into something beautiful uh, now I've got here a frame I did pinch the glass out of this for a different show earlier this week so there is no glass left for this frame now but it doesn't matter it doesn't matter I'm going to use some of the chalky paint again now this is such a beautiful color it has already been stirred this is from the romance kit uh, remember you get four of the sponges and in this kit you also get a lovely sanding block as well which I can show you and your instructions as well really very useful sanding block because of course you can distress um, Oh, it's in Pastel Dream, this one, sorry. I'm getting mixed up the pinks in the romance. Now, I did before the show just go with one coat with one of the sponges again onto my frame. And now it's dried off. That is just one coat. I can just see the odd little bit 
that has been missed. So I'm just going to go back in there and just, again, with the sponge, I'm just going to catch in those little bits. It doesn't really matter for demonstration if I've missed the odd bit. But there's different things we can do to this now. So I'm just going to blast off where I've, I've added a little bit of colour there. I'm just going to get into that crevice there. Now with the sponge, I do prefer to dab because you get that lovely sort of effect, but you can wipe on. You can also use paint brushes and rollers and different tools as well, but I do honestly love these sponges. I think they're just brilliant. And the other thing is as well, I've found you use far less paint if you use the sponges. If you use a brush, you tend to use a lot more paint. Right, so I'm just going to bring the heat gun in just quickly. Now half the stock of the Pastel Dream has gone. Let me just bring in the tin again so you can see the colours. It's the same blue on this tin uh, with some of the green that's also in that kit. So I've kind of blended those together, which is really, really pretty. If you want to go with a crackle glaze over the top, you can do, and then go with another, another layer of the paint. You can do that as well. But I'm, going to, I'm just going to dry this side off a little bit, and I'm going to show different techniques on this one frame so you can see different things that you can achieve. Right, another item that we've got on the show, and it is difficult to demonstrate it, demonstrate it properly in the hour, is the wax. Uh, and I know, I think somebody did email in, didn't they, asking about the wax? It was, I believe, Sandra did email in. The chalky wax, she wanted to see it in action. Right, okay. Now, I did do this in the earlier show, but because of the chalky paint, if you're using the wax with it, you do have to leave the top coat to dry for about six hours before you can sand it back. But I'll explain how it works. So for the chalky wax, I'll show you the consistency there. It's very creamy. It's not liquid, but it's very clean, creamy and very soft. Now, what I did with it earlier was one of, pa one of Paola's lovely tins, coffee tins. This has just got one layer of the chalk paint on. Um, you could, that fingerprint is just from me there because I've got the wax on my finger. Now, I would normally go with two coats, but if you are going with the top coat as well, there's absolutely no need really, as long as you've, you've really covered any writing or anything there. Now, what you do with the wax, you can apply this with a finger or a brush. You can put as little or as, as much as you want on, actually. But I just kind of just put areas on there like that. Allow that to dry. Now, that will stay looking glossy when it's dry. And when it's completely dry, then you go with your top coat of chalky paint. So if I bring in one that I did actually start earlier. So this was the same colour underneath, and I've put the wax on, and then I've gone over the top with a lighter colour. Now, I did just start to sand down. Can you see this area here? Wherever the wax is, when you sand it back, it's going to reveal the colour underneath. So it's one way of distressing. It's a really good way of distressing. We have got a sample that I use this on. I'm just going to grab that, actually. Now, half of the stuff has gone for the chalky wax as well. If I show you this, you see I used a brush to apply this and kind of splodged it in different areas. Some areas have got more wax on than others, but when I sanded back, giving it the proper drying time, you can see you've got that lovely distressed finish. And it just takes away the top surface. And you can see I've brought the detail out of the mould there as well. And that's what I'm going to do with the frame now. So all of these things that I'm showing you, all these techniques, kind of lend themselves to different projects. I'm just going to pop... Mm, I'm running out of space so quickly. Hang on. Right, OK. So, I'm not going to put the wax on this one because I know I haven't got the drying time, but I would do exactly the same thing here. But what I can do is bring in maybe the crackle glaze. Now, I have got something prepped with crackle glaze on, but also there's a couple of other things we can do to bring out the detail here. Now, I'm just going to stick to... Oh, I could go with the grey. I'm going to stick to the white again that I had, the white from the vintage set. So remember, give these a really good stir. Approaching limited stock on these. Let me just grab a paintbrush. Right, I'm trying my hardest to keep my paint, new paintbrushes nice. And I'm not doing a very good job at the moment. Right, okay, so this is a brand new paintbrush. So if you wanted to go over the top with your paint, if you've put your wax under there, then of course, when the paint is dry, you can then sand back and it's going to reveal that colour underneath. There's another way of doing it, of course. Some of the sets have got the sanding blocks in and the sandpaper. So what you could do is just sand away without using the wax. But what will happen then is you'll only sand away the really raised areas. 
So you've got that lovely effect there. So when that's dry, that can also be sanded away. But while I've got the white on the brush, I'm going to do that dry brush technique again. So what I'm going to do is just kind of flick that over the top of that moulding. Now it's almost dry, almost complete dry. There's so little paint on there. I'm not using my big brush for this because I have got um, such small detail. But you can see there, what's happening is because I'm using very little paint, I'm still seeing that beautiful blue coming underneath but you've got the lovely effect of the white and it's picking up again the texture from the sponge and this is why I love those sponges so much. I just love that technique. I, I, just, I do a lot of dry brushing. I've done it on all sorts of surfaces and it softens everything. It gives a really, really lovely look. Now something else that you can do, and I'm going to stick to the frame but just move to another corner, is grab one of my paints. Now I've just kind of done a lucky dip here. We have got the acrylics on the show. This is a really good deal because you're getting three of them. Three of these for, was it 10.99? Any three, yes, 10.99, such a good buy. Now this is petrol, which is a gorgeous color. Um, acrylic paint you can use on so many different surfaces. You can mix the colors as well. You can water them down. You can do so many different techniques. I did have a spritzer somewhere, there it is. I am actually just going to spritz that Add some water to it. That's not spraying very well, is it? Not to worry. Just going to grab another brush, mix that together. This is such a beautiful colour. Now, you can get proper antiquing mediums. and We had some on a show the other day, actually, that, that was really, really lovely. But you can make your own as well. Just going to add a little bit of water to this paper towel. Now, ideally, I wouldn't use the paper towel. I'd use some sort of other cloth, which I've lost. So it's going to, oh, there it is, there it is. I'm just going to, it's a very dirty cloth. It's not my dish cloth, it is my crafting cloth. Um, just got to make sure that you do realise that. <laughs> right, so <laughs> I'm just going to take some of this paint. Now, you've probably seen me do this a number of times. I do it with the moulds as well. So Zuri moulds, this is a great way of bringing out the detail. Don't do the whole frame in one go. Do a section at a time paint on and then try and use a nice wet cloth and start to wipe away. Now I am I am quite putting some pressure on there because because this is a chalky finish and it's very porous, very absorbent. It's taking that colour in. So the blue underneath is picking up the petrol colour. But the more this dries, the more effective it's going to look. And what I've done there, you can see where it's sitting into the detail a little bit more. And then wiping away that top surface I'm bringing off where the raised areas are again and it gives you another look. So that again is really, really nice. I'm just going to give that a quick dry. Let me just wipe that bit of paint up. Just going to give it a quick blast because we've got the Maya Gold on as well. Um, which you can also use for dry brushing. Let me just dry that off a little bit. Oh, we've had a sellout. We've had a sellout, everybody. The Chalky Vintage, technically sold out. Technically sold out. Uh, that means all stock is allocated in baskets. We do have other choices. They're all just as beautiful as each other. Right, OK. I'm just going to bring in a little bit of the Maya Gold. Let me just find in. Now, I'm go just going to grab a colour. Let's, go let's see what we pull out. I'm going to go for, which is this one? Apple green. Oh, that sounds nice. Oh, these are just so wonderful. Let me just give it a shake before I take that lid off. You can stir them, but I'm just going to give it a shake. I would say stir rather than shake normally, but just for speed. And I'm going to run out of paintbrushes if I don't stop using them as stirring sticks. Oh, these colours. These are absolutely fantastic. They really are. Now, what I can tell you about Maya Gold is as well, they are water-based, so you can wash your brushes in soapy water you don't need any sort of special cleaners um, oh, let me bring something else and show you sorry I just keep remembering what I've got here gold emerald green that is one coat now the only reason you can see a little bit of a an area there where it's not covered is because I've had a candle stood in this so there's a little bit of wax residue in the bottom so, so that sh this is made from concrete that we had on a previous show. We'll have that back as well. We have got a concrete that I want to get onto this hour as well, if I possibly can. But 
it shows you there where the wax has been because I have burnt that candle. The wax that we've got, the chalky wax that we've got on the shell, that's the sort of effect that you'll get with that. It forms that resist so when you put the top coat on and sand it away it will reveal what's underneath. Right okay so a little bit of the um, apple green. Now I am almost going to dry brush this again. Got a little bit of the white in here actually so I've still got some acrylic paint in it but not to worry. So I'm just kind of taking off and again just catch that over the top. So I'm just flicking that backwards and forwards again and those raised areas and now picking up the colour. So what we've got now you can see the blue from underneath, you can see the petrol which I used as the wash which is defining the detail and then the top layer now you can see it has picked up with the Maya gold. So really, really lovely effects. I love those colours. That blue is beautiful. Right, okay. Um, what, what shall I do next? What shall I do next? Do we, do we need to go back to Johnny's for a minute while I get ready? Let's do that. I need to get out, out the way a minute. We've had a picture sent in as well. I'm going to leave this with Janice. Oh, oh I can come in now. Can I? <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting in the wings all this time. Um, this is from Sylvia. This is fabulous. And this is using the Suri mould, the swan. The swan. That's beautiful. That really, really is. And those moulds, oh my goodness, do we have any of the swans left? Yes. We do. So, um, yeah, if you do want that mould, um, details are on your screen at the moment for that. £18.99. Absolutely love those. Right, I do need to come back and do a recap of... Oh, I've just put my hand in your wet paint. Sorry, Catherine. Uh, right, I do need to come back to give you a little bit of an update on the pick and mix of the Maya Gold. You saw Catherine using the green there, absolutely incredible. And then within that green, you saw those lovely gold colours coming through. Um, it's absolutely spectacular when you place these onto your projects and Catherine's been using anything from jars to tins to boxes so think about upcycling you know not just the furniture maybe just some items around the home so that you can have a play on uh, that with these particular paints 11 pounds and 99 pounds you choose any two any two of these colors I don't know which two I'd go for actually but if I was to choose two I would mm, I think I would go for this one here which is the emerald. Is that the one you were using, Catherine? That's the one that Catherine was using. Uh, no, Catherine was using apple green, but I would go for the emerald. Uh, do you have anything with the emerald on? Yes, it was the bowl. Yeah, let me just pick this up just to show you. That's the colour I would go for. Uh, so I would go for the emerald, and then I would possibly go for a green or a blue. Or would I go, oh, would I go for gold? No, I'm going to go for this one. I'm going for gold heard that one before uh, there you go so I'd go for the gold as well but you choose you decide 11.99 is a fabulous price you might even be able to stretch yourself to go for four of them and then of course the price will change accordingly for you uh, five six three four five seven not sure if we're demonstrating the next item in the show um, Catherine will she just said so whatever that means <laughs> she'll try She'll try. Um, but th these are gorgeous. The colours, first of all, spectacular. Um, if you like to do any pointillism uh, projects or just add some accents to your work, um, I think these would be fabulous. They've got that precision nib on there as well. So you can drop these out. But I wonder if you could actually do some lines with these as well if you wanted to. So you could draw like pens. My goodness, that would be absolutely amazing. What a wonderful kit as well. So you get the stencils. Maybe use them for uh, something else. Maybe use those with your inks as well. So you've got your stencils, you've got your paper, and then you've got your Zen pens as well. And the colours, colour-wise, I'll just pick this up. These are dry. Yeah, there you go. Um, and you can see the blobs. It's what they're called. Uh, those round, lovely, uh, circular blobs. Do you know what that reminds me? Do you remember that game Mastermind where you used to have to put the pegs in and you had to choose and you had to work out what colours went where? Absolutely love that game. That's what that reminds me of. But I've got some other samples. I just need to pick something up off the floor. There you go. Well, these were never on the floor. Oh, these are pretty. This is what Catherine's done through the stencils. Aren't they lovely? So imagine those on your projects, on your pieces of furniture. Absolutely divine.
£21.99, great idea and a great price as well. Right, acrylic paints, uh, again, fabulous colours. Um, that's what we expect when we think about Viva Decor. They think about the colours that they deliver to you and how well they work together as well. £10.99, that will work great as a price if you're going for the pick and mix on the other ones as well. And if you're, if, you know what, if you're just going for all kinds of different items on the show. If your basket comes to £60 or more, we'll divide the cost over two months for you, so it helps you with your budget. Uh, £10.99, any three. My goodness, that is an exceptional deal. It really, really is. 166143. We are busy on the show. We're getting through your calls, but the website would be the best way to order. And uh, let's have a look at some other items on the show. Oh, you're pouring medium. Do your dirty pours with this. Extend that acrylic paint so it makes it more uh, user-friendly when you want to create those different effects and those pours as well. Um, great price, only 9 99 You get 500 mil of that. Uh, 890771. Uh, we've also got the chalky wax as well. Uh, Catherine demonstrated this um, earlier on. Very busy for this, actually. 9 99 It's a great effect to have on your furniture, Maybe some of your old um, mirrors and frames, for example, make them look real vintage. Uh, love this. 213123, and 60% of the stock has gone. Uh, right, let's head back to Catherine. Okay, you're right, thank, you, thank you, Janice. Right, okay, right. What I'm going to use now, I'm, I really wanted to get this back in this hour. I absolutely love this product. This is the beaten uh, concrete effect. Now, we have had the concrete powder on before. This is different. I adore this. I tried to get this on last time, but they were out of stock. So we've, we've actually got you two pots in one bundle here, which is brilliant. Now, this is my very first original pot, which I'm still using. If I just bring in, I've got another sample down here with it, actually. Uh, again, onto glass, straight onto glass. Now, you can use this outside. I've had these stood outside for weeks now in all the pouring rain. It's not discoloured. It's not brought it off the glass and it is straight onto grass. I've got some gravel in there as well, you can see. Uh, that was for another project that I won't get time for. Um, but it's great. But there's much more you can do with it than just apply it onto your glass and your wood and your different bits and pieces. So I started doing something a little bit early, but we're going to sort of extend on it a little bit on this hour. So using the concrete, I have got one that's a little bit prepped. I'm using a spatula. I would suggest, again, when you open the pot, give it a good stir. It's very creamy. I love the sound of this as well. It's gritty because it's uh, a concrete effect. So I'm just going to use this board. I can go straight over the top. If you want it nice and smooth, you can spread it very thinly and you can have it very smooth. If you want it so it looks stippled, you can do that as well just by sort of picking up with your spatula you can brush this on you can also use um, a sponge again for this one as well so there's ways of working with it it will dry really really hard what i did show in the earlier show was i put some masking tape around the bottom of this jar as well so you can add to the bottom of a jar. I've purposely stippled that so it is quite spiky, but I was just wanting to show you. <laughs> I would have preferred it smooth, but I was just showing you how well it stipples. You must take the masking tape off when the concrete effect is wet, not when it's dry. So as soon as you finish going around the dry, you take away that tape and it gives you that lovely straight line. You can do exactly the same thing with your chalky paint as well. But what I wanted to do was show you something else. I'm not going to waste that. I'm just going to scrape that back off because I've got one that's prepped. Okay, so I'll just put that back. If I bring in, this is just one of the Zutter boards, and you can see, I, this is what I did in the earlier show. We've got that little bit of um, concrete effect there. It's dry enough for me to work on. Round the side, I've got a bit of colour, and all I've done, if you take a small amount of your, your clay, and again, I'm just going to grab any colour here. It doesn't really matter what colour I get. One of the acrylic paints, you can mix colour into this as well. Now, what I would say is don't try and flood it with colour because you're never going to get a really, really... Actually, that's brighter than I thought it was going to be, but you're never going to get the colour that's in the pot because you're mixing with the grey. But you can colour, which is really, really lovely. So what I've done around the edge there was just used some coloured concrete and kind of stippled that around as well. You don't need to prime. You don't need to do anything like that. So using your paints and your, your mix, you can just create a lovely, lovely effect. And of course, that will also go through stencils. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to uh, 
get another cloth. Catherine, I've had an idea. Go on then. You might think this is strange, but go with it. Okay. You know toilet rolls? Yes. After you've taken the toilet roll off? Yes. I'm thinking make holes in that toilet roll, yeah. one, two, three or four, put the effect of the concrete going around it, let it set and then put a tea tree light in it. You could do that because you can apply this onto porous and non-porous surfaces. So a toilet roll inner or a toilet roll itself would be porous, obviously, yes. but the inner, definitely, you could certainly do that. Just the in, like the cardboard? Yes. I'm, I'm going to do that. Are you? Oh. Now, I'm just going to get a little yes, bit more of this concrete, here. and the reason I'm getting some more out, I went straight onto the board with the colour from the pot. I'm just going to bring in, I might go with that petrol again, you know, where's it gone? I love that colour, there it is. Let's just try this. Again, give your paints a shake. Um, Water-based paints, they do tend to settle still. Uh, so I'm just going to mix that in there and then what I'm going to do, do you know I quite like it as well if you don't mix the colour in fully so when it dries you've kind of got that difference in colour. Now I've got a stencil here, this is the only stencil I've got with me today so I do apologise if I've used this one earlier. But now using the coloured concrete, oops didn't mean to do that. I'm now going to stencil through. Now don't forget if you're using this onto wood or onto a surface that's going to withstand the elements then you can put this outside once you've covered it with the concrete, once you've stenciled. Um, I wouldn't suggest going onto MDF for the outside because it is a porous substance so you will find that it starts to you know weather but the concrete itself is going to withstand all those elements. So I'm just going to take away some excess there and we'll peel that back and you've got a lovely stenciled concrete image on there as well. I hate wasting so I'm going to do something with that in a little while. Now what I'm going to bring in as well is one of the Zuri moulds, it's already been cast. Uh, I've got various bits and pieces, I'll bring this one in. It's the swan look. So this is nice and dry. So this would be the front to maybe a little album or something. When that's dry, it's going to look really, really pretty. The swan itself, the swan itself has no colour on it yet. It's just air dry clay. So while I'm here, this is kind of a technique, technique based show rather than full demonstrations. I will just bring a little bit of colour out with some of the Maya gold on here. Um, now what I would normally do is the wash effect onto the moulds as I've already shown you on the frame to bring the detail out. I've got one actually on here that I've already done so if I just put that down so the overhead can get it. There you can see. So look at the difference between them. Now if I just hold that to the side as well you'll see that shaped. So before that was dried I put the wet clay around a vase. It does actually fit the vase I was painting up earlier which I can't find now. Uh, but not to worry. Do you know what? That would actually look very nice on there as well because that's ready done for me. I'm just going to bring out a bit of colour with the Maya gold in the flowers, I think. So what have we got? We have got... Oh, that looks a nice colour. I've not used this one. The Maya gold is just stunning. It really is. Remember, this is a pick and mix as well. We sold out of this so quickly last time. We have brought back the uh, paints in stock, but we've got more colours for you this time. 15 new colours. Right, let me just move that out of the way for a second. Now, emerald apparently is the most popular. That is the green that was on my bowl, my concrete bowl, which is that one there. That is just one coat as well. You should really put more than one coat and put a couple of coats on, but you can see with one coat the coverage that we've got there. And obviously we've got the gold on the other side. Right, so just straight onto my swan. I'm just going to pick out a little bit of detail in these flowers. I've already done the wash on it. You can do it the other way around if you prefer. But just picking up a bit of the rose gold from my uh, lid there. And you can mix these paints as well. I think I've just painted the swan's body there rather than the petals, but never mind. So I'm just bringing a little bit of colour in. Let's just go on this one and then I think I'll mix with another colour. So this is the rose gold that I've got. Now when I do uh, make things with the moulds and things, I do tend to, um, I love colour. I was just saying earlier, I absolutely love colour, but I do tend to play it safe sometimes and keep quite neutral. Uh, maybe just go with paint effects. But if you want to bring colour out, there's so many mediums to do that. 
Now I'm just going to paint that petal in there. Then I'm going to bring another colour in and show you how you can mix these while the paint is wet as well. Just go into there. And the more they dry, the shinier and shimmery they look. So I'm just going to bring in the gold, I think. Let's just open the lid. Again, give these a good stir before you use them. This one was used earlier, so I'm using the same brush. I'm just going to mix them. Because the paint is wet, I'm going to kind of get that blend. So if you don't want a big difference in colour, then you can do that. Blend them together. And then as you work out from the centre there, I can add a little bit more of the gold. Maybe highlighting a little bit. I hope this looks all right because I haven't got my glasses on. Is Janice behaving herself, by the way? Is she? I've got my mic turned off, Catherine, so I can't say anything. Oh. <laughs> I thought you'd gone quiet. Well. <laughs> I can point the corner. Oh, no. I wanted to do the Zen pens. Point the corner. We haven't got oh, time for I've Zen done. pens, have we? Have we not got time for Zen pens? I don't think we have. See, I was trying to get you to demo, and we couldn't manage it. Oh, where's my apple green gone? There it is. I'm going to bring out some of the leaves as well. I'm just bringing in one or two more colours, just so you can see. So there's the apple green. Now, you can let them dry, and if you want to lay them up, but if you want the colours to mix, then obviously you need the paint to be wet, so I'm just bringing in. And if that looks a little bit bright for you, then again, I would probably just bring a little bit of gold into there and sort of tone that down, sort of blend it together so it softens it a little bit. And there we are. So you're really starting to build those colours. They're so vibrant if you go for the bright colours, but of course you've, you've got all sorts in here. You've got uh, purples and pinks and greens and gold and silver. One of my favourites is actually the old silver, which is absolutely beautiful. It's a silver with a green hue to it, um, which is absolutely beautiful. Okay. This is Janice's last show today, isn't it? What do you mean? You're going home after this, aren't you, Janice? Oh, I thought you meant it's my oh, last no, show. Oh, no, forever. Show. Oh, not we're, forever. We're, sorry, Catherine. You're okay. done now. It's back to me. <laughs> <laughs> Catherine, thank you so much for your demonstrations. We had such a busy show. And thank you for your demonstrations in the hour previous as well. Oh, hello. Uh, so thank you to Catherine. Catherine will be coming up in the next hour. Please do check out your baskets and make sure you get everything you need. Very, very inspiring. So now, have a look around your room. You might see some items that you want to Viva Decor up. Of course, Catherine is always at hand to give you help and advice. Uh, she's got a fantastic uh, Facebook site as well to head to if you want to go to that. Uh, right, so check out your baskets, but stay where you are. We've got more coming up. Yes, coming up next is Crafts 2, one day special with our Catherine with dirty hands. Uh, Tina Francis, Catherine Street after that, and then back to Crafts 2, one day special. Now for all our viewers in the USA, we've got a very special message. Uh, as you know, due to COVID-19, the pandemic, we have had to stop shipping to the USA as there were no flights. But the good news is we can now ship once again to you in the United States of America. However, the charge is going to be $11.95. Now we know this is expensive, but did you know that if you are a Freedom member, not only will you get your newsletter, but also substantial discounts on selected items as well, as your free shipping on all your orders. And all of that for $19.95 a month. So, Freedom member really is free to... <laughs> Freedom really does pay for itself. So become a Freedom member today. Sign up and carry on crafting with us here and with yourselves in the US. Welcome to Club G45 from Graphic 45, the monthly tutorial kit that allows you to create some of the most beautiful projects by accessing a step-by-step -step video viewable online. This month's tutorial is the Club G45 Ocean Blue Collector's Box and Mini Album and Matchbook Box Kit. 
You will get almost everything you need to create both of these projects from scratch, including access to this month's step-by-step -step video tutorial and accompanying project sheet. Simply order yours by purchasing item number 467894 for £49.99, plus your postage from hochanda.com, or give us a call on 01733 60 2000 for instant access to this month's Club G45 from Graphic 45. Hi, I'm Hayley. Join me for some amazing Fabric Freedom shows. Fabric Freedom design all their fabrics here in the UK and they design them with quilters in mind, so they're really good at picking out those unidirectional prints. Really nice and small prints so you can work on smaller patchwork projects and paste prints as well, which is one of their signature fabrics. They do lots more fabrics besides quilt and cottons, so tune in to the Fabric Freedom shows here on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Joe from the Mill Shop Online. Welcome to the Mill Shop Online. As you can see, we're a lot of fabric here. We're very passionate about our fabrics. We're one of the largest online sellers in the UK of fabrics for upholstery, soft furnishings, and now the lovely craft market. Coming up in the future with Ho Chanda, the Mill Shop Online is going to bring lots more collections of beautiful fabrics, all inspired for your crafters, for your upholsterers, soft furnishings, everything for every project. All our designs for Hochanda, all our crafting elements, always very unique and very exclusive for Hochanda. Whether you're starting out with fabric or you're an experienced sewer, we love to bring projects that every ability can really have a go at. So don't miss the Mill Shop Online shows on Hochanda. Hi, I'm Leslie from Chocolate Baroque and we design and manufacture our own rubber stamps right here in the northeast of England. We have a wonderful in-house designer called Sue who hand draws all the images which we then transfer into rubber stamps. We have very, very elaborate designs. We have everything from steampunk right through to beautiful florals and then we have scenic and we have words. Our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed, exquisitely etched, and the quality is next to none. So good that if you look after your stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. Whether it's stamping, mixed media, or art journaling, join us at Hajanda for our journey into everything creative and messy and see what you can create with our stamps. I do apologise. I've got very dirty hands. I've just come across from Viva Decor and John's gone. He's gone home. He's had to go home uh, back in the morning. So we've got this hour. We've got some videos to show you as well. This is the one day special, of course. Launched tonight at six o'clock. This is, of course, Crafts 2. We've got some very, very beautiful products to show you. And I can tell you we had a very busy launch indeed. Now, let's have a look. Let's get straight to it. Now, I've got all sorts of samples here in front of me as well. Lots of boards to show you as well. Now, the one day special, if I I explain that first of all if you can see the dies that we've got there that is the one day special now they're multi-layer harlequin now I think just by the name you can understand what and you can see can't you with the samples you've got that harlequin design there but you've got the different layers so you don't have to put them all together you can use them individually but layered up they look extra special don't they and the fact that you're getting all three of those dies in there as well it leaves those options open for you so a lovely bundle it was as I say extremely busy earlier I'm just going to pick up one of the boards actually and show you because this really does sort of hit home what you can achieve with these dies absolutely beautiful designs as they are I mean these these I'm not going to say a blank canvas because it's certainly not blank but I mean you could put your flowers over there you could just put a sentiment on there what a beautiful backdrop but looking at the different layers and the way you can build these up if you were to put them all together how wonderful is that isn't it stunning 
I love the colour combination there as well. And of course, you're going to get different looks every time you use them, depending on the cardstock or the colour of cardstock that you're using. And what I like about these as well is there's something for all year round. It doesn't matter what season, whether it's Christmas, spring, summer, autumn, you're going to be able to use these. I do love that effect there, actually. Now, let's have a look at this one, all in black and gold. Somebody's going to have a very special birthday. Isn't that lovely? Great for Father's Day. It does say birthday there, but of course the options are open for you to do whatever you want there. Uh, another one here using some dragonflies on there. This time with mirror card. Oh, a little bit of acetate there as well, look. Keeping those free. So use your, your uh, mirror cards as well. Of course, you can use your coloured cards, your pattern cards. You can use your inks, your spritzers, die cut. Once you've spritzed, die cut or spritz after. You've got all these options. Isn't that beautiful? I like this one. I'm just going to show you two more because I've just spotted. Baby, how perfect. Absolutely perfect. Oh, oh! I'm not going to repeat what I've just heard in the gallery. Got a little bit worried then. Isn't that effective? Love that. So think about all the pieces that fall out of the dies as well. You can paper piece or use them as extra little embellishments as well. We've got so many samples here. Uh, we'll show some more later. But we've got more for you. Let's just give you the details of the one day special itself. You're saving £7. Incredible value here. £34.97 is going to get you those per, uh, particular dies that we're seeing there now. 824-944 is the item number. Now, we've got more for you because, let's just move on a little bit, we've got these beautiful flowers. Now, these are multi-layer as well. You've got stamps and dies here. So, very clever idea. I've got boards again to show you. Now, if you've seen anything of John before, and I'm sure you have because we always have busy shows, you'll see that with the dies and the stamps that go together, you've got these little notches that are taken off the corners there. The little corners are missing. There's a good reason for that. If ever you're matching up your stamps and your dies together, they're the bits that you line up and you make sure then that you create the most beautiful beautiful flowers or whatever it is you're creating with those stamps and dies but you can see here as well using your inks you can layer these up in different ways you've got the stamp detail in there we could see the stamps I think we can just go back down to the front so we can have a look at the stamps themselves there are actually two different sets I'm just trying to find the ones behind here I seem to be missing a set never mind but we can see them at the front there so you've got two different sets one's a little bit more solid than the other so this is how they're going to layer up, so it's going to build that colour, and then, of course, you've got your dies to cut out. And with one pass, you can build up those beautiful flowers because they are multi-layered, and you've got more than one die or one cut in that one pass. Now, 14.99 is the price for these. 615.415 is the item number if you want to go for that particular bundle. But most of you, the vast majority of you, in fact, I think almost everybody, the bar nobody perhaps, I don't know, all of you were going for this whole huge collection all together because look at the saving here. We are carrying over a saving from anything else and we're giving you that extra five pounds as well. So for the whole lot, that is the three dies, that is the two sets of stamps and the dies for the flowers as well. The whole lot there is a great price, especially for Freedom members. You are saving nine pounds and fifty pence as a Freedom member. We're already getting through the stock quickly. Over 40 percent of the stock has gone. Now, you can split it down as well. We've got a flexi-buy option for you. Two payments of £20 and 23 pence. That freedom saving there as well, if we just have a reminder of that, it's 9 50 isn't it, the saving? If you're not a freedom member, what's the cost for a month? It's 6 97 You are saving more than you would spend for the month, so why not deal? Item number 107743 is the item number. Now, let's have a look at some more samples. Oh, dear, I do love these. I'm going to pick some out with some flowers on as well, so you can see the dyes and the flowers at the same time. Um, absolutely stunning. You can keep it very simple. You can be very elaborate as well. Beautiful. And, of course, depending on the inks that you want to choose for your flowers, you can keep it very subtle. You can go very bright. You can go monochrome. Isn't that pretty? That is really pretty. I'm looking at the dyes in the background here, how they've been layered up. Absolutely gorgeous. Do you know what? You can use as much or as little colour as you like. Oh, what about this one? A whole multitude of those flowers here. Isn't that gorgeous? I've spotted another sample as well. I heard John talking about this earlier, but I didn't see it. But I can recognise it straight away. Using some of Emma Blake's work there with the dye in the background. Doesn't that work well? Beautiful. So many samples and every one of them is so different. Well done 
well done everybody on the design team because you've achieved some beauties again here look at that one that's very nice very stylish do like that as well do you know these would make lovely covers for the front of your albums as well wouldn't they you could just put a sentiment on there gorgeous very busy again 107 is the item number if you're going for the full collection but of course we do have more it wouldn't be a full show without the upsells as well so let's have a look what else we've got uh, now you see if we've got flowers you've got to have leaves as well haven't you and we've got some exotic leaves for you here these are beautiful do you know, I really do like these. I'm looking at the samples now. I like the size of them. Don't they work perfectly? You know, you can build them together and make sort of a huge, a huge display of them, if you like. But for your card making, they're just perfect. Love the fact that that's all done in monochrome as well. We've got lots more samples here. Using the flowers, remember, as well. Just pay attention to the different colours here because you get a completely different look depending on the colours that have been used. That is very stylish. A little bit brighter on that one you know i think that might want to go the other way up is that a, yeah landscape actually it works either way but i do like that gorgeous and then of course if you want to keep it very very subtle something like this is very pretty indeed isn't that lovely that would make a perfect wedding card i like this one as well when i was saying about the size of the leaves that you can build them up i was going to say about a wreath i'd not spotted that i like that building up those lovely exotic leaves there item number on the screen 369924 just nine pounds and 99 pence right moving down we've got the inks for you i was listening to john earlier because janice again questioned is it eyes ink or is ink it is ink that is the correct way of saying it apparently it is ink uh, although John does say I think right you've got a whole complete dye and pigment selection here now lovely that you've got these smaller ink pads as well because they're very neat they're easy to transport you've got all those different colors there what a great price wow 29.98 is the price on these you're saving four pounds you're getting a huge amount there 40 individual inks 705 640 is the item number do you know if you're collecting inks and you think oh do you know i need so many colors and it's going to take me just to collect this is a great option because you're getting 40 colors all in one go 20 percent of the stock has gone as i say it is a great price you are making a saving on these 705640 now john isn't here in the studio but we do have some wonderful demonstrations from him and we're going to head right over and say good evening to john right now in this demonstration i'm going to show you how to use the fantastic new press cut harlequin multi-layer dies to make this beautiful sort of card that goes in and all the designs, the layers all work together. So this is an example I've got to show you in, in blues. So we've got a light blue to a mid blue to a dark blue to sort of pastel blue at the back. This is a fantastic one by Leslie where she's gone white, blue, white, blue onto it. So you see how versatile this one is. So I'm going to take you through the dies in the set. So you get three layers. So you get layer A, which is the largest, has the largest circle and the largest sort of harlequin diamond in there. You then get the layer B, which has a smaller harlequin diamond and a smaller circle. And then you get layer C, which has smaller diamonds again. And these are all perfect diamonds this time. And you get a smaller circle, but also on this one, you get all this stitch detail, adding these stitched diamonds in there and these stitched circles. So all the layers can be used separately to make completely different backgrounds and beautiful cards and effects, but one put together to make a beautiful multi-layer. So we're going to start and I've cut my first piece of this one. This is the white craft two linen card and I've cut this to six inches square. So what I'm going to do is use layer A and I'm going from white to start with. So you simply place that on tape it down as normal. You want to make sure you've got an even border running around all four sides. That's what makes it so simple. And then we're simply going to die cut that one. So I'm going to pop that onto my plates and we'll run that through our die cutting machine. So that's been run through the die cutting machine. We'll take the top plate off and you can see here, we we'll just peel it off and then you can simply all of the pieces just release out. I'm going to move that to one side. What I tend to do is shake it over a bin and you'll see all the pieces just really, really simply come out on this one, giving you a beautiful clean cut. You can save all of the pieces because they work perfectly for doing your infill. 
so you can do your paper piecing with this with lots of different colors and i'll be showing that in another demo video so there is our white piece i'm going to save those and all we're going to do now is we will repeat the process so we will cut layer b in a lighter shade layer c in a lighter shade again and i've already cut those to save time and i popped the foam tape already on so i'm going to start with a piece of silver mirror card i think this gives a beautiful effect and I'm going to simply take layer C. Now I've matched this with foam tape. And what I've done, I've cut these panels down to five and three quarter inches. And that gives enough space for the foam tape to go around. But also make sure when we have the larger piece on the front, that it covers anywhere that you've missed. So it covers off any layers that you might find pop poking through. So there's layer C. I'm now going to take layer B and I've cut this in the mid blue. Again, these are all across to linen card and you just check over, make sure that you see all the dots in the center and the stitch lines will help you with that. So there we've got now again, beautiful. You could use that just as it stands or we're going to put on the last layer. So again, I put foam tape on this and you'll see by cutting this slightly larger, I get that little bit of space around the foam tape and it means that I cover over these areas where different colours poke through, but it is designed to work at five and three quarters as well with the foam tape so that you get two cards from each A4 sheet. So we'll just check, make sure I've got that exactly right. We'll put that on. And when you see when you put that third layer on, you get that beautiful look where you've got that Harlequin pattern running all the way through there. So all we would do is go on to decorate this um, put it onto a card blank and you've got your background already done and in the next video I'll show you how to use a calypso flowers to decorate this one. Oh, thank you John and of course John will be back in the studio tomorrow morning amazing demonstration they're absolutely beautiful so many samples so many variations using the one day special and in fact the complete collection as well let's have another look at everything we're showing you the complete collection there on the screen at the moment this is where everybody's shopping actually you're wanting those stamps you're wanting the dies for the flowers as well as the dies the background dies that layer up the multi-layer dies they are beautiful now you can use the dies individually you can use them to together you can use them in various different ways you can snip into them you can paper piece them they make the most amazing stencils as well the fact that you've got the flowers the two stamp sets and the dies for the flowers as well just sort of open up those opportunities for you I'm just going to bring in those flower boards again just so you can see the different layers because of course with having the two different stamps then you can stamp more the solid area and then the detail goes over the top and you're going to get a completely different look every time depending on the colour that you use the way you shape these perhaps as well you don't have to shape them but if you want to spend the time you certainly can do so do have a play with them there's the die that cuts out so all four of those are going to be cut with one pass so a great addition to the dies themselves of the one day special to get the complete collection we are carrying over the saving from the one day special we're giving you that extra five pounds as well we're giving you flexi buy option two payments of 22 pounds and 48 pence item number 107743 now we've got so many samples here oh let me just show you this board again of the dies actually while we're here because it really just sort of make you realize what you can achieve with these each and every one of the dies individually are just stunning but when you put them together what a lovely, lovely effect you get in there. And as I said, different cards, different card stock, different types of cards, you're going to get so many different effects. Let's have a look at one or two more cards. I'll see if I can pull some out that I didn't show you before. So using glitter card here again, now you see that with love on your special day, but you could put any sentiment on there. But that does again make the most beautiful wedding card or anniversary card. Then of course you can be clever with the dies as well. Maybe use them with your other dies and cut different shapes out. I do like the effect of that one. That is really nice. And then another one here. This looks like another Emma Blake. I think it must be. Look. So a completely different look, but using the dye in the background again, but using Emma's stamps there with that pop of colour on the front. It just looks amazing. So part of your mixed media as well. Don't forget to use these as stencils because they work absolutely beautifully. Oh, now that I've got a couple of beauties here for you. Let me show you this. And the colours are gorgeous. There we are. Using the flowers again. So that's a combination of the whole collection there, the dyes and, of course, the flowers. But what about that one? 
That is really, really nice. Oh, I can see as well in there. That is the flowers as part of the full collection, but the exotic leaves are in there as well. They work so well together. Beautiful. Right, okay, we're going to go back to John because we've got so much in the way of video to show you. We are going to see the flowers this time, so it was nice to show you that sample there. Let's have a look what John's up to. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to use the fantastic new multi-layer flower stamp and die from John next door to make the beautiful flowers as you see here on the card that we demoed in another demonstration. And the multi-layer flower is designed to give you two tones or shades of flower 